All right, and we are live. Cajun Coin Hunter here, aka Boudreaux. How y'all are this afternoon? Well, it's wet, sticky, cold. Yeah, as always, down here in Southwest Louisiana. Man, the sun came out for a day and a half or so, but more. Let me tell you something. It's been like nasty, nasty weather. Floyd Finder, what's going on, Mona Me? How you doing? Lee County Scratcher, what's up, Mona Me? How you doing? LAP Coins, what's up, little buddy? How you doing? Hadn't seen you in a oh, wow, about a month or so, I think. Where you been hiding? Been cold up there on the northeast side of the United States on huh? LA Coins. BB, what's going on, Mr. BB? Yeah. Uh, let's see, I got my live chat. Yeah. Stop chat. Go ahead and refresh my chat all the way. Get caught up on the YouTube side. I do have my YouTube side on. I always do, but it's paused all the time. That way I can get everything's always caught up. Kathy's corner. How you doing, Miss Kathy? 67 degrees where you at, only? That's not quite that warm over here. <laughs> I want to say it might be 50, but you down there. Floridia, so man, I'm getting all kind of YouTube notifications. I need to turn them off. Uh, just for that side, I never got notification. Oh, wait a minute, unless YouTube got caught up all of a sudden. I don't know if all that's coming through my emails or not. Let me check that. No, all of that's not coming in in my emails. That's just on the YouTube side. Wow. So YouTube's finally working again. Gleason News, what's going on, Mona Me? Plumber Stacker, what's happening? BB Z Rich, how you doing, Mona Me? Over there in Arizona. Nice weather over there, I assume. BB said it's 20 degrees where he's at over there. How you been, Grayson? I'm gonna go ahead and send you a link real quick, Grayson. I'm gonna talk to you about something. There we go. All right, there you go, Grayson. I can check your email. Eighteen degrees up in the northeast from where LA's at. Man, yeah, yeah. Blue blue emoji face, not yellow. Not sunshiny yellow, yeah. Blue, frigid cold. I believe it. I'm just glad it's I'm down here in the south. Cause I cannot handle that cold. The only thing about these notices, they don't disappear. Ever since I did a restart, an update, and restart, these things don't disappear. Did you know that I can no longer post links in chat? No. You still got a blue range, David. And my chat? 30 inches of snow? Oh, no. Right. AZ Coins in the house. That's Z Rich's Coins uh, neighbor over there. How you figure that, David? You got a blue wrench. 
it happened to feel. Can you drop your link for tonight, Johnny Ray? Yeah, Johnny Ray's going to be here in a little while. And you're probably making a video uh, for the auction with what he's going to have up and all that stuff. You can't put links or emails in chat anymore. Nobody, 710, what's up, bud? Nobody can do that anymore? What? Really? Huh. YouTube is also going to make all videos in the new year have ads so they can make more money. That's wrong. That's wrong right there. <clears throat> if you take the dot com off of it, it works. Farm dog, what's up, Mona Me? How you doing, Farm Dog? <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, we got a train coming. Nope. There's my link. I didn't see none, David. Nope. I sure can't. Take the dot com off of it. We might can. Well, I'll be down. I never heard of such a thing. Silver Leaf. Hello, hello. How you doing? There's Gleason. How you doing, Gleason? Mr. Silver Eagle Man himself and the car. <laughs> How you doing, Cajun? Oh, can't complain, bud. How you doing? Oh, uh, need to shave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, thank you for coming up with the same face I got. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Or almost the same face I got. Here comes the train. Here comes the train. He's not that loud, so I didn't, I didn't clip him off. You know, I always I like to hear that train on there. <laughs> I, I didn't, yeah, when it's not too loud, I, I'll leave it up. You got you got a free background noise. Didn't cost yeah. you nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Free sound effects. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell you what, BB, sometimes, man, that, them suckers are loud and long. Oh. I tell you, let me. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. You, you you've been reading the chat, huh, Gleason? About how people can't post links anymore in chat. Um. Yeah. Um. Something I heard YouTube was doing, but um, I'm I'm not sure if they're not. Maybe they're working on things or something. I, That's I, what I think. I I did it last night and I saw it. Uh, where I was a mod in another channel and. But now they told me that I would see it, but it it wouldn't show on up. But now I was seeing some people's were showing up. So, you know, it's questionable right now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. BB said, and somebody else said too, just uh, uh, leave off the dot com. Hmm. Actually, whoa, whoa, what I've done was uh, post like the, my channel link just to test it on another. What, what about me as being, you know, the host of the channel? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, um, and on Streamyard, you're able to do it. Uh, Big T was talking about that, and uh, it don't and matter. I'm still putting it on the YouTube part of it, though. It's it, yeah. From the, some reason, on, when you go through Streamyard, you're able to do it. Because oh, I'm the host. Because yeah. I'm the host. And another oh, one. we got a ten dollar super sticker from Miss Pammy Jones, number one fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank hey, you, Miss hey, Pammy Jones. Ten dollar hey, super hey, sticker. <laughs> and uh, I say, what was I saying? And another way, I seen someone doing it. Uh, you can, uh, if you were just doing it through YouTube. Uh, you can pin your comment at the top, and it would allow you to post whatever links and stuff you wanted. Or right, if from my yeah, but I can't even see the links in there that people are posting. I can't. 
I can't see them. Like, okay, somebody said Johnny Ray made, or something, Kathy's Corner said Johnny Ray made a video tonight for this auction. I think, yeah. that's, what I think that's what she meant, okay? So if anybody can go find Johnny Ray on YouTube and copy that link, paste it in here. If I see it, I'll pin it. You know, to see if all this, you know, as a test, a trial run, whatever you want to call it, you know. If not, I'll do it. Oh, boy. Man, boy, and I tell you what, everybody was worried about no YouTube notifications earlier. Man, mm -hmm. I'm getting more new YouTube notifications right now, and they're staying at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like a disease. <laughs> Ever, everywhere I go, my phone's always going off. And <laughs> you know how many people I'm subscribed yeah. to and subscribe to me? Oh my God! I mean, I'm getting hundreds, hundreds a day. Yeah, hundreds. I'm like, I'm, I'm man. not gonna uh, get up to any big mark. I'm sure, but I'm getting, I'm edging closer to four hundred. I'm getting, I've got like three sixty five and. Uh, they're just slowly. Some days I'll go up seven or eight, and then a day, and the next day they'll be gone. But you know, a lot of people, yeah. if they would just leave a little comment in one of the videos or something, that that really helps out. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Vardell, what's going on, bud? He said I got a 1973 Denver. Uh, 1973 Denver. America is double to the left of the letters. I have no idea what you're talking about. What coin are you talking about? A nickel or a penny or a quarter? I know you sent me a couple of pictures a while back of that die cap nickel. And I was saying, some people were saying grease strike, and I was saying die cap. Well, it did come out to be a die cap. And he is sending it off to Heritage Coins. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, did you see today where Mama T, she's trying to push before the first of the year to get to her thousand mark. She wants to do a big giveaway if she can make it. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't see that. But I, she, I've been knowing that she's pushing for a yeah, thousand before the she year. She put out a little thousand subscriber video thing today and she was going to do a giveaway. If it, I need to do one tomorrow then or something and, uh, you know, promote her channel also. You know, I keep doing Big T and, uh, you know, a lot of other people. I need to do one for Mama T. I need to kind of spread the word around a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to answer something to BB there. He, uh, um, yeah, I, I am, but, um, I don't, you know, I can't really do that without him okay. And, you know, I will, anybody, if I, if, you know, if they don't, if they didn't mind or something, I would, you know, gladly give it to you. But, uh, uh, I'd rather not. Do He's going to be here in a little while. Yeah. Well, oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. I forgot. He was supposed to be here tonight, right now. His wife fell about. 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, or uh, something like that there, fell and possibly probably broke her wrist. Okay. Uh, they made yeah. the hospital then. So, and I said, hey, no worries, dude. Just look, hurry, go, 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 you know, to the ER. You know, don't play around with nothing like that. You got all them little bitty old bones and stuff in there, you know, and everything. Oh, no. Absolutely. That ain't nothing to sneeze at right there, man. She'd be writing like this for the rest of her life. Like a left-handed guy. You yeah. Know? And I'm left-handed, but I don't write like that. I, I write normal like a right-handed person. Now, I got a, uh, a little six-year-old grandson, and he, his bones are just, you know, he's so little bitty still – Still, almost like a, yeah, and he's broken his uh, one arm uh, twice already by just simple falls and had to be operated on and more than once. And he's got pins and 
and his little arm it works good now and everything but uh you know it's just not straight like it was and they said he might have to have a surgery later on but you know he's doing good he's doing good but i hate it. the little fella he's so fragile you know right right <clears throat> I wonder if Pammy, I see her there. I know she'll hear me in here. If, uh, I wonder if she has ever gotten her gift. I sent her a gift, and she should have received it by now. She finally got something from uh, Value Hunter, which was like a month and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah, finally. And so that's how long the, uh, oh, there's Value Hunter speaking to Dell. What's going on, fellas? Oh, Hello. not a lot. What you up to? Hello, baby. Hello. Hey, Lisa. I'm, sure. I'm doing good. I'm just, uh, I'm still packaging stuff up from Wednesday's auction. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting nail out. Yeah. But, uh, hey, yeah. William. How you doing, William? Good to see you in here, bud. Well, if, if I could afford to, when I send something out, always, I swear I'd send it UPS. Man, they're on the ball for me when I send out. They're yeah. on the ball. Oh, uh, William, uh, y'all go check him out. I don't know if he's got any videos out or not or anything, but y'all just subscribe to him or whatever. Uh, he's a friend of mine from uh, uh, my other channel and small engine community, uh, mechanic, small engine technician community. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he lets me know. He, he, he sends me right back. Right. Right. All right. Right back. William sends me reminders of who's on at what day because I, I can't remember all them guys. I know Mix Moore's on Saturday afternoons. Uh, not really a scheduled set time. Usually about 12, 1 o'clock my time. Today there was uh, uh, Terrell Fixes All, the famous, you know, some of the top dogs in YouTube, in the YouTube community. Uh, and I've, I've been up there on those panels with them guys because i'm considered one of the the top rated small engine mechanics down here in the south uh then helped a lot of people out you know fixing their engines and stuff just over the telephone oh no william uh-uh no can't forget you but in fact mix mowers he he thanks you too for sending me the reminders it's, he says it's always good to have cajun or boo Boo Lukehead up here. It's always good to have him. Zippo Varga, Bruce Pender, uh, you know, Mix Mowers, uh, uh, Double Wide Six, all them guys. I'm good friends with all them guys. Uh, William says, yep, you're top rated. Uh, Zippo Varga tell you himself uh, that y'all think, he said, y'all think I'm a good mechanic? Y'all check y'all go check out Cajun or a boot. That man that man knows his stuff about engines. You know. He says he's then taught me a few things, which yeah, right. <laughs> I think he's just giving me a little credit there, a little too far. But yeah, we we have talked about stuff. Me and Zippo Varga and Bruce Pender and stuff, yeah. So Redneck Stacker, how you doing? In fact, I'm been trying to get back on that in the small engine nation uh, myself. In fact, I am part of small engine nation, which is Craig Durbin's deal right there. You know, Craig Durbin, man, look, and uh, Stacy, and you know, the, all that bunch. You know, man, we, we we were a big big time click together at one time. Dimebag, Darren Lowe, what's going on, Mon Ami? How you doing? In fact, Dimebag, Steve, small, uh, Steve Small Engine Saloon. He's not far from you over there, Dimebag. He's over on the island, though. Vancouver Island, BC. Vancouver, uh, over there on the west side of Canada. That's where Steve Small Engine Saloon's at. I'm good friends with him. Well, I had to go uh, make a little rescue right quick. No, okay. <laughs> had a, Stephen Bardell says that double die is a Kennedy hat. Okay. Wife well, had a 28 blood sugar, but it. I got her a Coke and 
she's doing okay. It's happened before, but that's dangerously low. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Pammy Jones says, no, I didn't. I, no, not yet, but I did receive 30 pounds of mail Wednesday. Mm. That I have been waiting on two months. Wow, man, you're getting a lot of stuff in all together. Then, you know, I, I guess all the return bins are getting to the right people. Now, how you been, Red? Redneck, my Canadian bro up there. Have you cranked that little uh, jewel up that you received by any chance yet? <laughs> Was that? Have you cranked up the little jewel that you received? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even dare plug it in the wall yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Alex in the house. What's up, my brother? Alex Conway, my neighbor down the road. And Stephen Vardell said, great collections. They have the photo of that nickel. Okay. And the experts are looking at it. And they said they're going to email me back on it. Okay. I thought you had sent the nickel off itself. All right. You sent them a, a picture. Uh, they, they'll probably ask you for some more pictures later, too, in the future. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to ask you for more pictures. I got, I got me a, a, a gram scale family there, Cajun. So uh, my penny didn't pan out. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, didn't, I didn't think it would because it looked like a zinc penny to me. Yeah. I can just tell by looking at them if they're zinc or a copper. Almost. Yeah. almost. This, it, it just had such an odd tone to it. I was, I just wasn't sure until I had to weigh it. <laughs> right. Redneck Stacker said, I made a silver pc ram card today and it looks amazing wow oh like a sd card uh a ram card for a computer a laptop i know what you're talking about oh man don't tell me you took that out that apple computer that uh you put your biscuit gravy on you could have fixed that thing cheap cheap you could have fixed that thing you could have sent it to me i could have fixed it for you probably probably when I got all my stuff set up. Yeah, okay, Stephen. Yeah, I got you the photo you sent me. Yeah, you sent it to them. But they're going to ask you for, uh, oh, it came from a computer tower? Okay. Yeah, I wonder what the deal is with uh, links and all that stuff now. And post links and let me. I'm, I've been wanting to try something here for a couple minutes. Uh, I've been busy flapping my gums though. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. I'm gonna have to mute my. All right, Ramon. How you doing, Ramon Martinez? What's going on, bud? All right, can y'all see the link that I put in chat? 
Can anybody see that? Putin Tang. How you doing, Putin Tang? Welcome to the auction stream. Putin Tang jumped over from the Boo Kid side and come over to Cajun and Missy Coin on the side. <laughs> Hello, Redneck. I missed Redneck a while ago. I thought if you was the host of the stream, you could post a link. <clears throat> wow. Nobody can see the link I put up. I wonder if I could do this. <clears throat> Try this. There's no dot com on the end of it. There is a dot com on YouTube, though. YouTube.com. Let me see if I can get rid of that dot com. And see if it'll come up. Oh, that's a lot of trouble, though. Got to expand it and all that and all this and that and the other and then do that. Then copy, then paste. Let's see if that works. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can see it. I can see everything, but can y'all see it? Papa Frank Guido, how you doing? David Carlisle says, Cajun, post a link in a YouTube pinned comment. I can't pin a comment if I can't see it. Oh, you Nothing know what? Up. Yeah, I know what he's talking about now. There I know you what go. he's talking about now. All right. Where is that at? Right here. Right here. Uh, oh, boy. Hold on. Crap. Let me do something. <laughs> uh, kind of messed up. <clears throat> okay, I got to get my... Uh, <laughs> I gotta get my chat back up. I accidentally did something the wrong way. I'll be right back. Go hold on a minute. Hey, Lake Mary Scratcher. Good to see you tonight, old buddy. How's the weather up there, redneck stacker? I don't think I said hi to Papa Frank. I'm going to say hello, Papa Frank. Patriot's mom. It rained here today, redneck, all, most of the day, and it's going to start getting cold enough to snow in the next two or three days. We're supposed to get a little light snow here coming up, but it is warm today. Lee County's got 67 there today. That's still pretty nice. <laughs> Yeah, he's down in Florida, though. Yeah. Our collective Chris is in here with us tonight. 
My nephew, my nephew's in here. Yeah, Uncle Cajun, he said. Hello. <laughs> Get all this straightened out right here. Man, I bet you I won't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> <laughs> then I might. <laughs> okay, I first time I stepped in with you, I believe it was you and Big T and, and somebody else back a year or two ago, and I had squealing in the background, everything else, and y'all were trying to teach me how to, to get on there. It was funny. No. <laughs> and I still screw it up every now and then. <laughs> can't even see my own comment on me. Hmm. All right. Boom. All right. Now. Oh, no. That ain't going to work. Let me delete that. Let me, uh. Well, shabon du. Johnny Ray yeah. Highway stepped in here on us. <laughs> yeah, he's he's supposed to be in here tonight doing the auction too. <laughs> Said he dozed off. He'll be in a bit shortly. Well, I tell you what, David call out. You got your wish on your notifications, bud. Everybody got their wishes on notification. I'm getting hundreds of notifications from every YouTube channel now. You see, uh, uh, Chris is asking you. I, I don't know if that's for sure confirmed or not uh, for sure yet. I'm not sure on that. What's that? Uh, any, there's rumor around that was being posted quite heavy last oh. night about Fox Run. What, he died? Said he succumbed to cancer. Now, I do not know. That come from Muscle Shell. He was wow. posting it. Muscle Shell was posting that last night. He's been in the hospital back and forth for a while. I didn't know he passed away, though. Wow. There's the Deep and John's in the house. <laughs> Man, Deep and John, what's going on? Mon me, my Deep and brother. I think I found out what's wrong with my Jeep, Jeep. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can uh, pin this. Pin message. Okay, now, now I've seen what David Carlisle was talking about. Can y'all see that? Yep, yep, yep. We got can you see there. that? Okay, yep, yep. all right. It's at the top of the page on your YouTube. At the top of the chat. Yeah, chat box. All right. That worked. All right. So the host can pin a link that he puts up. But I can't pin a link that somebody else puts up because I can't see the dang thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeep and John, yeah, you uh you in a cooler. A freezer. <laughs> you, you working in a freezer, you know. In a freezer room area where y'all making all these McRibs. Send me a McRib. <laughs> yeah, Cajun McRib along. is back, though. Hey, they got the McRib back. Yeah. It's back for uh, about a month, and that's it. After yeah. that, see, two for y'all big song. Y'all got to wait another four months, three months. Uh, Jeep and John talking about it being 29.5 degrees at work. I, when I worked at the gas station, 10 hours a day all those years that was always no air conditioning you know we were outside mostly oh so yeah burn up Me all too. summer and then oh, yeah. when my wife was pregnant with a second child i was working two jobs so when i went to work in the afternoon i was stocking a cooler at the convenience store down the street from the house here i that was my favorite job i couldn't wait to get to the cooler <laughs> It felt good. 
Yeah, so the so the pen worked. Okay. All right. Well, let me remove that one because that's an old video for the channel. Anyway, Johnny Ray, check your email, bud. Oh, did I freeze up? No. You're still running smooth on this end. Yeah, but I said remove pin comment. It's it retracted. It did. I still yeah. see it. I can't do nothing on my end. There we go. Now I got it. I got it to move, but it didn't go away. Well, you son of a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing will not go away. Damn, that's a oh boy. I can't get rid of it for nothing. Let me try this. It's still there. Oh, man. Did you click yeah. on your three dots up there and see if you can dismiss it? Oh, yeah, I did all that. I did that earlier. Like, remove remove it. I even... The bottom uh, the bottom dot on there will let, let it dismiss and completely take it away. Yeah, but uh, I removed it, but I can still see it. All right. And then three dots, though, remove and dismiss are two different things. Or it was on my side, the way I saw it. Yeah, but yours, no, yours looks way different than mine. Are you doing yeah, it? I'm going to have to put up with that all freaking night long, I guess. Are you doing it on StreamYard side or in the YouTube no, channel? No, YouTube side. YouTube side. Because it, it's my, my, my YouTube chat is opened on one side. I, I even mm -hmm. I even X'd it out. It's gone. The YouTube side chat was gone. I had to reopen it. It's still there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I see it. I'm bugging the hell out of me. I can't see the whole chat now. So where you at, Johnny Ray? I sent you a link, buddy. Well, and if you click in the middle part of that, the the dark blue, it will I shorten. Can't see yours, Value Hunter. It will shorten it up if you click in the dark part of the blue. It will shorten it instead of it being wide. Mm -hmm. I say I just that. post that just pin my comment that I just where I typed your name. Just pin that comment. Oh, 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 yeah. I see. Pin that comment, then remove my comment, and it should clear the whole thing for you. Yeah, well, no, it didn't say it says uh replace pin comment. So I'm gonna have a pin comment. No, no, no. The whole yeah, but, but, but listen, hear me out. Pin my comment. Replace your pin comment with my pin comment. Hit replace. You replaced it. Okay. Now go to the little dots and see if it gives you an option to remove or dismiss. Yep. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it did at that time. So yep. now you got rid of it. You got to pin somebody else's. So it supersedes yours and then remove oh, the one. Okay. Because they're not the host. Yeah, because yeah, mine was already gone. Mine was yeah. already gone. No, no, actually, it wasn't gone. It was up there, but okay, now I got you. Well, but but the only thing bad is nobody can put a link up to promote somebody anymore. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. You you, you can the host can to to post the link, but that's it. Yeah, but nobody can put it in here where I could see it to pin it. Yeah. No, that's right. They can't. They cannot. I mean, people are going to be asking, hey, Cajun, go to such and such a channel and and share their video and pin it for me, please. Well, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, I'd be doing that 100 times a night. That screws up the auction right there or, or a live stream. 
you know. There's Johnny, right? I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. That sucks I, a fat one. About pinning links. I mean, putting up links. Go. Jeff Dunn, what's going on, Mona Me? How you doing? Can you guys hear me now? Yep, could hear you earlier. What's going on, Johnny Ray? I emailed you that and laid my head back, and I've been off since yesterday. I've been sitting in this truck since last night, so and I'm uh -oh. stuck here till Tuesday. Oh, okay. I, don't, I won't be going home till uh, I won't be leaving for the house till like. Uh, Three o'clock, uh, three or four o'clock Thursday afternoon on Christmas Eve, so I won't get home till uh, like early Christmas morning, about one o'clock in the morning. So you stuck where you at now till when? Till Tuesday morning. Oh boy, you can't load out then. Nope. So. Wow. Uh, well, what's uh, what's the twenty first? That's not a holiday. Oh no! Uh, I, I I still have to run back. I have to do runs till Thursday. I'll be going back and forth from Chicago to Ohio till Thursday. Yeah, you said you were stuck where you at now until Tuesday. Yeah. Oh no, there's no holiday. It's just that, uh, uh, like I, what we do is we we uh, well, you all know you all get UPS Mac USP USP. Hold on a minute. USP packages in the mail, you know, um, I'm sorry, UPS. <laughs> okay. God, you, you know how you sometimes get UPS packages in the mail? Yeah. Like your mail, your mail man will deliver it. That's what I do. I, I, we deliver the, because UPS has their home and, you know, their brown trucks that come to your house. Yeah. And, and they deliver packages, but they also uh, funneled off some to the post office, what they, they call the final mile. So that's what what I do. I transfer trailer loads of mail uh, to different places that eventually make it to the post office. Oh, okay. You you a, a postal uh, contractor then? Well, it's more it's more uh, we're contracted to UPS. Right, UPS, and then sometimes there's some USPS in there. You said. Uh no, this all this is all UPS and it all goes to the postal service. It's called UPS Mail Innovations. Okay, <clears throat> UPS is the Buster Brown trucks. Yeah. USPS is the mail trucks that go to your house. Uh, right. From the post office. Right, but so the U you you're a contractor for UPS or USPS? UPS. Okay. So you don't have nothing to do with the regular mail. No, no, this, no, not at all. This goes to uh, the USPS uh, to be delivered um, by them. That's a contract that they have because, in all actuality, if UPS was to just handle every bit of packages that 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 would come through their service, they couldn't hand. They couldn't hire enough drivers. So. Yeah. They had to I've uh, seen uh, some UPS packages come to me already through the post office. Yes, and that's how, and that's Most what that's of. what I do. Most yes, of. and that's what I do. That, that's what we're, we're like. Uh, my mainstay is is Illinois, Kansas City. So well, now there you go, everybody. There's the answer to where your packages are. Johnny Ray's been going through them things while he's sitting <laughs> on the side of the road in an auction. He's going through your packages, sneaking stuff out, and he was like, "Uh huh, okay, oh you, you, yeah, okay, you, you outbid me on this one. You, I know you, you outbid me on this one. No, 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 no. I'm getting back at you right now. <laughs> there you go. That makes sense too, because I got all your addresses." <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I have, I have to throw that one out there. You get, I mean, it's it's unbelievable how much. I, I mean, I, I got a fifty-three foot trailer that they fill giant boxes full of small packages. Um, I I couldn't believe that there's that much uh, that actually goes through the postal service. And to be honest with you, we're slow. 
They're yeah, calling. I, him. I got a buddy of mine. I used to work on his radio. He was a he owned his, he owned three trucks. And what he was doing, he was a United States Postal Service USPS. Mm -hmm. uh, he had three contract trucks. He'd go to the different post offices, pick up mail at the hubs. You know, he was a hub driver. He'd go like from Baton Rouge to uh, say Houston. Okay. <laughs> That was his route, you know, that long, long route. When stuff was ready out of Baton Rouge, that he had a trailer waiting for him, or they loaded in his truck, or he had the keys to the back of the post office. He'd throw them big old bags in there, go to the next post office, open the back door, and they had a little room right there. It was just a room. He didn't have access to the post office itself. It was just a little room. You know, one door like a big old closet, you know, with brick walls, cinder block walls. And then he'd go to the next post office and then he'd go to that hub over there, you know, and drop off all that stuff. You know, I did all his radio work for him and his CB work and stuff. Yeah, y'all get him. What's up, base head? So, okay, let's see. Uh, who else I missed in chat here? Jeff Dunn. Oh, I haven't been around. Oh, sinus issues? Look, that hurts. Sinuses hurt. Sinus headaches and all that. That's bad mojo. That's better. Oh, man. That, that tension and all that. Oh, I get... I, I used to get sinus headache or sinus infections uh, all the time. But I, not anymore. I'm glad. I'm grateful for that. Merry Christmas, Johnny Ray. Oh, Merry Christmas, please. I'm trying to quickly put something together because... Uh, I really didn't have a whole, I mean, I don't really got a lot going on here uh, as far as, I haven't been home in a month, so my inventory is kind of low right now. I haven't been able to race the block. I'm in the same boat, Johnny Ray. I, I'm totally ill prepared for tonight, so let's just have fun and we'll just pick stuff, we'll just pick stuff off, off the table or the ground next to us or whatever and throw it up on the block tonight. And that's what <laughs> I do. I got my, I got my supplies right here. I got my big tub right there. I got this. Perfect. Right. I love and it. Then I, That's an auction right there. That's an auction. You got three boxes full of who knows what. You just reach yeah, it right yeah. You know, like my, just like my wife Missy. You know, she's looking. She's like, I ain't got nothing nowhere. I'm like Missy, you got a whole closet over there of nothing to wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Y'all know that's a joke. Oh yeah. You know? and it's like I don't know what to pick out. You know, just throw something on, baby. You, you look good all the time. Pammy Jones said email. Okay. Uh, oh. I got plenty of stuff. I just. Okay. All right. We're going to have Miss Pammy Jones join us tonight. She's got six items to. Uh... All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Boom, boom, boom. When was this? Oh, okay. Wow, this is all mixed up with some other stuff. Uh, Z Rich, yeah, I can, I can try to get you in there. A uh, cup for a couple of, a couple of lots. I sure can, Z Rich. I mean, I can. Yeah. Stern, what's going on, mon ami? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, we do got a full plate tonight. Uh, we got Pammy Jones. Oh, I got to send her a link. I forgot about that. Uh, oh, and then I'll get Z Rich up over here after a while with... Uh, He's got some gold nuggets and stuff. Gold, y'all say gold? Yeah, we got gold. We got gold. gold. Tonight. We got gold. Anybody want to buy some gold? We got gold. I just sold my five gram gold gold bar on Monday, so. Uh, William I. William I. Or William the first. Okay. Uh, no, it's kind of hard for you to contact uh, 
because it's too late. At, it's early in the morning for mixed mowers. But get, get with the other guys. Get with Steve Small Engine or whatever. See if they want to come up and buy some gold. It was Steve Small Engine. Say, hey, Boo Lucat, Boo or Cajun Coin Hunters got gold in his auction tonight. Gold nuggets. Come on in and send him the link in an email or in his uh, comment section on his latest video. Oh, I got a full red. I got a full plate. In fact, I'm not even going to be here for this. I'm going to be switching people, like present them. I'm going to be mute. My camera's off. I've got this area over here. This area over here. That's all going to be cleaned out for a new station, cleared out. I'm working on that tonight. I'm not even going to be here. And, uh, the volume will be up. I will be listening to y'all doing the auction. You know, y'all make it in a timely fashion for y'all three lots, you know, as y'all always do. And then, uh, hey, Cajun, uh, okay, I'm done. And then I'll come over here. And then I'll present the next person. But this needed to be done two months ago. So that that that's about the auction tonight. Uh, y'all, well, you know, as always, y'all have it. You know, it's y'all auction. So, but anyway, yeah, this has to be done. Who will be, the question will be, who will be ready first? Okay. Well, I think everybody's just about ready, huh? I'm going to go ahead and write the names down right here. Uh, I'll tell you what, once I get that works, that other station operating up and running, that suck is going to be kept neat. As soon as I get the shelves and all that I want to on top, that sucker is going to be uh, very neatly arranged all the time. It won't be shared with anything. Well, it's going to be my coin and electronics station for now. Electronics for now, but. Uh, I mean, coins for now, but uh, both. Okay, let's see. Uh, who wants to go first? There you go. Okay. Oh, boy. Come on. Really? Oh, man. <laughs> I know for sure now I'm gonna uh okay. Johnny Ray's first. I know now I'm gonna claim my uh <laughs> I do not know what's wrong with his camera. I had no idea, but man, the other night that thing got me so seasick. I mean, uh, that's what it was because uh somebody uh two nights ago in one of their videos and one of their streams, they were they had the by the same thing going on. Uh, no, actually, it was uh, Dacon, Dacon, and I got so seasick. Uh, I mean, I just uh, they said I fell asleep. I guess I did. I dozed off for a couple minutes or something. But there was this one guy last night. Uh, he was streaming and he was doing that, and I like I, I had to go. I had to go. It, it was like uh, it, uh, it, it it gets me nauseated. Anyway. All right, well anyway, you up, Johnny Ray, and uh, y'all just holler at me. I'm gonna have my camera off and uh, I'm gonna be muted, so y'all just holler at me. You know, when when y'all three lots are over, got it? Yep. Yeah. Good enough. Sounds good. All right. All right. 
It's in the chat right there. Uh, yeah, 1962. Rosie Dime, Denver. A 63. Oh, that's 64. A 63, Denver, Rosie Dime. And a 64, Denver. Starting bid, $6. Three dimes, one money. Cool, Jeff. Jeff does a great job of calling this auction. All <laughs> right. I'm up here by myself. Sounds so silent. I sound like I'm talking to myself. But I did see and recognize how... Um, um, how different it is when people are actually talking and, and having fun um, opposed to just dead signs as opposed to just throwing three things up there and saying here a bit on it. So, although I don't have the personality of the, you know, like Big T or, uh, or the other ones, so not yet. I'm working on developing it. Just everything you put on the block, you got to go, Wheaties. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. the only problem is those are rosies. Ninety <laughs> percent. Get your silver before it's three hundred an ounce at the first of the year. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, think think that's that's I think that's where it's headed. Three hundred an ounce. Come on, people. Isn't that what they said uh, earlier in the year? Yeah, I think so. Every time I buy something, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we'll see. And I know that's a low spot because uh, so I don't even know what price of silver was. I didn't even check it before I went on. But we are winging it tonight. I have no list. I am just throwing stuff up there. So, okay. I guess I start like this, too. Anybody who wins a lot from me. This right here is my email. Please eat, send me an email with your name, your YouTube name, your mailing address. Uh, please include all three of those in your email. At the end of the night, I will send you uh, it's like an invoice um, to your email. And then when you get that, then you can pay me. It'll be a total... Uh, you know, just in case you buy multiple stuff. And uh, we'll do this again like I did uh, Monday night. All lots, free shipping. I will charge no shipping tonight. And Redneck at $7. Come on, come on. Let's get a good start to this night. This is extra present money. I, I don't have nobody to buy. For, well, no, this is extra present money for me. I want to buy me a nice gift. I want to buy myself a nice gift. <laughs> Red, you got a box that's going out that is... Yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> Just imagine we have 30-some ounces of silver rounds and the stuff we traded on and Morgans and, and Blue Whites and and uh, I got slabs set back side for you and yeah. We have Fred Carson at 850. Uh, do we do 50 cents? Yeah, I guess we could do it up to $10. After $10, we're dollar increments. Up to $50. After $50, we are at $5. And I like it like that. And that's Val's brilliance um, to make it $5 after 50. Um, 
because you could really take a long time on a on auctions that go a dollar increments after 50 bucks. It's like, <laughs> Yeah, have read it eight. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Oh, cool. Evening, Pammy J. Hey, how are you, Bill? I'm doing great. How are you? Not bad. Evening, Johnny Ray. Evening, Pammy. Where is um, Pammy in MIA? <laughs> baby, we're we doing 50 cent increments uh, up till $10. We got Christmas, Pammy. We got Dollars. Me too, my dollars. friend. Rednecks at eight, looking for nine. Rednecks at eight, looking for nine. No fifty centers, right? And, and well, no. I said I got one that has a fifty cent up uh, till ten bucks, man. It's, it's not it. a big deal. Ten for BBs at eight fifty. Is that what it is? Or we're looking for eight fifty. Never mind. Looking looking for eight fifty. Uh, uh, you, know. you got too many cooks in the kitchen there. <laughs> well. Yeah. We gotta have some kind of banter going on because I'll uh, jump out. I'll go quiet. Oh no, 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 no. On, I, I was, no, not at all. But the the is it twenty five cents or fifty cents? I'm confused myself. Johnny raised the final decision on that one. I said fifty cent increments up to ten dollars. Cool. Okay. And then I'm dollar increments up to fifty, and then anything after fifty is five dollar increments. We're looking for fifty. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> hey, and the only reason, and the only reason I'm gonna do the fifty cent increments is because I didn't say nothing before. You know, when they started doing it, and I let them go at it, so I'm gonna let it slide right now. I feel so bad for you. You're stuck in one place till Tuesday. Did I hear you say? Yeah, I'm sitting in my truck. Damn. Where are you? Far away, Chicago. Mm -hmm. Chicago. We got going twice. It's looking like it is going to Canada. Let's go. And BB comes back at 8.50 at last call. BB said it is not leaving the USA. I think mm -hmm. that sounded like a challenge, Red. <laughs> that was a big snipe. That was. That come right at last call. Mm -hmm. That's talent. Eight fifty, looking for nine. Red says he's out, but I don't buy that. I've been in too many auctions with Red to know that. Yeah, he he's still there. The first out just means I'm just playing around. I like your little setup tonight, John. Last time it was scissors, wasn't it? Yes, I change it every time because I can't get to that. Um. I can't get to the family dollar um, to get that little thing Cajun says and we are last call at BB at 8.50 for all three cool yeah the little thing is cool I've got one my yeah, local I, computer store gave it to me just to get me out of the store I think <laughs> Sold a BB for eight dollars and fifty cents. Awesome. Oh, I got eight fifty. All right. I'm usually way more organized than this, but I'm not organized at all tonight. So we're just gonna try to. Hope everything goes somewhat all right. I heard you guys talking about mail earlier. I got 30.2 pounds of mail on Wednesday. All at one shot. What? From everywhere in the country, even out of the country, 
all at one shot. I've been waiting since the beginning of November. 30.2 pounds. The postage lady would took a picture of the bag, the mail bag. I'm like, what are you doing? She says, it's 30 pounds. Yeah. I have. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in chat and then I'll show you. All right, now I'm calm down, Ray. Calm down, it's coming. <laughs> I got to do my own on my own typing, so it's a little. I'm a little slower on that. Patriots, Mom, you have a Gmail. That's what's next. A Philadelphia, Denver, uncirculated sets. Is my camera will stop pulsating? I hate this camera. I really do. the same dirty words, John. Huh? Never mind. There you go. That's uh, Kennedy, uh, Zachary, the nickel, a penny, and a dime. There's the five quarters. You get Massachusetts. Um, Maryland, South Carolina, Virginia, and New Hampshire in the 2000s. You get all the pertinent information to go with it. And that's the Philly set. And there's the Denver set. Base head. Thank, thank you, Base Head. It's opening up at $10. Base Head knows this is a deal. Look, look I'm telling you right now, the 1999s and 2000s, if you don't, if you don't believe me, go ahead, take the time, go to PCGS and look at one that's graded up in the higher grade, see what they're going for on the quarters. If you get one of these at, at a 69 or a 70, and uh, you got you a little bit of a gold mine right there. Just And that's why I have these, because I got another set that I'm going to send in the quarters to see if I can't get one of those super high grades. And if you just got a state quarter book that you want to fill up, that's a great way to fill it up. So Farm Dog is at 11. Am I pulsating? No, good. Uh, we got base head at 12. We're looking for 13. Whoa, okay, what does everyone want to see tonight? Anybody got any special requests? Anything they're looking for? Anything you need? Farm Dog is at 14. He said, come on, bring it, base head. I got you. Um, what, what you looking for? You looking for some Morgans, a peace dollar, some slabs, some slab pennies? What, what are you looking for? Slabs. I know you're looking for slabs, right? They said is out. We have farm dog at 14. Looking for 15, 14. We're looking for 15. Anybody out there want 15, 15? 
We're at twice at 14. Looking like this is going to farm dog. I know, I know, Red. I know, I know you're going to say that. Uh, you know what? Sometimes I know what you're looking for, Red. I, I'm talking about all the other people that I don't uh, talk to uh, once a day. Last call. Anybody got them sniper rifles loaded and locked and loaded? Let's. Uh, Sold to Farm Dog for fourteen dollars. Thank you, Farm Dog. All right, give me a. I will put them back together here in a minute to save time. Let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to show you this. Right here, let me go. Let's do this. See if I can't do it real quick. Next item up for bid will be this. 1957. Proof set. And, uh-oh. And this is what's up for bed. This is a 1957 proof set and a capital holder. And my lighting is very bad tonight. What is going on here? There's a uh, penny, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and a Benji. 90%, 90%, 90%. 30 bucks. Oh, see, just look over there, and I got bids already. Hey, all right. Um, you still there, Pammy? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. So Monday night at Big T's, when I was in, I sold at Big T's on Monday. I used a this right here, this white box, and my and Mama T was mm -hmm. so intrigued with what was in the box, she didn't care that I was using it. To hold things up, she just want to know <laughs> what was in the box. So I what waited for the end of the auction, and I said, "Okay, I'll show you what's in the box." And there's nothing in the box; it's empty. <laughs> She's doing a, a try to get to a thousand uh, yeah. giveaway kind of thing. So I I watched the video and I made a comment. I said, "I'll make a deal or a trade. Call it what you like. I'll shout you out for a thousand and." Add to the incentives for the giveaway, but then you got to shout me out for a thousand and add to mine, and we'll do it together. We'll make it. I haven't gotten a response <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay, who do we have? Just done got written in Sega at 32. But I think that would work good. Do yeah, you know? I'm uh, I'm waiting till the beginning of the year and then I'm gonna start pushing. I'm at six fourteen right now, so I vary uh, from seven thirty to seven eighty for the last six months. I can't stand it.
We were last caught. 30 man that's going way cheap. Boy, whoo. What's it up to? $32. Get out of town. What? Is that a Benji on there? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Sold a redneck stacker for $32. He should be arrested for larceny. <laughs> I just got robbed. He did. <laughs> and you were watching. I was watching too. <laughs> Why eyes wide open? I'm getting robbed. That's wonderful. Mm hmm. Congratulations, Red. That Good will go one, in your box. Y'all, that's my first three. So I'll turn it we over need, to the next. We need Cajun to switch us up, don't we? Oh, yeah. Cajun said he'd be listening. Okay. So. I'm still on the hunt over here. I have two Morgans, and I swear to you, they don't like being in the same room. Well, there you I, go. I, You've I got a up there, so. Oh, there it is. I agree with you, Aunt Fru, right, but. Can you switch to me? I'm on. <laughs> Gals, evening, evening. Free Christmas. Evening. Live stream auction. How's everybody doing? see you guys in the chat. Wait. Hey, did you ever send me one of those holders, Val? You know what? I couldn't mm -hmm. remember who I had promised it to. <laughs> You're starting to and sound like me, Val. I sent you a package, and it wasn't in there, Johnny Ray. So next time, here's what I'm going to do. I don't have I don't have one of those. Uh, the only one I have is that one with my sticker on it. But I've got these airtight easels. You want these? I don't care as long as I can hold. This, it's got to be better than the boxes and the scissors I use. Yeah, yeah. This this will hold. This is what it is. It's that right there. So you know you can. Oh put, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can put a slab on it or whatever. The only thing is, yeah, yeah, that's uh, good. Tilt rate. So I usually go flat on slabs, but if you want to show the coin at an angle, but it'll hold the coin. And my camera's coming like. It's really like from from up going down, but anyway, these are airtight easels. So happy to send you one or both of those. Just I'm gonna write your name on them. All right, that way I will remember what I gotta do. With well, I appreciate it, though. Yeah. Sorry about that. I just totally and I even looked at them in my drawer and I said, "Who asked me for one of those?" <laughs> <laughs> I was shipping packages, but I had so much going on. I was like, I couldn't remember. And then I, and then a week had gone by, and I couldn't find the stream where we had talked about it. So I was like, you know what? This is too much work. I'm sure I'll get asked for it again. Um, and if I can get one of these, I'll check it out. I might be able to get one of these next time I place an order, one of these acrylic things. They're better for slabs, uh, actually, because of the angle they're at. I'll, I'll get one of those for you. Aren't they actually like little picture frame things? No, this is this came from Coin Supply. Oh yeah, because yeah. they have in Dollar General they have little uh, picture frames that are clear and they're slanted like that. You would work just the same, I would imagine. Uh, that would work great. Maybe an answer, maybe a solution there. Hmm. Yeah, I just actually, I might have some. Well, Johnny Ray, you might get flooded with some then if uh, Amy J and I'm sending you so. That's a 1940s. It's EF. It's a Annex EF 45. Clean. Beautiful coin. It says clean. I know. Every one that I get from those guys says cleaned. Yeah, I think it's a default. They can never get, you know, but there is hairline. I mean, it might be circulation scratches, you know, more than clean, but they call it clean, whatever. It's clean. I don't know. It's fine. My whole book of, more, of, uh, of these things. Yeah. I have several of them. I got a Morgan. I got two quarters. Every time that company sends me anything, it's been cleaned. It's kind of them to let me know, but. <laughs> I think they do it when they get the coins in, they clean them. And then they send them to you, but they just want to let you know that they took care of it. They cleaned it for you. Mm, there you go. I like yeah. to. I'll put it that way next time I try to sell them. <laughs> it's a nice dime, though. It is beautiful. And it's an annex slab. You know, Merck. I, I like to get these things just so that I can kind of see 
a clean coin or something like that up next to other ones that I have that are going into a book or coming out of a book. And, you know, it, the, the good thing about slab coins like this, I don't know if, I mean, establishing a huge collection of them or anything is of interest to anybody, but, you know, you want to know, like, from a photo grade book what an EF45 is, it's really tough to tell. Mm. But if you've got one like this and a holder that you know is graded that way, you can look at your other coins, you go, oh, that's EF45. That's exactly what the grade looks like right there. So your other coins. You can know, you see the difference between, like, a coin that's not cleaned and a coin that's cleaned? Yes. I can't. Yeah. You can, well, if you put them next to each other, you see all the little hair lines on that? That's an indication. There's a couple different indications of cleaning. Some is the way if, if coins are, to, are toned and there's that toning around the edge or around the edges of the... Of the, the like uh, dirt around the letters and stuff? It, it looks like dirt. It's It could be dirt. It could be toning, but yes. And then what ends up happening is it's removed in the fields. And so it has like a more, you know, silver appearance. Yeah. Yeah. That's also another indication. But this this way you can look at okay, you know how much of the bands are left, how much of the stripes going down the the stalk there is, you know how much of the rim, how you know what are the details of the letters and the mint mark, you know how much of her hair on an EF forty five. That's a good way to tell more more so than just whether it's cleaned or not. But you know determining determining grade, you know on on your collection like what you're looking at. Um, what so year in anyway, mint mark? I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that one on the block for uh, a first item tonight at five bucks. The year is what? Four, 1940, and it's a P. 40s, as in oh, San it's a, San Francisco. Yes. So, uh, William's back. Welcome back. AZ Coins, good evening. Basehead, how are you? Aunt Frey, 302, Bait the Hook, Red, SB. Starting bid. Starting bid five. Sorry. Sorry, Red. I was slow to the – I'm just now looking at it. What was that slap? Stop moving it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the chat after the fact here. There's your number on the back and the reverse of the coin. $5 slab. AZ coins, what's up? Um, That'd be rude, I'm not even looking at names. <laughs> Red Carson, good to see you. Nice to be in the action with you. You outdid me on the uh, 57 there, thank you very much. Collective Chris. Mr. Sterling, uh, cannabis. Respond. Is that a cooter I see? Sterling, what's going <laughs> on, Sterling C? Good to see you, my friend. Evening, evening. Back before 11, so we'll see you in two hours. Have a good one. Enjoy. Stay warm. Oh, I need to spell it out. Hey, Bill Betts, thank you so much. Bill, I, I think I'll keep it. I'm into it for five, so I'll, I'll keep it for five bucks. <laughs> but thank you. It's all good. Like I said, I prefer to keep this just as a photo grade comparison for me. Having a good hand rather than, uh, you know. Yep, that's right, Sterling. I have me a cooter pour already. <sighs> I, I paid five bucks for plastic, Bill, by the way. Anytime you see a slab coin from Annex, NGC, or PCGS, my minimum is usually five bucks I get them for. I, you know, I'll usually make offers when people are selling collections or whatever, or if I see items online or whatever, I, I'll throw five in there. Jeff, I don't know what I can do about that because let me see if I can fix it. Volume helps sometimes. Yeah, that's weird. How about now? Is that better? Mic volume. Um, hold on. It's got a beta test for mic volume and they got me at 50%. How about now? Am I getting crazy loud? Is that, is that really loud? I'm about, I'm about at 150% here. Let's see. How's that? Testing. He's on the phone. He sounds fun on my phone, he says. Okay. 
Audio is low, Jeff says. Am I still low? Am I coming through louder now, guys? Really loud now. I'm like, you're stadium loud. Welcome to the Monster Truck Rally. There you go. Cave digger. And <laughs> <laughs> revving them up. <laughs> okay, how about now? How's that? <laughs> Stop yelling at me. I have feelings, Red says. Echo. Now AZ says. <laughs> Now I got an echo to go with it. So everybody, yes. uh, okay, Pick now we're good. One, one, one. Carlisle comes through in the clutch. All right, going once, going twice. I'm going to take this down. Thank you for looking, guys. It was fun chatting about this coin. <laughs> it, it was uh, it was more fun chatting about it than trying to sell it. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do a buy it now at 2 bucks on bank-wrapped rolls of 81 Lincoln Memorials, guys. This is what I have. I have... Uh, 81s. What are they? Oh, mint mark. What mint they, mark? They're Phillies. Yeah. They're from the wonderful, beautiful, warm state of Pennsylvania. Where mail, be, be nice to me, Val. Where <laughs> mail gets delivered almost immediately after it's sent. It's just great. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and here's the 1981. These is these are. The, the second to last year, the last full year of copper pennies. So these are copper, copper roll. We'll do two bucks, buy it now. And I can ship these for four bucks up to two rolls if you buy two. If you, uh, mm -hmm. Red, you didn't see the chat. Okay, I had a starting bit of five. I said it out loud. I, uh, I also had Bill Betts type something in. I did not write it in chat. I don't have anything on a list tonight, so it's all going to be audio. I'm not, uh, I haven't been doing it on, on chat. So I can't copy and paste. I'd have to type it all out. So I'm just kind of grabbing and going. That's what I'm doing. So, um, I started that on, on, I started that other slab at five bucks red. If you want that slab at five bucks, I'll reopen it. But I've moved on to the, uh, I've moved on to the, uh, the, the copper cents, $2.00. Per roll, bank wrap roll, they say Connecticut Bank and Trust. And they're BU condition. And they say 81 on Ender and 81, but not all of them have 80, uh, the, the Ender showing. Some of them have memorials on both sides. So if there's other years in there, it's not what's marked. But anyway, okay. Are we going back to the Mercury? All right, guys. Everybody's got a comment on the merch. They're all asking. Okay, I'm gonna type it out here. Okay, just real quick. I'll go back to the I'll go back to the copper. Hold on one second. 1940 S NX EF 45 details grade. Starting bid five bucks. Anybody going once? <laughs> I'll put it back up. All right. <laughs> Red, you asked for it, man. And Fred's asking me too. So I'm throwing it back up there for you guys. Fred goes five. Well, I'm putting it up for auction, Fred. I, I didn't have it on buy it now. I do not have a spreadsheet, Jeff. We're just going seat of our pants style tonight. We're just, you know, we were talking about this earlier on. Johnny Ray is in the same boat. He's got a box of stuff. So we're just grabbing things that are, you know, that we've got on our on our tables next to us and we're putting them up on auction is kind of free flowing tonight. So there's no, there's no auction list. It's a little less formal. Hey red, we got a $5 opening bid from Fred Carson on the mercury dime looking for six. He'll let Fred take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should have left it. I should have stayed with the copper. You guys, you guys are funny. I'm glad this will go to you, Fred. You're a good home for this coin. <laughs> go at once. You may take it for five, Fred. We'll see. Red says, "Okay, six. Yeah, come on. We we gotta we gotta go, guys. You gotta have an auction here. An auction isn't hey, put something on the block. That's a sale. This is an auction, right? I mean, somebody's supposed to answer back every time there's a bid in there until until we get slow. Then when it gets slow, we start counting it down. So we got Fred at seven. Fred's at seven. We're looking for eight. Anybody for eight on the 1940 graded Mercury dime? That's 90 percent silver. Looking for eight. It's a cleaned coin. It's EF45 details grade. It's a bottom pop, possibly. 
Eight, I can't pass on my marks. Okay, I love it, Red. You're in the action. Costing Fred Carson money because he's answering back. He's at seven. You're at eight. We're looking for nine. Red next to her. What's up, Josh P? Fred says, yes, I'll throw a niner out there. Looking for nine. We got nine. We yeah, got you're nine. good. Looking for <laughs> ten. We got nine. Looking for ten. Value hunters in the money. We're happy. We're going. We'll come back next week with more slabs. I'll reinvest. <laughs> we'll keep you guys in the coins. We got nine. Looking for ten. Oh Red's out now. He says, all right. Fred's got enough action going. That's that's all she wrote. All right. Fred, we got no other bidders. So Red's backing out. So we got Fred Carson going once at nine. Thank you, Jeff. I'm going back to the copper after this one, guys. And we got nine going twice. Let's count it down. It's been on the block twice tonight. Three times, all in, all done. Last call. Fair warning. Nine bucks for a slab merc. Extra fine condition. All in, all done. Fair warning. Call it sold. Hold it your way, Fred. Congratulations. Let me bag so we don't scratch the lens. And I'll set that aside for you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate the bids. Congratulations, Fred. And thank you for the bids, Red. Fred and Red, duking it out. Where is Luke Duke? That's a question. I need an email from him. He won a giveaway last uh, week. And how's it going, Farm Dog? I got my eyes peeled for those. I think I may have what you're looking for, Farm Dog, but... Uh, I got to answer you back on email because it wasn't at my fingertips when I read the email you sent. Uh, we got 81s here, guys. These are 1981 Lincoln Memorial cents. And you don't like annex grading? Well, you bought it. You crack it out of there if you want, Fred, and throw it in your dance co -op. For all I care. Or send it to NGC or PCGS and have them cross... Have them re-slab it for you. Do I have any 72s? I do have some 72s, actually. 72s or 72s? 72 double die. Oh, sure. It's got those. <laughs> I have a couple rolls of them. They're just uh, at face value. Yeah, Fred's going to get a hammer to it. It's five dollar slab. I just pay five bucks for slabs on three top grade income. That's just kind of my end. I don't care what coins in it. I'll pay five bucks for a slab. I mean, it's just you know, either throw it at the auction to make things interesting or give it away. I that's kind of how I look at it. You know what I mean? And if it sells for nine, somebody gets something they want. Oh, it's Fred's birth year, so there you go. Perfect. You're a youngster, man. You were 80 this year. That's a big one, Fred. Solid. Congratulations on your 80th birthday and being born in 1940 and picking up that 40 Annex Merc. Congratulations on the win. Could have gave it to me. Uh, guys, any bids? I got here. I got to type it. I forgot. I'm, I'm sorry. You're asking for typing. I forgot. Everybody likes text. Uh, P. OBW, these are Connecticut Bank and Trust. Here you go, guys. Yeah, you're like infantile, Red. He's he's young. You're infant, and I'm somewhere in between. I'm like toddler. <laughs> Any interest in the rolls? A uh, <laughs> fifty-seven model, eighty-one OBW Connecticut Bank and Trust, 
Copper Lincoln Memories. Boom. Tight rolls, guys. These are really tight. No loose rolls there, except for one or two of them that are cracked in half and taped. Yeah, right there. So if you're late to the buy it now, you may end up with a taped roll that was cracked down the middle, but you got taped up because it was splitting. Anyway, I, it's only a couple of them that are like that. The rest of them, nah, they're original. And I actually have a couple that are a little bit different. This one doesn't have the Connecticut Bank and Trust. It just says 81 on it. Both ends are memorials, and it's got this weird, like, Toothy design. That's an old wrapper. Really tight also. An infant. <laughs> she can't. Oh, that's why? An infant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm somewhere in between you there, Red. Let me get you by a few. All right. I'm going to pull these. I'm going to pull the copper down. No interest in copper tonight, huh? 81. Bank wrap rolls. Any interest? Two bucks. Anybody on the bin for a roll of copper? If not, I'm going to grab a few of them, take them down to the store, and get myself some candy. There you go. You need one. You need you need an eighty one red. You need an eighty one. I may have an extra eighty one laying around. I don't know. You can buy a roll just to pull one out. <laughs> That's an expensive eighty one. <laughs> That's two cents worth of copper. Oh my gosh! Br bins two. Pr chef. I just put a package in the mail to you too. I would have included it, but I can't now because <laughs> I already shipped it. I took it off to the post office today. <laughs> How you doing today, BR Chef? Good to see you. All right, so I got I got a few different choices, BR Chef. I got this one that doesn't have any bank writing on it. It's memorial on both sides. It says 81 in ink. And then it's got these hound tooth, or not hound tooth, but like tiger stripe design at the end. You, I've got one of these. Do you want a tiger stripe? Do you want Connecticut Bank and Trust? Or I've got one third option, which is like the old 50s. I'm sorry, not 50s. This is like the old, you know, 80s arcade looking font. It says 50 pennies. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And they're all 81s. It doesn't have bank, but those are the three types of rolls. Do you, uh, do you have a preference? Do you want all bank and trust? Do you want the, the one that I've got that's the, uh, the tiger stripe end or the the uh, 1980s arcade font. Which one floats your boat? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to say bank, the, the Connecticut Bank and Trust is, that's one, that's number one. The 80s, uh, you know, arcade style font is number two. And the Tiger... You want the Connecticut Bank. Okay, so you got that one. You want two of those? Let's see. I got another one here. All right, two of those. Okay, cool. I'm going to get both of those to you. And going once for the rest, uh, anybody else? I've got multiple. I got trays of these 81s. Very cool, BR Chef. Thank you. Four bucks. And I got the two that you wanted. Anybody else? Anybody else on the OBW? Going once. Yep, going twice. All in, all done. These two are going to be our chef.
If you're looking for BU Benjis, I got some years for you, Red. So if you, if you send me a list of what you're missing, I've got a bunch of BU Benjis in in volume in bulk, like uh, in BU condition. So non not graded. But help you fill some holes if you're looking for BU. Bins closed. So let's see here. Name our ship. Okay, let's see how these do. I'm gonna throw this up. I'm gonna start the bidding on this at 40 bucks. Kinda don't want to sell it, but let's see if there's any interest. I know they're hard to get. Every time they keep coming up, they keep selling out. So uh, I got a few of these in. Let's pass on the love here. See if anybody is interested. That is a BU Libertad 2020. Low mintage. These are like 300,000. They, they already announced the mintage on these. And that usually doesn't happen until after they're all minted. You couldn't get them all year. So, I'll show you the reverse of this coin. Has, what year is that? It's a 2020. I'm going to switch sides and put it on the other camera real quick. I think it'll show, show a little better over there. And pull it out of the flip here. It's a little bit big for these small, these two by twos. I just want to put my fingers on it. Wow, it is in there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can't see that so. That's okay. It is. It is red. Libertadito. All right. I'm going to call this one down in my accent. It's plata pura. Onza. Una onza. Vente, vente. Le triple nine. Fine. I always love it when you get like the Spanish commentary and they go into like two or three words that are English in the middle of like a Spanish, a Spanish description. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, Spanish and French is almost uh, almost the same. Very uh, same. In, in some words. Even in English, a lot of Latin base on that on that stuff. Welcome oh, back. yeah. French and Spanish, all that's all come from the Latin. All right, I'm getting back to what I'm doing. Oh, oh, stay around. What are you doing? Making shrimp? You cooking shrimp over there? <laughs> we got Johnny Ray jumps in at 40. He says, I got to put something so I can get one of those easels sent to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I know the motive here. I know the motive. All right. And, and like Libertad. They're beautiful coins, Johnny Ray. And when I, I mean, this thing's like, you know, I, I think it's a grader. I mean, I, I had it in hand, uh, got it today, actually, finally shipped, bought it like, you know, a month ago. And then I was like, man, this thing is beautiful. It's it's like, you know, the feel, everything is just pure, just flawless. Didn't see any marks on it. That's a 2020. That is a 2020. That is correct. And be, and there's a there's a very interesting thing with the mintage on them this year because normally you know they'll, they'll mint 400 600,000 a million of them whatever it is usually low mintage compared to US bullion coins you know but the, uh, and even compared to Canadian but they'll mint you know like a couple million or less you know a couple hundred to a couple million and then they put out the numbers after the year's over they put the number out on these while um, you know, while, while they were still for sale. So, hmm. so they came out at three, I think it's 300 or 310,000, which if you look at the list, I forget. Um, well, I that's more mintage in any, any denomination or any country, really. 310 grand. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And they're, you know, they're a bullion coin, but um, you know, th they are, they're definitely like, I'll give you some, I'll give you a, a a thing here, the uncirculated in the one ounce, the, the highest year was 85 is 2 million. That's it, right? So that's like a W quarter, right? You think of how crazy the Ws are. You got W selling. Did you, say, did you say the 85 is the highest? It, it's one of the highest, yep. It, it's like second highest. And that's, it's okay. It's still only 2 million. <laughs> and I, I saw your 85 yesterday. No, I'm looking at mine. Mine's an 85. It's a beautiful, that's a wonderful year. You know what's funny? If the, the 82 and the 84 and the 83 only had a million and the 85 had 2 million, but I've got the other three years, but I don't have the 85. So, you know, you'll have to hit me up for a trade if you want a lower vintage. <laughs> but the 86 had 1.7, 87 had a half a million, 1.5, 1.3, 1.2, 92 had 2.4. And then in 96, uh, I think it was, yeah, 96, they changed the size. They dropped down to 280, and they've had, you know, under a million pretty much uh, all the way up till 09, and then they had a million a couple years. This year they did 300,000 of them. Last year was 400,000. 18 was 300,000, and then before that was like a million, 600, 900. So it's a lower year for them. Um, they'll probably price out comparably to the 2008 since they had the exact same vintage that year. The two ounce is really low, like 5,000 of them this year. So if you can get your hands on a two ouncer, there's only 5,000 of them minted. Hmm. Make two cool. ounces in this? I don't know. No, this is a one ounce. This is a one ounce. I know, but they you said they make two ounces. They do. Yep, they do. Nope, mine's a one. Yeah. yeah, so if you go to Wikipedia and type in Libertad, all of those mintage numbers are on that page and it gives you mintage for that and gold and the silver and the proofs, all of it. It's really informative. I was just I gold. I want some gold uh, I got a couple gold liver tads last month. And I think they're, they're gone. Big. What's that? <laughs> I said they're probably gone. No, I, I still, I'm holding on to them. I like to, really? uh, yeah, I like to caress them for about a month and then I put them up at auction. You said you had them about a month, right? Uh, yeah, I have about a month. Crushing time's over with. I know. I've got my. I've got my. my belt of holding and appreciating them. Mm -hmm. so, what are they? Ten down? Um, I've got a tenth and a twenty. Uh, two different years. I forget what years they're in my. Uh, they're, uh, they're like in my. It really like, don't matter. Yeah, my like collection <laughs> box. <laughs> you know, like they don't yeah. come out of there until I'm ready to find some other ones. They, that's what happens to me, Johnny Ray. Is like I'll I'll see a bunch of them, and I've got to buy five at a time to get like a lot or something. So I'll buy them, and I'm like, all right, I got to move the two that I bought, you know, individually or together because I need the money to buy the other ones. So <laughs> you know how that goes. Mm. Anybody seen red lately? Um, yeah, oh wait, hold on, right now. 
Johnny Ray, we got a forty-one dollar bid. We're looking for forty-two. I know we got forty-two from Plum Stacker. Plumber Stacker is at forty-two, looking for forty-three. Yeah, Red's here, Fred. He's typing. Are you really not seeing him? I'm not paying attention. That's what I'm doing over up here yapping. Johnny, I'm not paying attention. Uh, Johnny Ray's at 45. Yeah, Johnny's at 45, looking for 46. I forgot I had a bit out there, and I'm just yapping away. like la -da -da. You thought you were winning. You're like, somebody's got to be counting this thing down. <laughs> right? Looking for 46. We're at 45, looking for 46. Plumber says 46. Let's see if I can move this out. Um, there you go. You get a full view of the coin if I can get it out from behind my email address. Johnny Ray answers back at 50. Hmm. So we go $5 increments at 50, Plumber Stacker. So we got 50 looking for 55. And that is what we call a block bid. That is block and tackle right there. 50 looking for 55. Plumber was at 46. Johnny Ray's at 50. We're looking for 55. Plumber says yes, 55. 55 looking for 60. Johnny Ray's thinking. He says, okay, I'll go 60. 60, looking for 65. We got an auction. Plumber Stacker's thinking about it. 60, looking for 65. I know. I don't know what's up with that, Red, frankly. Plumber Stacker at 2020. 2020. Three hundred thousand minted. Twenty twenty. <clears throat> Once, Jeff says at sixty, looking for sixty-five. Plumber Stacker's thinking about it. Says what year? Sixty, looking for sixty-five. Johnny Ray, is your email John dot Ray or Johnny dot Ray? John dot Ray. What a memory! <laughs> well, twice. We're calling it down here, Plumber Stacker. If you're thinking about it, and fair and final warning, that's going twice. We're all in, all out, all done. Last call. Johnny Ray, Highway Coin Collector, in the lead at 60, looking for 65. Snipers, beware. When you hear me type SOL, don't be SOL. When you hear the D and the exclamation point hit, <laughs> that means it's done. And we're sold to Johnny Ray. Now, uh, I had Plumber Stacker, I had you down at. 55 on your last bid. Johnny Ray bumped you to 60. I got two of these. Hey, Ida, how are you? Good to see you. I got two of these. If you're interested at your final bid of 55, you let me know, Plumber, if you want one at 55. I'm okay with that. I want to give you the option. Because you were you were second bidder. Just type yes or buy it now or fifty five in the chat to let me know. That little plumber stacker. He says nice buy. Ben, okay, so Johnny Ray, I'll do this one for fifty five for you, and I'm gonna give plumber stacker one at fifty five as well. Oh, good. It's the cheapest Libertad I've ever bought. I've got like eight of them. 
Yeah, well, you get a $5 savings thanks to Plumber Stacker. So five bucks each uh, off the final price for both you guys. And uh, I will send you an invoice, Plumber Stacker. I don't think we've ever uh, transacted before. So if you'd send me an email to the address that you see down here at the bottom of my screen, send me an email and I will send you an invoice with uh, with the shipping included. I'm four bucks up to 16 ounces. And then I'm eight bucks over 16 ounces. So anything you buy from me tonight, there's three sellers, uh, four sellers up on the block. So it's chip, separate shipping for everybody. So if you buy stuff from me, though, anything is always in, you know, one uh, one bag. So up to a pound, it'll all go. And thank you, Johnny Ray. And thank you, Plumber Stacker. I'll look for your email, Plumber Stacker. I'll get you guys both invoices at the end of the auction. Uh, thank you very much for the bids. Congratulations to both of you. They're beautiful coins. And Cajun, if you're out there, we are looking for the next. We're looking for the next person on the auction block. It might be Pammy J. I think it's Pammy J. Next up. Oh, <clears throat> I was fell asleep there. John, you got you've got mail, John. Uh, is it Pammy J. or is it Johnny Ray? Um, I think uh, it's me. Yeah, it's Pammy J. I went first, and then oh. Val. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Val was last. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see if I can find Miss Parent. There she is. Here Whoa, is. Oh, Silver Stagecoach. There you go. I call it the Bud Wiper horses, but it's I know yeah. it's not. <laughs> Bud Wiper, you said it. All. It's Stagecoach, but it looked like the Clydesdales to me. That's why I got it, and it's the uh, Breaker Bar. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's upside down, but that's what it's called, I believe. It's sealed up. It's one ounce. Starting bid is 45. Silence. I'm not used to the quiet. I always have music or something on. Would you, would you say I had Mel Pammy? I did. I just sent it, though. It might take a minute. Well, okay. I was saying I don't have nothing yet, so. It's John Dot Ray 71, right? 1971. Oh, crap. That's why it's not there yet. Uh, I often send your mail to um, Cheap and John. <laughs> <laughs> I do, because he's 1976. <laughs> it's like, well, come on, you guys. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ida. I didn't see you sneak in. Are you still in Arkansas? <laughs> oh, she's already going. Nobody likes my horsies. That's better. Come on, light. Gleason News is sending me one of those circle lights that they have, you know. Supposed to be good for streaming lighting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure can't wait till it arrives. I hate this lampshade. I move it so many times that it gets loose and starts working like a strobe light. It's a pain in the butt. It doesn't look like anybody has any interest. I have anybody like Geigers. I got one or two or ten of those. Um, what what did you, you say that was starting bid was? Forty five. You got to give it a second, Pammy J. How much is it starting? Yeah, Forty five. Okay, you got to give it a second. You got to type in the chat what you're looking for because uh i was doing that earlier and there's no bids there everybody's watching some of some of the folks may you know have music playing they're watching the chat so you might just want to type the description in oh and the right. starting bid and the starting bid just to give it a little extra time see if anybody's interested Asian spoiled me so i don't think about it. i don't mind doing it i just don't you know we're without a moderator tonight.
Oh, Fred Carson, the family's up. Hey, Merry Christmas, Ida. Ida Herring, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Okay. It's there you go, Red. Red, put it in oh. the chat for you, Pammy J. You did. Thank you so much. No, Red did. Red. Hey, that man, if you flip, that's the uh, stagecoach silver. If you flip it over, that's a bar that's got like the quarter ounce the breaker bar. Yes, yeah. like there. I think it's cool. Yeah, fractional silver. Those things are those things are sweet. There you go. I hate that glare. It drives me nuts. Hello again, Fred. <laughs> that's an original mint packaging too. That's sealed in there, right, Pammy? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Is there a year on these? I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm uh, not up on my silver bars here. It says for when you have to get out of Dodge. Okay. Do they put years on these? I don't know. No, I don't. Barbara, the bag lady. Good to see you. Did you just call me a bag lady? No, I said hi to me. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Hi, Nance. Looking for 45. How about if I put that on the back burner and show you something else? This is incredibly toned. Is anybody a forty-five? We got money. We got we got four quarter-ounce bars, all yep. smashed together on a stagecoach bar up on the block at forty-five dollars. Opening bid may take it tonight, guys. Opening bid may take it. Looking for forty-five, going once. Pure silver. Silver may be going to a thousand dollars an ounce, stopping at three hundred and one hundred on the way. Boy, Red's climbing up to nine. <laughs> of course, it may hit 50 first or 45 right here tonight. Anybody? $45 an ounce. Going twice. Two times. Where's the, where's the snipers? Hey, money. How's it going? Money mania. Everything's closed. Okay. We got no bid tonight on that one, Pammy. That's okay. Money, or uh, Redneck got it, right? Did I miss No, something? Redneck just put it in chat for you. Oh, okay. That's right. I don't mind keeping it. I have 30.2 pounds of mail here. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> 30 pounds of mail. I, I did. It's a fact. Did they put it in a 10-pound bag? Well, it was when I got to the post office, it was sitting behind the desk in one of those canvas looking bag things with oh a strap God. on it. And he said, the girl was taking pictures of it. I said, is that my name there? She said, yeah, you got 30.2 pounds of mail. I said, well, I've been wow. bitching at you for two months, haven't I? <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, she said, yeah, but I have pictures to take, so I couldn't be bothered with that. <laughs> All right, this Morgan is really, really pretty. It's an 18 wood. I had it right in front of me, and it has disappeared again. Uh, here it is. <laughs> My camera doesn't show the colors really well, but I heard you giggling. <laughs> I'm entertaining, if anything, John. It's really colorful. It's 87. It's got to be a Philly because I don't see a mint mark anywhere. Not that I'd be able to find it. And I'll move my proverbial. There it is. It's really pretty. I'm not a, I think this is like my third Morgan in my whole life. My whole career of five years. There we go. Uh, oh. Flip it around. Pammy. I know I'm camera dyslexic. There we go. There is a Philadelphia. Yep, that's what I thought. It's pretty. It's got all the colors. It's my lighting. I have a lighting problem. Oh, starting bid. Thirty. 
Oh, I'm writing. <laughs> there you go. I think I did it. Nope. There's an extra B there. That'll work. Good money. How you doing? How's Mrs. Money? There you go, Penny. Plum stack comes in at thirty. I'm a watching. I'm a watching. Nancy Barber. <laughs> you got that right. Yeah, I know. It's like my trademark. Oops, it's upside down. Must be Pam working a camera. I'm getting better though. I have to make the feet point to the wall. <laughs> Don't ask me, but that works. I need a camera person. I need an assistant. That's what I need. Yeah. Great money. Glad to hear it. Thank God. Yep. 31. Look at but 31. Your furnace is down. That's not good. Oh, talking about porn. I thought maybe to keep warm. That's in really good shape, and then you got a lot of good hmm? details on the brush weather. Flip it over, flip it over to the. Uh, oh yeah, side. I'm not much of a salesperson, am I? This Morgan is. Uh, I want it on the wheel. <laughs> no, I don't know. 1887, Philadelphia. Um, and the lady on the front is um, the designer's wife. So I've heard. See, I know the stupid shit about coins. I don't know the facts. I know the history. 1887 Philly. That's worth more than 30 bucks. Come on, people. You all know that. Mm-hmm. They know that. That's right. You know, it's Christmas time. Yep. Christmas time. I don't know. Everybody's broke or, hey, that's a good price for a Christmas present, I'd say. You'll get it probably by Groundhog Day, but. You, you might get it by June. I, mean. I don't know. It's uh, it's not uncirculated, but it's certainly it's got one little scratch on the like behind her head, close to the stars, and I checked it out pretty good. I like I like the toning. That's my thing. I wish I could no, catch it's it. Right. Good shape. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Look at the average. I'm in at thirty three. I know hey. we can get thirty. Look, thirty thirty five. We got Palmer Sanger at thirty five. Come on. Come on, guys. Hi, Irish. My buds, he's out already. Former second night, look at the Irish out at 35. And Fred Carson, Fred Carson is in at 36. There we go. I see, oops, I see a McRib sandwich in my future. <laughs> there we go. Former second comes in at 38. We got an auction. We got an auction. We got an auction. There you go. Um. Uh, I knew a little, a little more trivia about the eagle, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, I learned where, where the designer's initials are. That's what it is. Whoop. Hey, waiting on a new card from my PayPal. Nancy, don't say that word. Oh. That P -P yeah, Palmer Stacker at forty dollars. All right, uh, that's nice. Ooh, Palmer Stacker. I don't think I have made your acquaintance at my channel. If you know, if you were there before, you know I have a bad memory. But if you weren't, check it out. We have fun. It happened. Fred's out. Jeff looking for 39. Plumber Stacker's at 40. And, and we should get a, what's his name? Uh, get Val on his stadium um, microphone. 
and and the crowd goes crazy. Forty-two. And comes in at forty-two. I see it. <laughs> and here comes Karna hey, Plumber Sager, I got you. And Plumber Sager said, "Nope, forty-five." Kelly comes back at forty-six. 36. We got a box match now. We got an auction. We got an auction. Uh, forty-six, forty-seven. Yes, Plumber and Stagger answers back at forty-seven, looking for forty-eight. Getting exciting, folks. Kathy's corner at 50. Quick answer. Oh, we go to $5 increments. Plumber Stacker at 55. Looking for 60. We're at 55. Looking for 60, guys. And the crowd goes crazy. One night only. <laughs> we got 60. Oh. Kathy's at 60. Looking for 65. I'm in Kathy's all. corner. And that is yep. all the beautiful breast feathers you can handle right there in one spot. Kathy Corner says she's out. Plumber Stacker's at 65 with an answer. We are looking for 70. Kathy Bowd, thank you for the bids, Kathy. 60, looking for 65, looking for 70. And stay for the intermission, folks. Be sure to visit the concession stand for hot popcorn, was, ice cold beer, and McRib sandwiches. I was going to say Ooh. hot dogs, and you said <laughs> Chocolate. That works. Uh, Instagram. Somebody, McRib. <laughs> and the McRib is back. Get your caramel corn, hot, homemade fun, snowball cookies, anything that floats your boat. Funnel cake. That's right. Funnel cake. One night only right here on the Cajun Coin Hunter channel. Next week, come back and see the monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks, the counter down, huh? It's been fun. Nancy, who? Oh. 70? So we twice two. Plumber, who got it? I missed that part. Last call. Oh, and it's, I'm nervous. <laughs> this is usually where I snipe, so whenever I see last call, my finger goes towards the keyboard. <laughs> Congrats, Plumber Stacker. As you know, I don't have your information, so and my information will be up on the screen soon. <sighs> okay. Next. Is that your email, Pam? Did you just got Pam and Jay on the screen. Yeah, I know. I didn't put my email up there. I'm going to put the coin up, then I'll type all that stuff in. I have another. We'll see here. Well, I think I'm going to go with the Libertad, like Mr. Um, Value Hunter did. Mine is an 85, as we know, and it's not as low mintage as the others. But it's pretty. It's in my hand, I think. Nope, sure isn't. Uh, heal. I am. I'm a magician. I am. Every damn thing I touch disappears. I was even ready to show it. I'm telling you, folks, getting old is no fun. My memory is like shot. Thirty seconds at last. There it is. Hey, Pam, what is your payment? Uh, what, uh, how are you taking yeah, payments? Yeah, that's why I'm going to write it in because I have an address that isn't my name. So I have to so, look at Why no, but you... It's, it will be PayPal unless you have Cash App. Anything, anything but PayPal will come to me. But I have a PayPal address I can use if necessary. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I'm right on down to Western Union. I don't care. <laughs> you got um, you you got uh, Google Pay. Uh, it lets Google Pay lets me send super chats and stuff. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried to use it to buy anything or receive anything. But I'm assuming I don't, since it is PayPal. Uh, Try and send me a dollar. Um. Well, John, you can work. That is a libertad. I can't send anything to Google Pay. Oh, there you go. We're a pair, huh? 
I have Cash App. I have Square. I have Venmo. I have, uh, geez, Western Union. But I also have a PayPal address I can use. I just have to write it all down here. Yeah, I can send it to this PayPal and they send it to me. It's just a pain in the ass. I mean, you know, it's just business. Okay, starting bid on the Libertad. We're going to go for 40. It looks like I'm going to think I should take it out of the plastic. It certainly would look nicer, huh? Kathy. Have the writing on the side. That's all right. I'll tell you in a second. Silver Viking. Because if it does, I'm learning something too. Yes, it well. Where's my eyeball? Yeah. It certainly does. Cool. I didn't know that. It says Libertad. It's really a thick coin, isn't it? Nice. Well, the back is nice too. This is yeah. smaller than the one you have, right now. Smaller in size. Small. Yeah, it's cool. smaller in diameter. It's thicker. Yeah. It's uh, they switched that in 94, 96. I think 96, they switched to the larger diameter, thinner coin to be, you know, more in line with uh, the other bullion coins like the Maple Leaf and the uh, the ASE. Am I in the right direct? Am I upside down again? No, good. Yeah, this uh, is a really clean coin. Uh, does that have writing on the side? Silver Vikings wants to know. And yeah, it, it, does. it does. I just learned that myself. Yeah, they 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 used to have uh they used to have writing on them up until I think 2012 maybe on the side. I don't, know if, I don't know if I can show it, but let's see. It says uh, Libertad in e Independencia, Independence. Okay, wait, yeah, this way. Here we go. Maybe. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. it's there. You have forty dollar <laughs> opening bid from Plumber Stacker. Forty opener from Plumber Stacker. This way. Anyways, yeah, it's a beautiful coin. The other side is the woman. <laughs> we were looking at coins last night, my channel, and some of my sovereign nation coins. The women aren't. Uh, they're nude from the waist up. Tell you what, two seconds and somebody will say, is she wearing a blouse? Is she wearing a top? It's it's too funny. We got 40 I I, one. What's she holding? Does anybody, a torch and a, hmm. Uh, it's a, I think it's a bikini top that she's holding up in the air. There you go. And it's a race for the top. Is it? Well, never mind. At these corner answers at 41, looking for 42. Nice tatas. See, I did. I. Mm hmm. Kenny Springer won all the naked coins I had. I don't know what happened. It was like a, he was like a magnet. <laughs> it was funny. Kathy's corner for looking for 42. I got to get that address, don't I? Pona Stacker comes in at 45. And Kathy's corner. She She's not letting you win this one. Or he. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh oh, look out. Plumbing Stacker comes up. Oh, boy. <laughs> 46 and 50 from Plumber Stacker and 55 from Kathy's car. Looking corner. for 60. Holy moly. 
Let me get this. In if here. you were watching earlier, be aware because I think that I think Pammy Jamley has one of these. Hmm. Mystery unraveled. Yeah, it's the only one I got. 55 at, from Kathy's Corner looking for 60 on the 85 Mexico. So the for 60. Do, 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 do. I think it's cool. I just learned about the, the side writing. It is cool. Plumber Stack Rich back at 60. Looking for 65. Johnny Ray. Let me back in. It's cold down here. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the basement, Cajun. Cajun, Johnny Ray needs to be back up. And we got okay. 60 for 65. All right. Uh, Dre, all right. There we go. Now, uh, okay. Uh, I was. Kathy's out. Kathy. Thomas Decker in the lead at 60, looking for 65 going once. Okay. Sorry, Cajun. Oh, not a problem. God, dog it. Man, all these notifications. Uh, Pammy J's up there with that uh, Libertad, so right there. There we go. That'd be me. I'm looking for an address to put up there. Okay, yep. and, uh, after Pammy J goes back to Johnny Ray, are you going to do a penny game after this round or after the second round? You know, I've been so busy doing my stuff. Uh, I haven't got anything out yet for that. Okay. You know, I don't have any coins. We'll do another uh, round. We'll give you some time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can I can put in something like a silver half dollar or something like that. You know. Uh, we got, we got plenty of good stuff to put up for you. So whenever oh. you're ready, we'll do it uh, after this round or after the next one. No, no, no. I'm not in no hurry. We've only been on two and a half hours, you know. So I'm not in a rush for that. All right. Okay. Y'all y'all continue with y'all auction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Johnny Ray, uh, he pissed a deer again. Mm hmm. He was in the basement, no? No, he was up here. He was. Uh, he's trying to get back up. There we go. All right. He, 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 not he, I'm having signal issues. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably uh, the area he's in. That's all. Sure, Patriot's mom. Hey, Patriot's mom, how you doing? Last call sold to Plumber Stacker for sixty. Thank you again. Um, um, and congratulations. And I think Johnny Ray is up, and I'm going to work on getting some addresses for uh, where to send the money. How's that? Thank you, folks. Okay, so Johnny Ray is up now, huh? <laughs> That right. he is. There you go, Johnny Ray. Boogity boogity. Oh, boogity. Mom, it already went. You know, right? Let's see. Hey, Mr. Barber, how you doing, Fred Carson? Yeah, it was over. I don't know what you're saying. Over, Patriots, Mom. I didn't know oh, you were yeah. asking about this one. Yeah. Plumber Stacker got it for 60. Your question came up after it was on last call, I think. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were asking about the Libertad. And I feel bad. <laughs> well, that's how it works uh, sometimes. Hey, Money Maniacs. All right. Uh, Johnny Ray's up, and I'm going to get back to uh, what I was doing. I made about 15% dent. In my stuff. <laughs> That's it. Are you baking Christmas cookies or something, Cajun? Eat gone. There's a 96 uncirculated mint set. <clears throat> no, I'm here. There's your Philadelphia. I'm sorry, this is a Denver. Yeah, no, where is Denver? Here's 
And there's all the paperwork. Specifications. And yes, 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 there it is. There is a W dime. Well. W. If you guys didn't think I had a W dime, huh? Not that this thing will focus on it. Yeah, I noticed your camera's behaving. Yeah, it's behaving, but it won't focus on this, so. But you can guarantee that's a W dime. It's right there in packaging, so. Starting to bid at 15 bucks, so. What? Yep. What? Money's at 15. My attention. Yeah, they checked over like 30, 35 bucks, but, you know, whatever. I, okay, money's at 15. Well, I think I just did my chat a while ago. Hold on. Oh, that chat's flying now. Huh. It's flying now. We got 15. I know somebody got $16 in their pocket. Come on. Somebody yeah, got I said 16. Oh, looking for 16. Looking okay. for 16. All right. Hold on. Well, crap. Hold on. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Uh, doop. Uh, all right. Okay. That's about twice uh, 15. All right. Boo drove that. Uh, 16, Floyd Finder came in at 16, Money Maniacs came in at 17. Oh, boy, too much for Jeff to type. <laughs> hey, Nancy <laughs> Barber, how you doing? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, crap, let me see. Money's at 17. Okay, all right. Uh, Floyd Finder's at 20. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, well... Man, this is going too fast for me. What's up, Treasures of Texas? Yeah, my man at 21. They said at 22. We're at 22. I know we can get 23. We get 23. We get 23. We get 24. All right, let's go work on 23. All right. All right. Y'all have fun. I'm going back to what I was doing. I'm, I'm, right. I'm going to be listening for the next turn around, turnover. Uh, I'm not cooking, Pam and Jay. And everybody in chat, I'm not cooking. Uh, oh, Miss is doing a little bit of cooking. Yeah, but I'm not cooking. She's doing a little bit of something, uh, a soup. Uh, a little cowboy, kind of Italian, Cajun style suit. And uh, I'm getting my other station set up over there to the south of me. I'm getting that uh, set up. Next time y'all see me, probably, uh, I'm going to be a different area, in a different area. Different view. Going one to 22. Nancy Barber, I'm on my way over for Cajun and spaghetti. I mean, Cajun and Italian soup. <laughs> Buck Finder is out. Money Manic is out. Going twice at 22. Looks like Basehead is going to win this unless we got a sniper sitting out there in the bush somewhere. Last call, everybody. This is your last chance. Steal it right out of base head's hands. Sold the base head. Now, base head, just send me an email right there with your, your name, channel name, 
address. I will email you a invoice at the end of the night. That way, I don't have to keep uh, trying to. I have a hard enough time keeping my pen in front of me, let alone who paid and who hasn't paid. So, uh, seriously, All right. that one the base is four point two. All right, let's fit all this out to the side, and I'm going to see if I have any luck with a Morgan. Y'all want a Morgan? All I have is this 1881. San Francisco, so uh, 1881 San Francisco, that won't say up there, and I will put it in the chat here, give me one second, 1880, um, no, 1881, No, I'm sorry, I can't help you out with that one, money. At 1881 S. That is an 1881 S. Starting bid, $30. Give me one second. There, and that's a better view of it. Real fine detail. That's gorgeous. That is a San Francisco. That's beautiful. Yep. Starting bid is $30. Oh, shit, we're already up to 40 <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes, it is it gorgeous, is. isn't it, Nance? Summer Stackers, I, he's on it. She's on it. I I got to learn not to do the gender thing. I got in trouble the other night. Summer <laughs> Stacker is on fire tonight. He wants to buy everything. He's doing Christmas shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Fred Carson is out. Thank you, Fred. I mean, look at that cartwheel on that. That's just amazing. It is a beautiful, beautiful. Well, it's it's a what you call it, San Francisco, right? Yeah. You're already on a good track there and then you take really good care of your stuff, so Well, I buy I buy I only buy this um I bought other uh lower grades but I buy them to put on a block. But I got this in my book and I got one slab the eighty one S so Damn. And you yeah, well I know you get around the country a lot, but you probably know really nice places to find those. You know, um, there's coin shops all over the country, but I don't really get to get to them. And then I had planned on doing that. And I plan on doing a series of coin shops around the country, but um, I just don't have uh, the time. No the doubt. Time. Yeah. You know, when you deliver expedited freight, you know, there is no, uh, you know, I leave uh, Kansas City and they want me to drive straight through. So and that's what I got to do. 
God bless you guys. All he is. Going twice at 40. He's going to get a steal. Plumber Stacker stealing this one at 40 bucks. Oh, oh not another Larson. I... <laughs> 40 bucks. Last call. Damn. Getting... We're at the last call. Where's the snipers? Oh, I'm the sniper. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Stole to Plumber Stacker for 40 bucks. Thank you. Wow. Stagger. You got That's a great deal on that one. Twice tonight, John. You got to, you know, put up a little fight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 40 hours. But my hands are tied. I tell you what, uh, Nance, every time I see last call, my hand goes towards the keyboard because I'm ready. Then I got to think about it. Yeah, I got to learn how to control myself. All right, yeah. this one is going to be weird, so. Um, okay, let me see. Yeah. I have, I have the uh, PayPal address I can use. I just would like to inform the people that I'm using it. <laughs> Wait a minute, where? Uh oh. All right, y'all. This is a 1982 Philadelphia Kennedy dollar. Normally, that's a plain old Kennedy half dollar, but on this instance, there is no designer initials. During remnants, during a bump, there is nothing. There is a, this is a, considered a no FG. And anybody who oh, knows variety knows that the, the no FG wow. is a pretty pricey uh, variety. So it's more common in the 82s, but it still has. <clears throat> value and I can't tell you because <coughs> my phone that's got PCTOS coin factor on it is what the camera is that you're looking at this coin through and my tablet is much in use for my chat so I have no way to look you know the price up so I just said starting bid 10 bucks no big deal We got Fred Carson at 12. All right, let's just set it down there. Let's see if I can move my... Let me work down there. And you can tell just by that without a scope to no LG. Fred Carson, 12. We are at going once. Fred Carson at 12, going once. Go number 13. Go number 13. Going twice at 12. Looks like Fred Carson going to get a deal. Last call. Basehead Rock comes in at 13. He had that loaded in the chamber ready to shoot. Yeah, 
up 13, looking for 14. We got 13, looking for 14, 13, looking for 14. <laughs> I don't have that auction, boy. Minnesota auctions, real auctions, uh, not coin auctions, but uh, where that auctioneer goes, what did he say? <laughs> How much is it going for? A big base hit tonight. And Fred Carson said, You got it, base hit, it's yours. All right, Red. Have a good night. I'm sure I'll talk to you sometime tomorrow. Yes, Nancy Barber is still still. Yeah, he said going once at thirteen. Going twice at, yeah, okay. <laughs> Going twice at 13. Everyone's still on red. Go to bed before all the good stuff comes out. Last call at 13. Will somebody snipe the sniper? Don't look that way. Sold to Basehead for $13. All righty. That is my three. That is next on the next group. Be valuable. All right, let me get him up here. All right, there we go. Now, get back to what I was doing. Think value on might as well sleep. I'm talking too much now. Value, honey, you fell asleep? Oh, you probably, uh, when he got some stock out of the back room, some inventory. Damn, I just found something I've been looking for for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you clean up, you find a lot of stuff, don't you? That's usually how it works Finally, like, throw it. Have it for so long, and, you know. All right, Valley Hunter, where you at, Mona Me? There he is. Took me a second. Sorry about that. So oh, I'm gonna yeah. do a. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick up uh, one of my kids here in a bit, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one big lot, and instead of three. Right. I'm going to do one big one. I'm going to do a pylon lot, Cajun. 
Oh yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Pile up lock is what I'm going to do. I just, I'm just going to keep grabbing stuff and adding it to these are fun. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. You a lot of people know what these are. I'm, I'm trying to pull out some cool stuff and we'll see where the price goes. I may add some, uh, I may add some pretty significant stuff depending on where everybody is on the bidding, but I'll give you, I'll give you something good as a base to kind of start out with here. I'm gonna start out with some Ikes. Now, shipping on this lot, because I have a feeling it will go over, let me just weigh it real quick and see. I think I might be over a pound already with the stuff I got in my hand. God, yeah. I, I, I'm at, you I'm, know it's gonna go over a pound altogether. Anyway. It's over a pound for sure, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna start with, let's we'll start with some 40% here, guys. So we got a blue Ike. It's a 71 common date blue Ike, but it is in the original government packaging. And um, the bidding can start out wherever anybody wants to start it, okay? So everything you see here, pay attention, make a note, write a list, because I'll go back through it one time, but you know, you got to kind of add all the stuff up in your head to figure out what, what your value is here, <laughs> okay, as you're going. Get an idea. So I'll, I'll take a second. And you won't have any problem, base head on the lag, because I will give a start. So Cajun's starting us at ten dollars. Uh, no problem, collective. You'll have fun with this one. It's going to be a good time right here. This is going to be a good time lot, okay? And I'm just going to do this one because it may take a bit, and then we'll pass it on to Pammy J. There's the insert. There's your COA. There's the coin. In the original government packaging, it's in nice shape, not too, uh, not too cloudy. If it does have any plastic, I heard my name. Plastic revenue. Mint Mark is a uh, San Francisco, Nancy. Oh that yeah, the blue eyes, they always San Francisco. San Fran. Forty percent silver. There's your Mint Mark <laughs> above the date. <laughs> Excuse me. Could be a variety in the in the uh, in the seventy ones. I don't know. We're at ten bucks. Yeah, forty percent silver for these. There's about nine dollars worth of silver at today's melt in one of these coins by itself. Something like that, I think. Um, we will also put up a key date brown Ike. So the brown Ike comes in a brown box. That's why they call this the blue Ike because it had blue packaging. All the forty percent silvers. Right here, 10 bucks. Cajun's in the lead. Then the brown Ike is the proof. So this is uncirculated. They're also San Francisco mint. This one has a little bit of haze. You bust it out of the plastic and give it a little scrub with a Brillo. That'll come right off. No, I'm kidding. Give it a little dip maybe. I don't know. Some people do that. It gets their original mint luster back or, you know, sometimes the proofs can get affected negatively by that. I don't know. There's people that know what they're doing better than I do. I leave these things in the package, but there's a little haze, tiny bit. But that is the key date, the 73. So you got a 73 Ike and a 71 blue proof and brilliant of circulate. All right. So that's your base for the pylon. Pylon. We're, we got base head at 12, and I may not call out every bid, but I do see them just because I'm going through what's going in. Jeff will be calling it. You guys take a look. Here's another key date. That is the mint set from 73, guys. So we have the insert cardboards that go with it. I'm going to put that kind of back here out of the way. And then you have the Philadelphia and the Denver. The Philadelphia, Denver, and the San Francisco scent from 73. So if you have a Dansko album, this will fill a lot of holes in that Dansko. Here's your 73. Okay, so you got a 73 uh, Philly, Denver, and San Francisco scent. You got your Blue Ike, and you got your 73. So all, all Eisenhowers so far, okay? All, all Eisenhower. By the way, there's two Eisenhowers and two Kennedys in this set, you know, because you've got the 73 in clad from Philly and Denver. So just to mention, these are all the Eisenhowers right there.
Yep, and that's right, everybody. The the more the bidding goes up, the more stuff gets added. The more right, stuff right. gets added, the bidding goes up, and he's finding some stuff. And seventy one. Hey, I've seen Value Hunter do this already, and there was a buttload of stuff. He oh, had he was even <laughs> I'm sorry, it got it got quiet there. Here's a seventy one. Are we doing like a giveaway or something here? I was not. No, this is bidding, auction, auction, real money, real money. And it's 71. a power. It's a There's power. your PND on the 71. Oh, I get it. And then I know here's the 72. Doing. There's your 72 set, PND. There's the inserts. There's the coins, PND set, 72. PD and S. They got the S cent in the 71 and 72. We There's a 77. $70. We got fifty dollars worth of stuff in there already. There's a seventy-seven set. Nancy's at thirty. The seventy-seven set has both the P and D, and again with the Ikes on those sets. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me just kind of recap so you guys can see. I'm gonna get rid of the packaging because I think it's. I'll make sure you guys get all the packaging. Don't think it disappeared on you. But I just want to show you what you get. So we got the brown Ike. 73 key date. You got the blue eye, 71. You got the key date, 73 clad set. You've got the 71, which has some varieties, quite a few varieties, potential in that set. I have not searched any of these sets for any varieties. And I bought them in bulk, so I doubt the prior collector did either that owned them or dealer stock. Uh, they were in a large lot. So the 72 right there, the 77 set. So you got the 71, 2, 3, and 7. You got the 71 in 40% silver, the 73 in proof 40% silver. Where are we at? We're at 31, huh? So that's, I mean, just so you know, guys, you go on eBay, that's a $25 coin right there by itself. That's a $25 coin. Nancy Barber is at $32. That's $10 coin. I mean, you got $35 just on those two coins right there. The 73s go retail about $10. And these other sets probably, you know, 5 to 10 somewhere in that range each. So you have $15, $25 there. You're probably over $60 bucks right now, guys. I'd love to add something more to this, but not a lot of action yet. <laughs> I mean, we got action, but now, you know, dollar increments, guys. We got 32. I'd love to add some silver to this, but. Um, some extra silver, correct. Extra, yeah, yeah I, I would like to add a lot of silver. I'm just, you know, I got to hit the mark. Got to hit the mark. You let me know, guys, if you want to start counting down where we're at. Otherwise, keep bidding, and we'll, uh, when we hit the value we're at, we'll add some stuff to it. All right, Boudreaux's at 33, looking for another item. Looking for 34. We looking for 34. Looking for 35. The more it goes up, the more he's going to add, guys and gals. Let's see. let's see. Wholesale pricing. Let's see. So, melt value. So, 25. Um, 34. 10, 15, 20, 25. When we, get to 40, we get to 45. I'll add another. That 45 is about 20 bucks under current retail on this. So, when we get to 45, I'll add something else. Damn, and that's just in uh, what? Do, do, do. Yeah. So, uh, Nancy Barber, let's see. Uh, Form Dog 34. Rafe Ailman comes in and saying, Yo, yo, my friends. What's Let's up? See. Yo, Rafe, my moderator brother. Three. Nancy Barber's at 35, looking for 36. Get the bidding up so more can get added. And I forgot to put out. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I got to put out. If you get, if you get, let's see, if you get these sets at five bucks a piece and you include the key date, which is the 73, that's five, 10, 15, 20 bucks right there on these clad sets. Melt value on that nine bucks. Is that right? Nine bucks or am I high on that? What's the melt on that? Is it? I didn't think it was. I forgot what it was. Uh, okay. We had it in there uh, Wednesday. Hold on a second. I'm gonna look it up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty wholesale price on those sets right there is twenty. Uh, 
where in the heck is the 40 percenter? Okay, it's, it's not giving me a, uh, a price. Right, how it comes in at 40. Yeah, we're, close to 41. We're, we're getting close to wholesale value here. I'll, I'll throw something else on. 40 bucks, that's my mark. Let's see. Yeah, $8.17 just on value on that. So if you got 20, figure 10 bucks on the Ike, that's 30. Figure even that's the key date. I know they sell for 25, but let's say even 15 on that. It's got some A's on it. That'd be 20, 30. That'd be 45 right there. I think wholesale value on this. I think wholesale, I think wholesale value on this is 45, and we're at 40 right now. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I will add a 2002. This has the Tennessee quarter, it has the Ohio quarter, it has the Louisiana quarter. Mississippi and Indiana. And then this is the half, the sack, the uh, cent, nickel, and dime. There's some toning on the dime. And it's all yeah. silver, That's, people. Silver, silver, silver. silver. The melt value of the silver <laughs> in this set right here, the melt value of this set right now, today. Now, let's say melt and face value because it's got a second joy. I'll give it to you the penny. To penny this is a o2 set there's 1.33823 ounces of silver with the face value the melt value is 35 dollars and 63 cents okay so just that melt value and wholesale value on these coin sets we're at 80 bucks right now comes with the coa for 50 looking for comes 55 with comes with the box and the coa guys Again, the packaging is here on everything unless I say otherwise. That's brand new, spanking new in the box. So they're about 80, bu 80 bucks in wholesale or melt value in this set. I was so going to say the same thing. $80 worth of coins up there. Right now, so we're at 50, looking for 55. So far, yeah. The bid goes up, the more stuff gets added. I mean, if you guys decide you want some coins tonight and you start throwing some bids up there, I'll make sure that you that you get more than retail melt or wholesale value on these things. You won't uh, believe what ends up up there. If, if we slow down, then we just we can count it down. I mean, I'm okay with that. I may lose thirty bucks on this, but you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy and throw you know 1954 proof sets or Morgans or other stuff up there if uh, you know if we're below wholesale and and uh, and melt. I mean, it's just it is what it is. But I'm glad to keep piling on. You guys just let me know. You guys let me know. Yeah, the 30 pounds of mail I got, 15 of it was from Val. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's the truth. Really? It's the truth. All right, so let's see. Hey, we're looking for 55. Anybody? Hi, 55? We're going to start adding to it. Hey, Bone Sky, how you doing? Is that 50, going on? Hey, Bone Sky. What's good, gang? What's going on with you? Well, I'm going to recap for Bone Sky because he is a coin collector and uh, I think he's looking for a deal. We're not counting it down yet, Jeff. We're on pylon mode still. I'll let you know when we're counting down if we go that direction. Bone Sky, we got a key date 73, 40% silver proof Ike. 41, 41, 40% uh, silver BU Ike. About $8.20 in melt on both these coins. That retails for 25 wholesale, probably 15 or 20, 10 bucks on that. So we got about $80 in coins out here. We got a 73 set. Those are all clad, but they have the PD. And the Ikes in those. There's a few dollars in face there. More than a few dollars. Same thing here. Plus, you have the San Francisco. That's the 73 set. 77, 73, 72, 71. So you got about $45 worth of coins right here. Re uh, wholesale value. And then you've got a mint set from 02. This is a silver proof set from the mint. United States mint silver proof set. The melt value on this is $35.63. Right now, thirty-five, sixty-three. So we got eighty bucks worth of coins in wholesale and retail. All the packaging that goes with it. And I'm getting ready to add some more stuff. I'm getting ready to add some more stuff. Um, just seeing where the bidding takes us. All right, we got Bone Sky for Bone Sky for at fifty-five. He knows the deal. We're at fifty-five, looking for sixty. 
Let's see. How can I entice some bidding? I know I had money out there. Money maniacs are out there. Let's see what he might get excited about. All right. I'm going to look deep, deep for this one. I'm going to go deep on this one. What we got here? What's he going to come up with? What's he going to come up with is right. <laughs> You're amazing sometimes. Oh what are God. you going to do, Value Hunter? All right, I gotta, I gotta. Oh man, I don't want to, I don't want to break up this collection. I, I collect notes that are. If you guys ever run into them, I collect. I'm looking at notes right now. If you guys ever run into notes that are signed by the uh, the Treasury or Secretary, like countersigned, you know it's got their signature at the bottom of the note. But if you have an ink signature to go with it, I buy those. So just let me know if you ever run into them. All right, I got. What do I got here? I got a twenty-eight two-dollar note. Now nah, let's 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 go to something a little more, a little more scarce than that. How about a horse blanket? Should we add a horse blanket? Let's add a horse blanket. Um, I would say that's five bucks to ten bucks for a horse blanket at least. Money might jump back in. All right, we got a horse blanket, guys. Just to give you an idea of the size of that horse blanket, it's probably a twenty or twenty-five dollar note. I mean retail on that. You know, it's worn. It's worn. It's a worn note, but just to give you an idea of size so that you guys can compare it to a regular note, right? This is a regular size dollar. You see the difference in size? It's right up against it, and it's like an inch bigger all the way around, so that's called a horse blanket. Blue currency in the mix. We got money jumped in on that one. He goes, yep, all right, 60 is good. Throw in the horse blanket. You got it, Val. All right, let's look through this catalog a little bit further. See what we got here. Well, that gold certificate would be nice, but it would bump the bid too much. Well, Christopher W. has got it at 100. Christopher W. is at 100. All right, just for you, Christopher W., you know what that says? You know what that says? It says W <laughs> for Christopher W. You got a W quarter in there. W quarter in the Christopher W pile. He says, I know a value when I see it. He bids 100. And I threw a W quarter. That is a 2020 Rockefeller. I will show you. It is in really good shape. That's a 2020. Marsh Billings Rockefeller, 2020. Land Steward, Vermont. And this also has the V75 privy in front of Washington's face and the W in Under in God We Trust. Going for about 25, 30 bucks on eBay right now. That is your Washington quarter. Let me zoom in on that so you can make out what it is. Fred Carson said, hmm, there's some value in that pile. I mean, you got you got 40 bucks probably on this O2 set, right? 10 bucks retail on this horse blanket, or wholesale rather. 20 bucks on the clad sets. So you're at 20, 60, 70, and then 25, probably 95. We're probably at over 120, I would guess, in wholesale value, guys, of coins over here. $20 worth of wholesale. Let's see. Let's add some more. What do we have? We had an 07 or 97. Let's see if I got an 8. Yeah, I got an 8. I got an 8. I got an 8 and a 9. I'll throw an 8 uncirculated set. That has the P and D coins in it as well. There you go. There's your P's and your D's. All right, that's a 1978, and there's the 79 uncirculated set. That's got your P's and your D's, and it's got your 1979 SBA. Let's see if there's anything close about them. Nope, they are far. But they're beautiful, and there might be some varieties in there, guys. Again, variety coins come in these... Let's see here. What's next? What is next? 
next 20 bump, we'll probably get something here. Next 20 bump, I think we're close, but we need to get some bidding on where are we? Christopher's still in the lead at 100, looking for 105. Is that it? Is that where we're at? <clears throat> I think that's where we're at, right? Is that where we're at? We're at 105. Bone Sky comes back at 105, looking for 110. Uh, we're at 105, looking for 110, folks. 105, looking for 110. Uh, let's see here. One oh five looking for one ten and I'm looking on my I'm looking at my stuff here for something to bump this thing. All right, let's see. How about some foreign coinage? How about some foreign coinage? You know you know Did I hear foreign? What's that? <laughs> Did I hear foreign? Foreign, maybe foreign. <laughs> Ooh, I got some nice Canadian here. Hold on one second. This is proof like, let's see, 65. Let me see what I've got in the way of dollars because oh, I got halves right here. Hold on. Where did my dollars, my Canadian dollars go? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's go with 64. Let's go with a oh wow. Yeah, this one's nice. That is a BU64 half dollar Canadian silver half. You guys make that one out. It's beautiful. Frosty. Proof like. Oh hell no. And that's about, I don't know, six or seven dollars worth of silver melt value right there, plus the coin's in immaculate condition. Christopher's at 150. All right, oh. jumping it. I'm gonna jump it. That's getting thrown in there. I'm going, I'm going deeper. I'm going deeper. <laughs> All right, this is a 1934 Peruvian silver. Un Sol Libertad. Okay. Yeah. Libertad right there. And that says Fermi Feliz Port Union for the Union. And that's Peruvian. It's uh, called an Un Sol. That's the type of coin it is. From Lima, five decimos fino. So it's 50% silver. Republic of Peru from 34. And it's got their crest on it. Beautiful, beautiful silver coin. That's going in the mix. Let me zoom. I'm zoomed out to show you the close-ups, and then I zoom back in to show you what all's in there. Uh, let me see. You've got the 25. Let's throw in some silver, current silver Kennedys. How about that? Uh, well, those are key dates, I think. 12 is, 12 is the key date, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here. I'll do the 99. How about the 99? That's a key date set. Here's the silver half from the 99 guys. That's a 99 silver Kennedy half dollar. It's uh, it's not perfect. It's been out of the thing. So it may have a little, a few little scratches, but for a dance go album, instead of spending 60 bucks or 70 bucks on the 99 proof set to get this Kennedy, in silver, <laughs> there you go. That's why I, that's why I grab those when I can see them. The Kennedy, you know, I mean, it's it's ten bucks worth of silver or whatever, but it's uh, it's on the key dates like this. You got to spend seventy bucks to get this for your Dansko album. This has, as you can see, silver. And I'll show you the reverse on this. That is a ninety-nine silver proof Kennedy. So I know somebody's probably got a hole in their dance co album for that. I'm going to throw some more silver in. Chris W., appreciate your bids. And just for that, 
We're going to throw in a Liberty set, United States Liberty coins. That's the outer sleeve. That's the outer box. That's the COA. That's the felt insert with the emblem, the seal, U.S. seal. And then inside are two proof coins. It's a little bit of toning on both, but there's a half dollar that's clad and then a 90% silver Liberty dollar. And that is equal weight and silver value to a Morgan. And this is the reverse of it. It has the torch with the rays it says United States of America. And then the Ellis Island, that's the Ellis Island commemorative. Oh. Yeah. Looking for 55. That's the set. So uh, let's see, those are probably wholesale 20 bucks to 25. We got 40 in the thing. So 40, 60, 75, 85. I added two more sets, so we're at 30 there. So buck 15, probably buck 35, buck 40, buck 50, probably 20 bucks on that. Maybe, maybe let's call it 15. Oh boy, uh, that's 150, 160, 170, 80, probably, probably 180 in, in probably 180 in value here. Um, do I take payments? Well, you know me, Nancy. I'm pretty easy to work with. Your bids are good with me. And if we need to, you know, break this package up into two payments or a layaway, we can certainly do that. But we're at 150, looking for 155, guys. Um, let me see what else I can do to make this a special. It's already pretty special, but um, you don't need to register, Lily. You just, your bids, um, you email and you get an invoice and you pay the invoice and it includes shipping. This package will be $8 shipping. So it'll come, it'll come priority in a padded envelope. It'll go out sometime this week. I don't know with the holiday exactly what day I'll be shipping with all this stuff. So it won't be before Christmas, but you will get it priority. It'll be, you know, nine bucks, uh, eight bucks to ship it. And then what will happen is, um, you know, if somebody was to bid and not pay, if we don't hear from them on payment, I email them after 24 hours. If they don't respond to that, then I go ahead and um, go to the next highest bidder and they end up with the package at their, at their backup bid. Um, Christopher W is at 200. Okay. Fred says he's out. Well, Fred's out for the moment. Let's see what we got that we can. <laughs> Let's see. I know. I know. Val, you make me tired just listening to you. I know. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, well, I love it's it. It's just a soothing thing, not a uh, tired. No, up. it's great. It's great. It's <laughs> nice to hear somebody that has energy. It's really, hopefully it's <laughs> relaxing and not tired of. You're tired. You nah, out of nah, tired nah. Of. Let's throw a uh, let's throw a peace dollar on here. Uh, let me look through my peace dollars here and see if I've got one that's in a little better condition. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's a that's a common date, but it is a beauty. Uh, it is probably probably VF. That's what I'm gonna I'm gonna say based on the feathers on the back. I'm not great at, at grading these things, but um, that is a 22 piece dollar. I'm gonna throw the piece dollar in with the package. There she is. Might be better than that. Might not. You know, it's plus or minus on the grading. Um, let me zoom in just so you see what you got up close. There's some spotting or toning or something going on there. I don't know what that is. You can see the hairlines. So those of you that have an eye for these things know what you're looking at. Like I said, I'm thinking BF plus or minus there's feathers might be F. Anyway, there's about 20 bucks worth of silver in one of these. So at the very worst case scenario, and these are known to have a lot of varieties. So there's your piece dollar to go with that. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to package these piece dollars back up. Hold on. All right. That one was one of the better ones in, in, the, in this pile anyway. Um, let's see here. Ooh, that would be cool. That would be cool. All right, guys. I'm going to have to do a close-up on this. How about a barber... How about a barber dime in 
better condition, like a better condition barber dime would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I'm going to take a look and see what I've got here. Oh, this is probably the – I'm looking for a full liberty is what I'm looking for. And I, I have a couple choices here, but I think this one – yeah, that's nice. All right, guys. So I'm going to throw in a barber dime that's in really nice shape. Let me double check. Yeah, that's a P. There's no mint mark on this, which I think is actually scarcer. I think the Phillies on the barbers are less vintage, but I have to double check. But I don't know if you guys can make out, but all the Liberty is visible. It's tough with me holding it, isn't it, to see it because I'm moving around a lot. That is a 1914 Denticles all visible around the edge of the coin. Full Liberty. It's circulated, but lightly. Probably VF. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably VF. Maybe XF. Full Wreath. Full Liberty. There's all the letters for you. You can see them kind of in that light, right? You can see Liberty right there all the way across. Let me turn it over for you. One dime. I think there's more wear on the reverse than there is on the obverse, actually. But it's still nice. You can make out all the wheat stocks. All right. So you got a barber dime in, you know, in very nice shape. So it's not just your average barber dime. It's better than average barber dime. And uh, there you go. You can kind of see what you're getting here. There's a W, right? I said my. I said I might have to pick somebody up. I got to double check. I'm not getting texted from my, my child that is uh, – Gonna need a ride here shortly. That's why I'm doing this, guys. I'm taking up, definitely taking up uh, my three terms with this pile. So thank you, other auctioneers, for your patience while we go through all this stuff. We're at 205. Christopher W came back at 210. I'm gonna find some. I'm gonna find some more stuff. We're above 200. Um, I'm gonna throw in some more stuff. I'm gonna probably. All right, so. Let me find the, the uh, 93. Where is the 93? That's a 93. 93. And that's a 93. This one has almost, this one is like an AU condition. This is a beautiful coin, guys. Um, let me double check. Let me compare two of these. I'm going to put a commemorative half dollar in the mix here, guys. Uh, I'm going to put this one in. I think it's better. I can't tell. I think this one's better condition, so I'm going to put the better one in. I can't really tell. One of them... One of them looks like it may have an old cleaning, and the other one has, you know, less fine of, like, details on it. So, tough to, tough to say. They're both extremely nice. So, I'm going to go with the one that does, that looks like it may have an old cleaning, but is in, in nicer shape. That's a Columbia Expo half dollar right there, guys. And they're not uncommon, but they are old. 1893. And this is basically a live grab bag is what you got here. <laughs> Thanks, Bone Sky. Fred says he's out. We had some bidding activity going on. Fred was at 220. We had Christopher W. at 210. Fred at 220. Christopher W. at 230. Fred Fred was uh, just behind him. And then we had, uh, let's see, who do we have? We had two. So we got Christopher W. at 230. We added the World Fair Columbian S Expo. Chicago World's Fair. It's the anniversary in 1892. They announced this and started minting this. This and then it occurred in 1893. So it's the commemorative from the discovery, the 1492 discovery. It's got Christopher Columbus on the front, and it's nice. And it probably had, like I said, probably had a cleaning. And that's what we were talking about earlier, Pammy. Is you see how there's like darkness around the lettering, and then there's some, and then like the the high points in the middle of the coin are, are like cleaned off. That, that's, mm -hmm. what that, that's what happens. Then it'll retone again, but you can just tell because it gets a darker patina on the inside, and that's a, just an indication that you've had a cleaning at some point. A lot of these...
Yeah, it's a beautiful I point. I mean, great. there's nothing wrong with it. You know, I mean, it's been clean, but there's not. That's not the end of the world. And most, of, a lot of these were right at some point, um, unless they were BU and a collector that knew what they were doing, held on them and kept them perfect condition. So you got the horse blanket, which I forgot to mention on the last go around. The barber, the the piece dollar. I mean, we got a pretty good pile of stuff going here. We are at two thirty. Uh, we're at 230, looking for 235, and I'm trying to figure out what else I could throw in the mix here. I mean, I've kind of cleared everything in front of me. <laughs> um, let's see here. Hey, Nancy, what's the um, what's the three numbers after Nancy? You're in your email. I remember the beginning. I can't remember the numbers. Eight eight nine. I was close. I was close. Thank you. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've got more silver going in this pile, though, than I do copper and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep with the silver. Let's, uh, we're getting ready to close it out. We're at 230. Fred said he's out. We're looking for 235. Everybody's scratching their head going, what is in that pile? How do I add all that up again and figure it out, right? Um, I'm going to look through and see. If I've got something that might prompt a bid that might require some attention from the bidders, um, I've got some uncirculated Benjamins. <laughs> How about an uncirculated Benji? Um, hold on one second, guys. Bear with me. I got to find it. I think, I think I have. Benjamin Franklin that's uncirculated that I can add to this pile. It's a beautiful coin. Uh, let me get a better year. Okay. Mm. How about a BU 61D? Here we go. Yeah. Here's a Benji, guys. That's a 61D. I have not checked this for any doubling or other kind of random <laughs> varieties, uh, mint errors, anything like that. But that is a BU coin. It's very nice and frosty looking. It is a the BU variety of the of this it is a d mint mark i hadn't looked at the mint mark yet this was kind of in my folder of needing to be looked at and gone through which i hadn't had time to do ever that looks a little interesting doesn't it let's see that mint mark up close if we can nope I'm just going to keep screwing with the focus and nothing good's going to happen. So I'm going to move the coin rather than the camera. It looks a little fat. But tough to tell. Anyway, I mean, you can just see the pores in the metal almost, right? You see that? That is so cool. What a beautiful coin. And, of course, then the money on the uh, Benjis is in the bell lines, which look pretty pretty defined to me i would say that's you know pretty darn close to questionable on whether it's uh right above the bell whatever that thing is called that hangs out of the bell that rings it it looks like they kind of mush together a little so i would say probably not going to get a designation but they sure are the def well defined and beautiful and the coin overall is stunning did that look like an RPM? It's very possible, Basehead. I mean, look at that coin, guys. That is a beautiful, beautiful Benji. So you kind of have a lot covered. You got a Canadian half, a Benji half. Um, we are at 250, looking for 255. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to say that that is the pile. Let's count that down. Okay. Let's count that down, guys, as far as the pile. I, I need to give it back to – I need to give the mic back to the other auctioneers here because I'm just hogging the, uh, the floor. I'm, I'm probably going to miss my next turn, so I wanted to, instead of doing three, just do a pile on. And this has turned out to be 20 items in one. So thank you for your patience. Appreciate everybody's bids. Let's start counting it down. We're at 250, looking for 255. I'm going to throw – uh, one more coin on after the bidding. So the buyer is going to get a coin uh, of my choosing added to this pile, but this is what you're bidding on. So, you know, that's a sight unseen. I will add something. I don't know. I will add a coin at the end of this, but that is the pile. As you see it, that's what you're getting. And we're at 250 going once. Christopher W is in the lead with 250. And we're going once on 250. And we got 250 going. Twice. I think there's good value here, guys. Even at 255. I mean, I'll count as we go twice. Jeff, before you close it out, let me go through everything one more time. So anybody doing the math, before you throw the last call and, and call it sold, before you do that, Jeff, let me just go through it here real quick one more time. I see Fred's at 255. I just want to go through the items one more time so everybody has one last chance. Okay, I'm going to fly through it. 73 key date silver 40% proof ice. 71 BU silver 40% Ike. Horse blanket $1 note. 2002 silver proof set. What? <laughs> Tammy. Okay. 1986 Ellis Island commemorative. Proof silver, 90% silver proof set in original government packaging. 1999 key date, 90% silver, Kennedy half dollar. 1922 P. I'm calling it F plus, maybe VF, P dollar. Peruvian un sol. <clears throat> Peruvian Unsol, 50% large silver, chunky silver from 1934. 1964 Canadian BU Blinger, beautiful, proof-like almost. I mean, you see the cameo appearance on the devices. 50% 50% silver. I always forget that these flip the way they do. Uh, Canadian, half dollar. Uh, you've got... In the way of clad sets, you've got the 71 P and D. You got the 72 P and D. You got the 73 P and D. The 77 uh, P and D. The 78 P and D. And the 79 P and D. You got a VF or better mm -mm. Arbor 1914 dime, beautiful centerpiece to your collection. Of barber dimes, you've got a V twenty, a V seventy five, seventy fifth anniversary of World War II W quarter Marsh Billings Rockefeller. That's the W. You've got the Columbian Expo, eighteen ninety three half dollar. It's a fire sale, Papa Frank. This is the pylon lot. I love doing these once in a while because they're stimulating. Colombian half dollar. And then you've got the BU, beautiful Benji, blinger. That's a blaze white Benji right there. Beautiful, beautiful condition. That's a 62. That's a, sorry, 61D, guys. So that is the all the original government packaging for everything. I'll put a protective sleeve on the, uh, on the horse blanket for you. And I'm going to add one more coin sight unseen to the winner. 
Nancy stimulated. All right. <laughs> Very nice, Nancy. Merry Christmas. Glad, glad I could be entertaining for you tonight, along with the other auctioneers here on the on the <laughs> block. It's a good time. Nothing but a good time ever on Cajun's channel. And and so we're at uh you guys have seen all the coins out there. I'm gonna let you bid it down, and then based on the final bid, I'm going to add a coin, sight unseen. Okay, so I'm gonna add a coin of my choosing. Don't you be talking add. dirty, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a good time. Always. Yes. Papa Frank is singing. I'm happy. Yes, when your Benji hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. <laughs> it is indeed, Papa Frank. It is amore. These are I got a I got a bunch of BU Benjis, and this is one of the nicer ones. And and they're just you know frosty. I mean, just the 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 way the silver comes off the the mint. You know, the press is just. Amazing, you know, it's almost like it's got silver dust on the top of it or something, you know, and when they still look like that after 50, 60, 70 years, it's pretty amazing, really. I can't believe that, you know, we're getting into that time frame with the Benjis, you know, it seems like they were, it was just uh, prior to my lifetime that they were in circulation. It's crazy. So we're going twice. Jeff's counting it down, guys. Remember, there's me one more, I'm going to call it not coin, but item. I'm going to add an item. It might be a coin. It might be something else. I'm going to add one item, coin related. It will at least have a coin. All right, Frank, you got it. No problem at all. Send me an email. I'll, I'll see if I can fill any gaps in that, that BU Dansko album you're working on. <laughs> um, I've got a handful. You know, it's the funny is I've got like a lot of the same date, you know, like, so I'll have like, 20 of one date and then, you know, five of another and then three of another. And so I don't have the whole run, you know, I've got maybe five or six, but I've got a bunch of those five or six. We're at last call guys. So, you know, we're at 275 looking for 280. There'll be one more item added based on the final price. We're going to call it down. Then whatever the final price is, I'm going to make sure that you got your value in this, in this, pylon lot that you bought. We're just going to call it a pylon lot. That's how I'll invoice it. It'll be eight bucks for shipping this thing. It'll come priority today. I might not get it out until after Christmas by the time I get it all packaged, but I might get it out Monday. So there's a chance you'd get it, you know, two day delivery on Wednesday. The mail is really slow right now. So I wouldn't count on it. I will put everything you see the the P style or the barber, they'll end up in flips. Everybody will get either a flip. I'll, I'll probably take these stapled flips and remove uh, the coin from them so that they don't risk damage in transit. Um, good to see you, Papa Frank. Thanks for stopping in. Merry Christmas to you and yours. And are we all in, all done? Any other bidders? We've got who? Who is in the lead here? We've got, I don't even know who's in the lead. Thank you for everybody for your bids. Chris W. Chris W. has been leading the push. We've had other bidders. Thank you, Fred's been in thinking about it. He's really scratching his head like, what would Val add? <laughs> to make sure I did okay. Uh, 280, man, it's it's a it's a big lot. It is. It's a big lot. You know, it's like, well, do I buy a tenth of an ounce of gold or do I buy this pile of coins from Value Hunter? Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. And we are last call. Be aware if you're sniping, if you don't have your number typed in by the time I type S O L or Jeff types S O L D, you're gonna be S O L. That's right. Okay. Congrats, Chris W. That was a huge win, my friend. SOL, shit out of luck, and be set for done. Yeah. All right. That took a long time. Sorry about the, the length, but I appreciate all the bids. It was a lot of fun for me. Hopefully fun for you. Thank you, Johnny Ray's probably snoring at this point, but thank you for your patience and Pammy J and Cajun. That was fun. All right. Man, that was a good one. That was a nice buildup. Yeah. Pile up, build up. Yeah. Oh, look at all these notes. Yeah. That, that was like torture for me. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how that goes. <laughs> Pammy J. I do know. Hey, before hey, hey, Cajun, before we go over to your penny game, okay? Uh mm. which I know I'm not I know that's not next. I think somebody else is on I think it's Who's up next? Is oh, it? somebody else is next. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
before we do that, um, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna okay. do a giveaway. Um, oh boy, I'm Chris. not ready for that. Let me uh, let me find a piece of something to write on. You know, Chris, do you want the do you want the do you want the add on to be a surprise, or do you want me to come up with something and think about? that and show you what it is in the stream what do you prefer would you rather open the package and find out what you got <laughs> say surprise he's great at those i'm gonna do a giveaway i don't know uh that's my old business cards uh, well these still good business cards i still hand them out but what the heck okay All right, how many people we got in here? 26. All right. So we're going to do uh, a number range. All right, just uh, show what you got up for the giveaway. Hold, give me one second. I'm pulling it up right now. All right. I got another. This is going to be a. This is going to be kind of a blow away giveaway. All right. Okay. Because it's actually, it's actually in the same condition as that other barber that I just sent to uh Hey, Chris W., uh, surprise me, he says. Okay, I'm going to surprise you. So you, you, I'm not going to show what it is, but I'm putting something in here. But the giveaway, this is a midstream giveaway for me. I figure every time I should be doing one, but this is an 05. It's got a little nick on the rim below the date, but this is similar condition to the other one. So I'll call this VF. Wow. Was that a quarter? Yeah, that's a barber. Sorry, that's a barber dime. It's, oh, a dime. You know, okay. Yeah, Looks old like Liberty, old Reef. Sorry, oh. I'm going to show you the back. That's a Philadelphia. That's an 05 Philadelphia barber dime. It's in very nice shape. It probably had a cleaning at some point, like many of these old 100-plus-year-old coins do. Uh, but, you know, condition-wise, it's extremely – you can, you can make out full Liberty on that. Full Liberty. Beautiful wreath. Nice, nice barber dime. It's going to somebody for Christmas. Nancy, it does have your name all over it, doesn't it? Literally. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm thinking it's right, so, Nancy. <laughs> all right. Nancy's related to Charles Barber. All right. So I, yeah, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch gears. I'm gonna put this on the other camera and get off of the pile-up camera so that everybody can quit drooling. For Christopher W. That's his lot now, folks. You can't have it. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll put it on the other one. All right. And all right. And we're ready when you are, Cajun. That's what the giveaway is right there. I got the number wrote hey. down on the other side of this old business card, B and M produce. When I was doing seats to uh starter plants and stuff like that. And Oh boy. Oh yeah. Uh, 18 by 40 greenhouse uh, with 10,000 plants in it. Yeah. Hello. That was a job in itself. All right. I got the numbers typed in chat. Everything's already in there. Okay. One guess. One guess only. Do not retract your message. If you out of range, that, that means you wasn't paying attention. That means you jumped the gun. Okay, so that'd be one guess, and I mean, that's it. One guess only. Do not retract your comment, your number. It doesn't matter if somebody already guessed your number or anything like that. Please don't do that. One guess only, one number, and the number will, the number range will come in chat here in a minute. Okay, as soon as I finish flapping my gun. Okay, hey, Jessica Pullen. How you doing? Come on, survive, soi. And yeah, it is nine o'clock. And it's good, soi. So, all right. And now y'all can go, go, go. One guess, one guess only. And whoever gets it wins it's it finished. on the head. Uh, gets the number on the head or closest to winning. Everybody seems to be guessing tonight. We yeah. got a good chat going. 
Yeah, and we have a winner. Wow. wow. Somebody's a carpenter? Somebody's a carpentero. Yep, a carpentero. <laughs> like the, the Mexicans. Hey, I'm a, me, carpentero, carpentero. Like, okay, okay. All right. Come to work, come to work. They don't ask how much money. They just want to work. <laughs> yeah. Down there in Houston. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, up there in Houston. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the number. Ooh, 22. Let's check it out. Here's 22. Out. Plain. 22. No mint mark. Oh, I see who it is. 22. No mint mark. I see who it is. Uh huh. Yeah. Patrick Johnson. Patrick Johnson. Congrats, Patrick. Congrats, Patrick. I got it up on the screen, too, KJ. If you want to split screen, it's up there. I don't know. Everybody sees it. All right. In fact, oh. he was the only one that guessed 21. I mean, you, 22. You were close, Nancy. Yeah, yeah. There was some 21s in there, some 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa Frank was close. Everybody was close. That was a good one. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Patrick. Yes, you are welcome. And I thank you, everybody, for the bids and the fun. Hey, if you come back around to me, Cajun, I, 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 I oh, yeah. have, we'll come back around to you. Yeah, but I may yeah. have to jump to go get my uh, daughter from. I may have to. Oh, yeah. Out. Not a problem. Not a problem. So if, if I leave, uh, let me think of something to throw into the penny game for you. Okay, but you see, we got okay. Z Rich is gonna come up and take okay. your your spot. Take my spot. Program. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have uh, Tammy Jones and uh, Johnny Ray and Z Rich. That's perfect. He's gonna come in and take your spot while you uh, going for a little while to pick up your. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know when I'll have to leave. I may be hanging out for a, a bit, but if I do. Okay. I want to make sure that you that you know you got it covered. It sounds like it, that will be fine. Okay. Patrick, that's your coin right there, my friend. Let's see if I can get it zoomed a little bit better. Nope, that's not very good. Oh, and what I found earlier, Pammy Jones. Let's see what? if you can see this. You remember one day we was talking about old recipes and old food. Get out. Not the mock apple pie. Yes, that's it right there. That's the recipe for mock apple pie. Ritz crackers. Wow. Yeah, can, hey, anybody that. can make an apple pie with Ritz crackers, and there's the recipe. Look how, look, it looks like a, a rag. It's so soft, you know? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe we even knew about it, each other. We each knew about that pie, and now you found the recipe. I looked on the back of a Ritz cracker box recently to see if it was there. Yeah, it, it, it's on the internet. I wrote that down, I don't know, like seven or eight years ago, I think. So mock apple, fake apple pie. But I tell you what, when mama used to make them things, uh, there was no apples in it. But the Ritz crackers were out on the table. I said, mom, what you making? She said, apple pie. I said, oh, yeah, yummy. And I knew what she was doing it with, you know, with Ritz crackers. But you didn't know it. Oh, you know, it tastes just like apples. It does. Yeah, if you didn't know it, you wouldn't think it was crackers. That's for, you would think you were eating apples. That's right. Fake mock apple pie. Ritz crackers. Hey, Miss Southern Bell. Thank you very much. Christmas cheer with a ten dollar super chat. Thank you That's very awesome. much. That's yeah, so Kate, cool. and I think you got email too. You and Missy. Got email. I think so. Hey Cajun, in case in case you run the penny game after Z Rich and Johnny Ray and Pammy Go and I'm not back, I want to show you what I'm gonna put the penny game. You can I'll leave it on the screen. Oh, I'm gonna wait on you. You ain't well, gonna be going more than an hour and a half. Well, I, I mean, I'll be better. we'll be here. Here's the thing, <laughs> I may not leave for an hour for an hour, and then when I leave, you may do the penny game. So let me just show you. Oh, okay. Let me just put it up. I'm going to put up one thing that's pretty cool, actually. This is a unique item. It's got like a scratch on it, unfortunately. I don't know. If it looks like a die. 
it might be like a die crack. Is that a known die crack? It looks like a scratch to me. I don't want to touch it except on the edge, but it looks like a scratch, but that would be a weird if they copied a die, a known die crack, but that's founded in 1967 and it says Liberty, right? And it's got the bust, and then it's got on the back. It's a it's a one ounce round basically, and it says 67, 1967 to ninety two, early American coppers. That was the name of the company that made that. Is it a one ounce copper round or silver it's round? A, no, it's a one ounce copper round. Oh, okay. But uh, hold on one second. I got one more thing to go with it. Trying to find here. <laughs> I just went back reading through the comments. Oh yeah, Eric and yeah. Copper. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> copper coins. <laughs> copper. So here you go for your penny game, Cajun. Okay. So what do they call that? Uh, what do they call that design right there? That one right there, uh, that a, would be a, a, a draped bus. Well, that's what this is, I too. Think, I think it's a draped bus. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that's it. Huh. Draped bus, Lord Sam. Yeah. Okay. So you see what that is, right? Her bust is draped. Yeah. You know, her breast is draped. Yeah. Yeah. And one's called a flowing hair. There's you one called a flowing is? hair, and a, a, there's, there's like four designs. Oh no, the flowing hair. No, no, no. We wish it was a flowing hair. <laughs> so you recognize what that is, right? That is a copper round a copy of a draped bust large scent. And that is an 1803 draped bust large scent for your penny game. And an 1803. Uh, and you're not allowed to play your own penny game. Just telling you. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> And that has happened before. I know. You're not allowed to play your own. Well, you can play your own if you want, Cajun, but, oh, boy, that would draw everything into question, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't I don't participate in my own penny game. I, I know yeah. you might want to with a draped bust and a, and a no. silver draped bust round on there. But, anyway, I'm throwing those things in on the penny game. Yeah, but anybody uh, in the auction, you know, like uh, you or Pammy J or Johnny Ray, they can. You know, I was just teasing you. I was just teasing you because I know you like your sense. Yeah, because it's not rigged. We're seven ten when you need it. It's not <laughs> it's rigged. Not rigged. <laughs> seven ten. <laughs> Busty. Uh, Miss Southern Bell, I think I just seen a notification where she shared. Uh, the live stream tonight to all her friends. Thank you, Miss Ellen Bell. What's up, Brandon Scott? How you doing? Oh, I just got an email from you, Amy J. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. You're a doll. Merry oh, I need, to, uh, oh I, know. I need to check that too while we on that subject. Oh, cool, Nance. I'm looking at the pictures. <laughs> Yep, yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We Merry Christmas. Tell Missy I said the same. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do a, what they call a re-gift, uh, whatever. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, yeah, we, we don't have a, I don't even know the closest store. I don't, ex I don't expect anything. Really? No. Uh, oh, there's no Starbucks in Louisiana. No, I'm I'm not have to go fifty miles one way to get to a Starbucks. Um, I'll I'll, I'll see if I could change it. I probably can. Oh, okay. Well, thank I thank you very much. Uh, you're quite welcome. I mean, I, I could re-gift it to somebody I, that that goes in those areas, but but man, we hardly drive in town, much less out of town, fifty miles. <laughs> I was afraid to send uh, anything caffeinated to Value Hunter. He's a little wired over there. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see me on coffee. Oh, look at I figured that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not I'm, after a case of Red Bull. <laughs> I've never, uh, I've never been to a Starbucks, uh, so I don't know how how their coffees 
I always did make a joke about them. Well, then you know what, Jason? Why don't you hang on to it, and then someday when you guys go on a little road trip, you treat yourself. Yeah, well, do those things expire? No. If they no. don't expire, then that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There's got to be yeah. one at a road stop somewhere or a truck stop and, somewhere. Uh, and, there, and there's food in there and stuff too, Cajun. You'll, you'll find some good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But, but there's no Starbucks around. Uh, like I said, I, there's one in Lafayette, and that's about 50 miles one way. Well, hey, when the weather clears up and the, and the germs go away, you and uh, Missy take a ride. Hey, Brandon Scott, good to see you. Miss Southern mm -hmm. Bell, hello. Hey, Brandon Scott, yeah, that these these are going to be up on the penny game in a little bit for Cajun, but we got a couple auctioneers coming up first. Luke Duke, how are you doing? Hey, send me an email. Man, I got your giveaway. I don't know where to send it. Send me an email with your address. I got something hey, for you. Luke. Where you been? I haven't seen you in a while, Luke Duke. You've been hiding? Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, Luke Duke. Uh, okay, yeah, Brandon Scott. I said hello. And I know I missed a bunch of other people already. <laughs> yeah, Abe's not here. I've, I've been busy, busy uh, cleaning out my old station. And I'm, I'm putting together a new station next week when y'all see me next. Mm -hmm. Totally different area. Uh, it's going to be, everything's going to be different. Next time y'all see me live, you know, for an auction or whatever. I mean, probably, uh, what's it, Saturday, probably Wednesday. Different area. Y'all uh, won't recognize the area. You won't recognize my place either. We're expecting company. That means, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Hey, late oh. night with Boo. Mm-hmm. It's all here. So let's see. Who's next? Um, isn't um Z Rich? Okay. Well, I'm uh, getting up here. Good. Yeah. Let me uh go ahead and send him an email real quick. Here we go. Uh, could don't don't could don't but don't could don't. Here we go. Let me make sure I got the right thing. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, right, Z-Rich, check your email real quick. I know I've seen him in here a couple minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, if not, uh, if he doesn't come up in the next two minutes or so, then we'll get uh, He's here. He's you here. or Johnny Ray. Well, where's Johnny Ray? Uh, there he is. Uh, yeah. Is Pammy? Who's next, I'm Pammy or Johnny Ray? Yeah, who is next anyway? Uh, Johnny is. He followed Val. Pammy. Okay, well, then we'll get Johnny Ray. No, I, yeah. I went first. I went first. Then okay. Me. Damn after I guess it's me then, Jason. I'm then, uh, yeah. Okay. This requires thought, right? Okay, I'm good. I'm even ready. <laughs> Man, that's good, yeah. <laughs> oh, a 95 Libertad. A Libertad. Is that on the block? Excuse me? Did you sell that one already? That's why I moved it. Oh, darn it. <laughs> there you go. This would be... I'm going to put my thing on. Wait a second here. I, yeah. I, like your, I like your stand there, Pammy. Is that a 1981 proof set? Indeed it is. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. See, hey, you can and do. You know what? Below that, here, below yeah. that is my painting of my avatar. Oh, it's cool. like um, it's like a Django game, or what's that game called? That stacking game. Oh, it is. Where I'm you pull yeah. the wood out and everything collapses. Yeah. It's like the uh, but that eighty one. I was like the great Carmack trying to decide what year that set was. That's what. Wait a minute. Double check. Yeah, it is. No, it's two thousand and one. Oh, I'm wrong. My great Carmack skills must have died with Johnny Carson. Oh, hell. I knew what I was going to say. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, it's an outside. I had to double check. It's a uh, Geiger. Cool? Oh, one ounce. Three nines fine. I, you know what? I like the reverse of these Geigers better than the... What's up, the cone? Raging Cajun, the cone, the dabba 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 doo bands in the house. I gotta put it down. Wait a second, guys. I gotta type it in. I don't like this part. It's going down. It's the schlosh. 
the, oh, stop. Yeah, she gives him a laugh and I can't type. <laughs> Ella Metalli. Geiger Ella Metalli. One ounce fine silver. Money, money, money. Money. I can get you up here after a while. Uh, money Maniacs. Uh, probably so, yeah. And let me see what Z Rich said. We come up next time, my friend. I got some stuff going on. Okay, Z Rich. Then I'll get the next one in line, which is Money Maniacs. I, I had everything wrote down on everybody that sent me emails and stuff. I keep, no, really? track, of I keep track of that. All right, we got Value Hunter in at 35, and I got to go finish all my stuff I was doing earlier. So I'll see y'all in a little bit when it's somebody else's turn. <laughs> Enjoy, Cajun. Yeah, well, I'm I'm working at it slowly but surely. Well, Jeff, done. Uh oh. Uh, there we go. I hate that damn glare. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Oh, value hunter. I should have started higher. <laughs> Just kidding, Val. Mm hmm. You scared me for a second when you said, wow, and now I'm thinking, oh, God, it must say a hat. Nope. Is there a year on these? How come nobody puts a year? Uh, maybe some do. Well, Ms. Decker, if you could, you could send me an email because I need your email so I can send you the information. How's that? I like the reverse of these better than the obverse. I don't know if it's the same with bars. I think that's the coolest pattern. But then again, I'm a little strange, so I don't like when I can't hear anyone. You put that under a blue light, and it'll uh, it'll light up. It, it's the yeah, uh, like security. In my day, they were called black lights. <laughs> black light. That's right. Black light. Yeah. Well, that, I see it. That was back in my I day too. It. I think. I think it was back in my Why day. Why is it bouncing? I see it. I see the blue uh, diamond. Oh man. Plumber's in, huh? It's like it has a heartbeat. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Are you on Johnny Ray's camera? Are you guys hanging out together? Yeah, yeah I was okay. going to say the same Johnny thing. Ray, move Johnny over. Ray's camera. <laughs> <laughs> move over, Johnny. You're screwing up the camera again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have no idea why it's doing that. No. If the focus... Uh, no, it's definitely what you do. You put your hand. You put your hand in yeah. front of it. It'll stop. You think? Not this one. No, no that's the goat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh huh. Anyways, it'll stop eventually, I guess. It does it occasionally, not all the time. Okay. Anyways, yeah. What are we up to here? There it goes. It stopped. Really? I hate this place. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I can turn this light into a strobe light because the light bulb gets loose every time I move that lampshade. And uh huh. Yeah. Black. I got a black light. I got a strobe light. Nothing works correctly, but 37, Plumber Stecker, trying to focus on the blue part. You think, Nancy? That could be true. I don't know. I'll go with ghost. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Patrick, hi. When did you sneak in? I had to, I was probably doing all those emails. Miss Southern Bell, nice to see you. I probably missed like twenty people. You can buy cases for these bars for fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. 
little plastic holders for them. They're 15 bucks for the holder. <laughs> I could get 20 cases for 15 bucks. You mean a, a special Geiger one? There's a, there's a special plastic Geiger bar holder that fits that, and it's fourteen ninety nine. I bet you Walmart has one for a dollar ninety nine. Not for that size. It's weird. The uh, right. the other thing is uh, uh, they sold the the dealers sold so many of these things at like you know like whatever it was fifty or sixty bucks that they uh, <laughs> that they started making them in their own designs. Because they sold so good, so you can't even find them in the in the dealers looking at their own product. But Patrick, but anyway. has me, Patrick has outbid me, or Plumber Stacker's outbid me twice now. So get used to it, Bell. He's a, no, he's, I, a, know. I know. He's 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 a man after my, or person channel after my own heart. Yep. Last call, and boop, there he is again. Still cheaper than eBay, but I'm I'm out. I'm not allowed there. I'm having, I'm I'm rejected everywhere. <laughs> I'm telling you. You probably you, if you're anything like me, you're probably better off that you're not allowed there. <laughs> Truth, very true. But everybody sells crappy stuff there, so I figure I could take all my old pennies and sell them on eBay, but they won't let me. Mm. You need to be, huh, Nance? I know. I want to get out of my haunted house. Unfortunately, the whole world is like not answering their phones or something. Yeah. In the spring, maybe. Okay. So it looks like Plumber Stacker's got food. $40 to Plumber Stacker and you're better at this now, but I'll sell it. Geigers come with a big premium. Yeah. You spend forty dollars. You're gonna make forty dollars on it. Then again, they do. Anybody that knows what a Geiger bar is, this you, you, plumber stacker, you're stealing this thing. Flip that thing over one time, Pammy. I'll flip me. it over ten times for forty five. Okay. Right. <laughs> kidding. I'm just joking. You know it's getting close to midnight. I get goofy. <laughs> Look how beautiful that bar is. Yeah, but look at that beautiful camera work first. There we go. It's yeah, it's, it's they're so, gorgeous. They have reeded yeah. edges and yeah, they're German. It's a, it's a beautiful bar, and it's a yeah. steel. And you're lucky that seven ten or uh, Lambo Stacker isn't in here because you I, might lose a bit. <laughs> uh, for sure, those guys be yeah. in this thing at ten yeah. twenty dollars more for sure. The Geiger Boys. The Geiger money Boys. Money Maniacs. 41. Oh, Plumber Stecker's right behind it. Says, no way, it's mine. Nope, 42. Come on, Nancy. You know you want it. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel her. <laughs> Plumber Stecker at 45. And then we got an auction here. We do. Boys are battling it out. And the crowd's getting excited. Yes, we are. He's at 45. The other ones are revving their engines. Look out. And is it going to go up? Stacker with an uppercut at 45. Money oh, Maniacs. Oh, oh, money Maniacs. Oh, oh, yeah. Stacker with 46. Throws a left mm -hmm. hand, a left hook, a left cross. Plumber yep. Stacker. Uh, Money Maniacs. Shakes it off. 40. And Smiles. Plumber Stacker went for a hot dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm She's drill. Nancy's drilling. Okay, Nancy, I think that's a new way to get fossil fuel. I have no idea. <laughs> and Money Maniacs, 46. Ah, here comes oh, Plumber Stacker. Back. Ah, 48. He ain't messing around. Takes that left cross and smiles and says, back at you. That is drooling. We got, we got two more dollar increments before we go to $5 bids, guys. Money Maniac says out. Thank you, Money. I don't we got 48 you. looking for 49 on the Geiger Elementality. What, what a deal for a Geiger deal. Christmas present. 49. Precision 
Precision, precision. I did, Nancy. Thank you, thank you. I responded to you. You might have got mine. Plummer Stacker sitting at 48. About staying out. Alabama 52, Florida 38. And that's not a bid. That is a football score. Roll Yay. Tide. <laughs> Roll Tide. I got excited there for a second. <laughs> David yeah. Carlisle sitting back <laughs> enjoying the game yeah. and the action here on Cajun Coin Hunters Saturday Night Auction Stream, the Community Auction Stream. Community Auction Stream. Oh, I well, like that. Yeah, it, it kind of is. We're, we're all in the community, right? We're in Cajun's community. We sure are. That's this, is right. this is Cajun's world. We're just living in it. Yeah, that that's right. He lets us play in it once in a while, every <laughs> couple of days, to the people's house. The people's house, okay. I don't know. I'm not even going to swing at that one, Nance. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 dun. And the band is going to come out and play a tune for us because we're at a standstill here. What's going on? Um, I did get that, Nancy. Phenomenal. I, I responded to your email, too. It was beautiful. I knew it was the White House, Nancy. I just didn't want to think about that because you know what happens. Okay, Money Maniacs is up, and let's count it down. That's 48 to Plumber Stacker going once. Uh-oh, here comes 710 is oil upside down. We're at 48 for that beautiful one-ounce Geiger bar there on the screen. Uh-oh, 710 Dynamic. showed up to the party. Must have, His ears were burning. I know. I know. Unless that's Mrs. 710, but I think it's probably 710 because he came in. Either saying, or. Rigged. Rigged. 710's here. Rigged. 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 <laughs> I called them. I conjured them up. Dave's not here, man. Okay, so it's 48 to Plumbing Stucker going twice. Mm. Surabar. Really like the uncirculated. Uh, 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 oh, my God. Somebody just shot me in the heart. No way to come. That's um, sick. I didn't see it, but that's awesome, man. Unreal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And it's 48 to Plumber Stecker. Going three times. Last call. Yours is already boxed up too, my friend, but uh, I think you outdid me with that. <laughs> You're going to be like, um, I danced with Value Hunter, and all I got to show for it was this little Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I said. You really like it. Okay. Never mind. Can't Last find call. it. It's so here. Sold to Plumber Stacker for forty-eight. You got it your sold, deal, my friend. Congratulations! It's closed. Is it sold? 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 Yes. Type. Type. Right. Type. <laughs> I'm typing S O L for anybody that didn't get to the D. It's sold. It's sold. Indeed, it is. Next on the hit parade, we're gonna have. Party. Let's see. This is a double whammy here. A little forward action. I'll put this on the stack that the stacker has here. This is two Canadian beautiful, beautiful BU uncirculated. Gorgeous. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, why not? Okay, it's a commemorative 1952 to 1977 Elizabeth coin, which is one ounce of silver. And the second one is clad, but it is gorgeous. They're both BU uncirculated. We'll start with the, well, surely the clad one first. How's that? And I will be typing while you admire that design. Since there's nobody here to uh, work my keyboard or my camera or my laptop. All right. That's the clad one. So it's two coins 
it's one ounce of silver. They're two commemoratives. I think they're for the same person, not the same years. Both from Canada. And two for the same price. We're going for $30. And give me 20 minutes to write it. Um, Canadian. Well, I'm one of those one-finger typers. That's all. Look at at Plumber Stacker, that's all. Oh, you said thanks all, because everybody's congratulating him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got that Geiger, and congratulations, Plumber. That was a a sweet win. Yeah, it was like Larceny. It was. Tammy's, you know. (laughs) That's okay, hey. I I do it myself many times at many auctions. Canadian two. Uh, all, I'm stepping away for a sec. It's all you and Johnny right now, Pammy, for a bit. Ah, uh, thanks. You got it. He wasn't helping anyway. <laughs> two for one, starting bid thirty dollars. And like I said, one is silver and one is clad. But the clad one's better looking than the silver one, in my opinion. How's that? Hey, there, two for one. Dracone. Not up, but thanks, my. Has given me peeps who appreciate them. I don't even think you're talking to me, so that's okay. All right. Now, I'll show you the other side of the clad. That would be a. I think that's a medium head, um, Elizabeth, there. Yeah, it's not the young one, and it's not the old one. So that's medium. I have the well, maybe it is the young one. Yes, it is. I lied. Yeah, I know a little bit more about foreign coins than I do about ours. My camera has been possessed by the devil here. I'm telling you the truth. I got it. There you go. Yeah, that's the young one. See, I love foreign designs better than ours. I do. We repeat our designs too often. There we go. This is the flipped over silver round. Don't be upside down. Yeah, you'd be upside down. Okay. That's the silver one. It's an ounce, isn't it? Should have looked before I spoke. It's probably an ounce. <laughs> I'll know better when I flip it over. It is. I know it is. That's 52 to 77. And it's where I can't even read it. On the other side, it, see, they screw me up because they don't. It's a dollar. It look, almost looks like the death coin, doesn't it? I should have looked at this first. Wait a minute. Is it? No. Because I have a death coin sitting right here. Right? That would be death. That would be not death. <laughs> I could say. Is that the throne? throne? Is that what that is? Thanks, Johnny Ray. Yes, that is. It's midnight. I can't see. Yep. It turned into a pumpkin. What does it say? Dusant? On the, uh, can you see? I can't see it. I really should look at these before I put them up. Something Dusant? That's the throne Dusant? I don't know. Anyways. Can I get 30 bucks for the two of them? Anyone? Oh, everybody's waiting for more Tiger bars. And I have those other bars, too. Oil, 25 years at a time. Okay. Hmm. I would. Oh, cool, Nance. Washington Mint? You mean West Point? Washington Mint? The Federal Reserve? 
I didn't know there was a mint in Washington. Did we lose Joe Dunn? I I think we lost uh, someone. Oh yeah, he left a long time ago. I oh, okay, I, I I know, I know. You're tired. I give you all right. I don't think it, there's much interest in this. That's okay, because now that I saw the other side, I like it better. <laughs> That's just how it works. I'll build something up there different. Like, I don't know, reverse proof. What do we got? Civil War tokens? Nah. Boring, huh? Yeah. Try this out for size. Let's go down here. Yeah. Detail. This would be. And Are you put up another one, Pammy? Well, yeah, because I that, nobody wanted the other one. Oh, well, yeah. That's okay. Oh, that is a oh, Federal Reserve. Okay, cool. That is a Silver Nation of the American Indian coin. It is a Chittamonga tribe, and it's not minted at the U.S. Mint, any U.S. Mint. It's minted at the Native American Mint in California. These are very hard to come by. This is this is this series is from 1975. The newer ones are like really come with a big premium. They are incredibly detailed. And collectible. But they all be smoking the peace pipe on every coin. It's not a coin, it's a round. They have edge writing. And it's they're just gorgeous. They're my favorites. This one is uh it's one ounce. I keep forgetting to type. Put that way quickly. So Johnny Ray can get up here. What else? Uh, fine silver and the starting bid is $30. They're making coins at the Federal Reserve. Is that what you're saying, Nan? I'm I'm trying to read and type at the same time. That's why nothing's coming up on the screen. <laughs> Not for me. Starting bid. There you go. Merry Christmas. There you go. Yeah, I kind of figured. Um, Plumber Stacker. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I have more. I have other tribes. But tonight we're going with Chitta. It took me a while to learn how to say it. Yeah, Chitta Plumber Stacker in the 30. Yep, I saw it. It is gorgeous. I like the other side better with the spider web and the eagle with the fish in his mouth. Yeah, they're all unique. Mm hmm. Well, we're Stacker, and they're, they're making coins at the Federal Reserve. I'm shocked. And let's see. Um, what else can I tell you? The Jamal tribe in California who is who runs the Native American Mint. And these guys, I'll tell you what, they make some beautiful coins, or I don't know. They're beautiful designs. I keep saying coins, and they're not. <laughs> yep, they're smoking a piece pipe there. On every one so far that I've ever seen, except for the uh, the Cherokee Treaty thing that they signed with the U.S., there's not much nice things going on on that one. Yeah. But, in fact, today, a Native American woman was appointed... Secretary of the Interior, which is a first and a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Sovereign Nation coin? Their Sovereign Nation. There's 12 in the series. This is from 1975. The series is 0736. Yeah. All that stuff I know. This is, I think that's gorgeous. That's the proof. And any marks on the, it, it looks like it's milky spots or anything. It's on the case. It's on the capsule. We're still at 30. Oh my goodness. 
He, I'm telling you, probably. Come on, you guys, doesn't. you know that's worth. You know, you know, silver's going a hundred thousand dollars an ounce. Come on, why are you cheap? <laughs> oh shoot! I don't know. I've heard a hundred, three hundred, a thousand. I might as well put a hundred thousand in there. So thirty dollar interest at thirty. What any interest? Not at all. Probably. Oh, smoke a peace pipe. Nobody to challenge former stacker. We got no challenger to former stacker. Nope, nobody wants it. Nobody knows a good deal when they see it. A hundred thousand, you'll take it, huh? I think you're over a hundred by now. Now, okay. Plumber stacker thirty, go All one. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna count it down. Thank you. Uh, Kelly gosh. Ray comes in at thirty-one. Would you look at that? Hi, Kel. Nice to see you. You have been challenged. <laughs> you have been challenged, former stagger. Yes, you have. What will you do? Will he come back? She come back. They come back. I have no clue who it is. All right. Oh, Patriots mom. Uh, hi. Oh, and he punches back. 32, Plumber Stacker. Plumber well, Stacker comes in at 32 with a right hook. Yeah, that's like, uh, what, two cents above spot, I think. <laughs> All right, and now we've got it. Kelly Ray is at 33. The crowd's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, uh oh. And with the uppercut, 35. Kelly Ray, Plumber Stackers at 35. Kelly Ray hits back right away at 36. Holy moly. We got an auction, folks. We got an auction. And they're off to the races. That's right. We're going to send them to their corners in a second. It's starting to sweat. Kelly. Thirty-six. We can surely get thirty-seven. Anybody for thirty-seven? We got thirty-seven. Oh. Can we get thirty-seven? Stacker, I didn't Bummer know you had a sellout. <laughs> oh, thank you, former Stacker. Kelly Ray is standing in the middle of the ring, jumping up and down with her arms raised. And that crowd goes crazy. Champion bidder for the Sovereign Nation, Chittamonga Tribe. Look, Kelly Ray. She wanted to play. <laughs> <laughs> I was fun. Okay, Kelly Ray's at 36. Where are we going? Oh, I knew he was coming back. Look at that. Don't ever believe the O-U-T. 38 to Plumber Stacker. Uh-huh. And now what? I hope Kelly didn't go to get a snack. Mm-mm. No, Plumber's not out. Plumber's back in. <laughs> Plumbers at 38. Come, oh, look what she did. Kelly Ray, 39. Uh-huh. She ain't taking that, Plumber. Uh-uh. Not Kelly. She's been after this coin for two months. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. Yeah. Kelly's at 39 and counting, I guess. Will, he come, will Plumber Stecker... Return fire. We shall see, folks. Everybody's nervous, waiting. Let's see. Now you're really out? Okay. Do we believe him this time? Thank All you for right. your bid. That's what it looks like. I count her down, I guess, there, Johnny. Quitter. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> Good evening, Sterling Cannabis. Well, you are almost, you are right on time. Yes, look at that beautiful Sovereign Nation coin right there. Yep, right now we're at 39 and going once. Going once. Mm -hmm. Dizzy Giraffe, hello. Kelly Ray, Kelly Ray, ha ha, you got <laughs> Money Maniac. 
And we're at what? Going twice. Going twice. There we go. 39. 39 to Kelly Bay. And they're greeting each other. Everybody's happy. Kelly's really happy. Let's go. And where's the sniper? No. Nope. Oh, oh. Looks like it goes to <laughs> Kill you, Ray, I'm thinking, but I so no. Kelly Ray for thirty nine dollars. Congratulations, Kelly Ray. A beautiful score there. All right. Now, Mr. Johnny Ray Highway is coming up next, I believe. So if you need to get a drink or a snack. Better head on out there now. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Ray's next. Johnny Ray's next, I believe. Mr. Cajun Coin Hunter has made an appearance, folks. Can we have some applause, please? Yeah, I heard y'all say uh, Johnny Ray's next. Hey, Dizzy, what's going on? <laughs> Kelly Ray, how you doing? All right, let's see. Uh, Johnny Ray, right here. No, Kelly Ray, I do not. We'll talk. There's Johnny Ray. Oh, oh I think I know what that is. It's an empty box. No, that's one of those uh, proof sets or something in You're a box right. instead You're of probably the, right, uh, Keith. Yeah, I remember those things from way back when. Yeah, I'm not That's what we got. 2012 early Panda MS70 NGC graded, starting bid fifty dollars. Is that what that's in that box? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Kelly Ray, send me an email. Box. For purposes of that, right there. It's a perfect MS70 early release Panda 2012 50 bucks starting bid. It can't beat that anywhere. Mm -mm. Where's the Panda? <laughs> right there. Where? Where? In that box? No. What? What is going on? I'm showing it right here in front of my camera. Can y'all see that? I can't. Or something. Oop, oop. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now I see it. All I saw was a, a box that looked like a, a proof box. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all see that? Saw that yeah, too? Yeah, or we what? Saw the box. I oh, think okay. camera oh, froze I, on the box. I'm glad. Oh, okay. I thought you meant mine was froze. <laughs> There we go. Now I see it. All right. Continue. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out because I'm like, I'm seeing it perfectly fine yeah. on my camera. Okay. Let's see here. There's a. Uh...
Why was it quiet? Yeah, what's going on over there? I'm in Gmail. Let me see what's up. That's my camera, isn't it? No. Um, Johnny's frozen. Hey, Cajun, I think Johnny. Oh, no, it moved. I saw it move. Is that mine or yours? That's mine. How did that happen? I think maybe um, he needs to be back in, Cage. Yeah, that's what happened. He fell off the edge of the table. He's not frozen. YouTube kicked him out. Uh, oops. Hey, Steeler. Hey, Cajun. Um, we need your assistance. We got, we got it. We got it. Good. Signal. There you go. All right, I'm back, y'all. I don't know what happened. So, Plumber Stagger started his hard sell with 50 bucks. Where is money? I put this up specifically for Money Maniacs because he missed the other one the other night. Mm-hmm. The MS-70. We got $50, but Plumber Stagger, I know we can get 55 We're looking for 55 Come on, let's get 55 on this. Early release MS70 perfect panda coin. You got to get at least. Well, I'm not going to say an amount, but that's insane. That kind of money. <laughs> well, there you go, money. Here's your your panda, your MS70 that you Damn. missed out on the other night. Is he here? Money, money, Get money, money. Oh. There he is. Money. Oh, cool. Kelly Ray comes at 55. Let's see if we can get. Yeah, 55, Kelly Ray 55, looking for 60, looking for 60. Anybody got 60 on this? Beautiful. <coughs> MS70. Early release Panda, 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 Panda. One ounce silver, three nines five. I know everybody mad. Everyone likes pandas. Everyone likes the panda. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting down because uh, I'll wait too long for people. We got a uh, going ones. Oh, Plumber Stagger comes in at 60. We got 60 with Plumber Stagger. Thank you, Plumber Stagger. Look over 65. 60, look over 65. The year is 2012. Steeler Stagger. It is an early release. It is a perfect MS-70. And all the panda beautifulness. Kelly Ray, we're doing increments of five dollars after fifty. So we're looking for sixty-five.
Alrighty, we'll start it one more time. We got Florence Dagger going once at 60. Already we're going twice at 60 to Plumber Stacker. Twice at 60 to Plumber Stacker. I should be typing for you. I apologize. I'm in the middle of a... That's all right. Here. Fair warning. Oh, Kelly Ray comes in at 65. Look at that. 65. Look at for 70. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Look at this stuff. What say you, Plumber Stacker? This is a fight between Kelly Ray and Plumber Stacker one more time. All righty. Let's ride it again. We're going to go. Plumber Stacker comes in at 70. We have $70. $70 on this beautiful pan. Now, do we hear 75? I got 70. Do we hear 75? Yes, Kelly Ray, it is the one ounce. Did he? Uh, uh, Last year they made uh, one ounce was 2015. So anything before 2016 is one ounce. 2016 was the first year of the 30 grammer, which don't make no sense. But hey, it's China. What do you expect? <laughs> Alrighty, we got Kelly Ray at 75, just as I was starting to count her down again. We got 75, looking for $80 Renos. Yeah, okay, Andrew, you're right, I guess. <laughs> All righty. We got Kelly Ray at 75. We are going to count it down one more time. We're going to attempt to count down. One once at seventy five. Mm. Going twice at seventy five.
Let's go. Sold to Kelly Ray for $75. Thank nice you, one. Kelly Ray. Uh, nice one, Kelly. Really do appreciate that. Kelly Ray, if you just send me an email right there with your name, your address, and I will send you an invoice. Um, at the end of the uh, at the end of the night after the auction's over, I'll total everyone's total, and I'll send them invoices, and that's how you that's how you'll pay me. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What do I what do I what do I want to put up next here? PayPal, yes I do. This will be the next thing on the block. Oh, uh, that. There's the next thing we got, and it's this 1944 MS65 Washington Quarter. Starting bid, 20 bucks. Hopefully my camera has not froze. Just so everyone knows, I don't know if anyone's heard it or not, but um, all stuff tonight is free shipping. I'm not charging shipping tonight. Well, hell, I'll jump on that bandwagon, John. Basically, it comes in at $20. It'll stay like that for a couple seconds till the, till the vibrations knock it off. All right, we got base head coming in at $20. Do we hear 21 dollars $21. We need 21 to keep this going. I need $21. Anybody with $21 to keep this going. A 1944 MS65 quarter is a Philadelphia. It is silver. It is beautiful. It is slab. Uh, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. I really ain't got to say much about it. Hmm. And if you're not one that likes slabs, but you have a Washington out a dance go book, what you do is you set it on the side. You take a hammer and you smack all around the side. You break it out of here and you put it in your book. Can't your right hand for you? Can I get that slab for twenty bucks? All righty, we got base hit at twenty. Uh, nobody's stepping up for twenty one. I'm gonna start calling it down.
We have Roy coming in at twenty-one dollars. We got twenty-one, Patrick. Sorry, Ray came in before you at twenty-one. We're looking for twenty-two. I got twenty-one. I'm looking for twenty-two on this slab, Washington quarter, nineteen forty-four. We have base hit back at twenty-two. Base hit back at twenty-two. I have twenty-three. We have Patrick Johnson coming in at twenty-three dollars. We have twenty-three. Right here, twenty-four. I have twenty-four. <coughs> $23, no shipping. You can't beat the deal. I'm offering up some good deals tonight. As I always do, I think I'm pretty fair at the prices. We have right back at 24 we have 24, do we hear 25? We have an auction. We have Patrick Johnson back in at 25. No, right now we need 26. Do we have 26? I'm waiting for somebody to say, slam the door and no, it's mine. 25, looking for 26. We got 25, we're looking for 26. Uh, looking for twenty. Um, the everything will, I'll probably get everything shipped out Monday. I wouldn't guarantee when you'll get it. I just I sent off um, a bunch of packages on the eighth of December, and someone just got their package yesterday. It took ten days going first class mail, so I can't guarantee when you'll get the package. But they will all everything will ship out Monday morning. So. Yeah, but yeah, Patrick Johnson. <laughs> 25. Go ahead and count it down. <clears throat> mhm. Mm okay, I think I'm done with the email, so I'll help you out here, Johnny, if you need me. All right, base heads out. Brave is out. Oh, so we're going to go. One, one, 25. That's 20. a nice one. Twice. Twice at 25 to Steeler Stepper. I'm going twice. I think I got a leg. Last. Oh, that's better. I'm not much help, am I? Ow. And oops. That's a nice quarter. Sold to Patrick Johnson for twenty five dollars. Wow. Thank you, Thank Patrick you. Johnson. Um, I know I think you bought something from me before, but again, I don't and I will eventually start writing down emails and get an address book and all that stuff. But for now, email me your name, your address to my email. I will send you a uh, invoice at the end of the night. It'll more than likely be the end of the night or tomorrow morning. And then just pay that invoice. That way it's, it's, it gives me a for sure goods and services and uh, I don't have to worry about 
Um, anyway, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, look, uh, it was already sold to Patrick. Jenny, um, when you have time later, check your email from me, not from. Oh, I'm sure you're going to check it anyway because all these guys are going to be emailing you, but I want to make sure I didn't screw up the address again. And send no, it you to, got it. I okay. see, I didn't, I haven't I seen the email. I, it, I thought maybe I sent it to Jeep again. <laughs> That okay, well, it's rigged. Irish is accusing you of rigging the auction, Johnny. Of course, I rig everything, don't you know? Yeah, I know. You're the one that hacked that random picker, right? Right. <laughs> and here we go. We have us a 1955 San Francisco MS 66 Rosie Dime. Hmm. And that that is toning, is the ugly part of toning. And I don't like that type of toning, but. That's what it is on the front. The back reverse. I'm sorry, I can put the starting bit in there. Let me see. Starting bit is fifteen dollars. Starting bit on this is fifteen dollars. Again, you can't get a slab for 15 bucks. No, hell no. <laughs> well, That's it. That Rosie, the almost looks like he's got a cap on, like a yarmulke. Probably my eyes. Yeah, it just, I, I like I said, it graded out in that 66. The yeah. camera really not doing it much justice, but it's got that weird toning and I call that the, like the uh, urine effect. <laughs> it's a lot of them, especially dimes, they get yellow around the edges. It's just the way they tone up. Right. You got rainbow, you got some blues that run right around the edges. Let me look at something real quick. Well, I know what I can tell you what this this came out of. I, I know exactly where it came out of a out of a fifty five mint set. Oh, really? Yeah, and the, what, when the way they did the uh, mint sets, not the proof sets, but the mint sets. Um, of course, I didn't pull that box down. Let me see if I can show you guys. <laughs> Back in fifty five. Oh, crap. Come on. They did mint sets like this. I'm sorry, this is the cipher right now. But they did mint sets like this. Yep. So this paper right here, as you can see, all the dimes come like that from a mint set. Yep. Isn't the Benji in the 55 the one with the teeth or something? Um, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, that's it. So they have this uh, something with this slip of paper acid, here. That acid paper. These, these up. So that's why it toned up like that. Just because of that paper. Some of the older books it, it's like each company had a different toning effect with the paper they used in their books. Like Whitman's, they usually turn up blue and green. It's weird. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> toning, <Ooh>. huh? <laughs> Somewhere in the postal system right now is my 1937 proof set on its way. I told you I had 30 pounds of mail Wednesday. My stuff hadn't come in at all for two months. Boom, it hit all at once. It was wonderful. 
There's thirty six. There, there it is. Fifteen dollars starting bid. Damn. And that means a lot of other people are going to start getting their mail. Uh, I sure hope so, because people are starting to ask me where their packages that I'm sending out are, and the tracking numbers. All they say is uh, label printed, not yet in system. That's the latest. Oh. Yep. Yeah, that means that, well, I had that same thing uh, at one time. And then when uh, Barbara Carbone got her package, well, uh, when it hit her post office, it said the delivery will be today, end of day. Mm. And I'm like, damn. So two weeks later, I get a notification on a tracking number. It's going to be delivered today. Thank you, Kelly Ray. In fact, yeah, the post office needs to get their stuff. Well, I got a warning on my tracking number today that said, due to the holiday influx and the lack of employees due to the, you know, whatever, the germ, um, all tracking numbers will be uh, updated within a week. Oh. oh, boy. Yep. All right. Looks like there's no extra, so I'm going to call this one down. And yes, uh, Aunt Free, a 1930s proof set. 1937 proof set. Yes, I have one on the way. You got yours from Halloween, like today, Kelly Ray? So yeah. That came from me. Pennsylvania basically has no United States post office anymore. It's gone. Yeah. Not no more. <laughs> it was dismantled. I wonder what happened to it uh, during the three months before the election, huh? Imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah. Man. yeah. We don't have no. And my friggin' post office isn't even computerized. It's manual. I, what? And I didn't even notice till they told me. Oh, yeah. They're running it by hand. They're all in the back uh, whipping <laughs> off. <laughs> Telling you. Money comes in at $15. There you go. Oh, oh. Snipe. Thank you, money. Snipe. I love a good snipe. It. Yeah, yeah, but no. Wait a minute. The reason for the price hike was to make sure that packages got delivered on time because it was the price hike was just on packages. Okay, just for people like mm -hmm. us shipping packages. That's what a price hike was. It wasn't for letters, you know, with a 55 cent stamp. It wasn't for that. It was for people like us uh, mailing stuff out to customers or what have you and companies. So the price went up uh, and then for Christmas too, okay, to make sure everybody would get it on. But that was September to December 27th. Up. No. Now, all right, y'all hear me out real quick. Well, while y'all bidding on that nice coin right there, Rip it. Uh, the 27th is going to be Sunday, okay? And the 28th will start a new day on no price hike. The prices of sh the rate shipping rates will go down for all of us that want to ship coins out and stuff like that. All right. Now, January 14th, I think it is, or January 12th. I forget what it was. I got a new notice from Pirate Ship and, I'll, and that the prices are going up again. <laughs> yeah. So we had six months of regular shipping. Then we had a price hike for almost six months. And two, and now we have now we're gonna have a month, not even a month, about two and a half weeks mm -hmm. of reduced shipping. Then it's gonna go back up. And the packages look, everybody, everybody ought to get their packages. I, I was sold the money for fifteen dollars. Thank you, money. Check was asking about four. Foxrun Forge, he wanted to know if anyone had heard no. from him. I don't know if he knows, but Fox passed away. Yeah. Well, we heard that tonight. Fox Run Forge passed Damn. away. 
Yeah, Fox Run Forge. Uh, here's a minister, mm -hmm. a preacher, you know, uh, Baptist or whatever. Uh, I have an uh, email. Uh, I don't have his phone number or anything, I, but I do have a good email where, where I could try to get a hold of his family. We, we, we all knew he was mm -hmm. sick. Well, he had, a, he had a major heart attack like eight months ago, right? He almost died. It was a while back, yeah. I have no, I have no sense of time at all. Um. That was my three kids. I don't know if we got anybody else. If, if, okay. uh, uh, yeah, well, I was waiting on uh, Z Rich. Z Rich to come in. Wasn't Brad oh, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. It was Money Maniacs. Uh, he had cancer? Uh -huh. Patriots, Mom. I, thought, I, I do believe, was it that had a, a, a coronary? Within the past year, I think. I don't remember. I know Ke uh, Kevin had one. There was a bunch of them. Kevin had one right in the live stream. That was scary. I sent uh, Money another email. Money says, sweet, awesome, thank you, Johnny. Oh, that's thanks. Money, I sent you another email, buddy. Yeah, he was going through chemo. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I knew he had something going on with a, a couple of different things. And there was, uh, who was it? Uh, uh, Lincoln. Uh, yeah, Central. Not, no, no, not that one. Lincoln, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Wheat Hunter Wheat or something. No, Reverend Dave. No. Reverend Dave. That's it. Reverend Dave, a.k.a. Lincoln. Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Chaser or something Lincoln, like that. Lincoln Chaser. Yeah, yeah. He had, uh, he was a minister too, mm -hmm. also. Uh, a man of the cloth. You know, a preacher. And, you know, they both were active, you know, uh, you know, preached in a church and stuff, but any, had their own churches or they had their church where they would preach at. Anyway, uh, Reverend Dave, a.k.a., he had a, a prosthetic uh, that he had to put on. Now, nobody, you know, he, he didn't want nothing. You know, he didn't want nothing no at all. No, uh, no, uh-uh, no, 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 okay. not him. No, different guy. But he had a prosthetic arm put on. And it was uh, due to something that uh, got blowed off in a war or something. You know, yeah. Korea or something like that. And, but, but anyhow, uh, yeah, there were two, two reverends, you know, men of the cloth that were in the coin community. One of them was Fox Run Forge. And he was supposed to send out a few, uh, a few items and all that too. But I get, you know, and he always said, "Well, I'm in the hospital and stuff." You know, he, so anyway. Uh, but uh, I knew that Fox Run Forge had mm -hmm. issues, and I just never thought that he would. You know, screw anybody. That's very you know? true. Uh, but he, you know, like everybody else says, please communicate with people. Yeah, that's all it takes around here with the coin community. It's hard to communicate if you don't have access to the internet or yeah. something. You know, if you're seen in the community, you know, like if you're seen on other channels or something, well, that's a different story. But if you're not seen, which I don't know if he was seen uh, because I ain't seen Fox Run and Forge in a mm -hmm. while. Mm -mm. No, and no, it's not yeah, a way people to to talk about that yeah. you were friends with Chuck. Oh, yeah, I am friends with Chuck Kelly, right? I'm very good friends with Someone's Chuck. Someone's going through cancer and chemo and hospitals and stuff. I understand there's no internet or something. 
reach out, email something. Uh, about it. You know, just so we don't get bad thoughts. It, I hate, I don't like when people get accused and nobody knows the truth. That's, that's wrong. Well, it's not that, though. It's, yes, it's not that, though. I mean, but when you don't uh, communicate with anybody, well, people just think the wrong thing, mm-hmm. you know, or you know, that, that's all, you know. It's uh, it, it's not a big thing if anybody says, hey, where, where's this guy at? I, I need my stuff, you know. It, that's not a big issue, you know. But maybe mm-hmm. the guy just can't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I know I got people that that communicate with me over the telephone. A lot of people. So if I piss a deer on y'all, <laughs> we got your number. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> you know, I'm dead, or something very serious, seriously wrong happened to me. <laughs> oh boy, that's a lot. Well, that was Kelly a good one. Let that one run. Yeah, that was, yeah, but that was loud, loud, loud. And so, okay. Hey, look at Irish. Uh, hey, how'd your wife come out in the in emergency room? That was me. <laughs> how'd your wife come out in the emergency room? Look at Irish. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the body, but present with God. It. She just sprained it real bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at Iris's wife took a bad fall, and it wasn't a waterfall. <laughs> she might have slipped on some water, but she didn't fall in the water. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Okay, so, well. Uh, Money Maniacs is not up yet. I sent him an email earlier, so I guess what well, we got Value Hunter That's up next. That's not a sprain if she has to see a surgeon, Irish. <laughs> I gotta pass this one. I'm gonna let it go back to Pammy or Johnny Ray, or if you want to do the penny game, I got my thing up on the camera still, Cajun. But I gotta, I gotta just leave now to go get my uh, my daughter. So I'll we'll probably be back in about thirty. Oh, okay. But well, go ahead and go. Okay. Thank you. All right. See you in a bit. And we're going to do it to, uh, let's see, who was last? Pam and Jay? Or Johnny was. I was last. Oh, Johnny was? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll give it to you, Pam and Jay. Yoki? I know I sent a few emails out. Yeah, everybody disappeared. Well. Like my inventory. <laughs> Oh, check out this Tony Cajun. You ever seen anything like this? I don't know if I can make it show up. It is the most toned Kennedy I have ever seen. It's like purple and blue and red and pink. And it's absolutely beautiful. But it's uniform. It's like the whole thing is uniform, like iridescent. And it's like the strangest toning I've ever seen. Usually it's patchy or around the edges. This is like, do you ever see a car that's spray painted with that uh, iridescent coating? When it hits the sun, you see a rainbow. That's what the point is oh, like. Yeah. It's like big flip bounded in a coin roll of, that he was searching for me. And he like held it off to the side and wouldn't tell me what it was. And then at the end, he showed it to us. He says, I guess I got to send it to you, Tammy. I said, uh, yeah, I think so. He said, because I've never seen anything like this. It's amazing. My camera does not do it justice at all. So I can only tell you how beautiful it is. My question was, how do you tell if a coin is toned artificially or naturally? Can you tell? Hmm. Not on the camera. Oh, not on no, the but... camera. But because I've seen yeah. copper rounds that are toned like with heat, and it, they look like almost tie-dye. They're beautiful, but they're in like tie dye looking. This thing is absolutely perfect. The whole thing is gorgeous. That's- Maybe somebody uh, artificially toned and some uh, what they call uh, liver. Uh, 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 I forgot the name of it already. Uh, liver of sulfur. Really? 
It's liver, a chemical? Liver. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, it's liver or sulfur, and you just put a, a drop or two in a jar of water, throw a few coins in there, take them out. Like let them dry, dab them dry, dab a dab a dab a do, and then uh, boom. I'm trying to see if I can find another angle. Maybe not. But if they were left in an envelope, what year is it's it? It's a 72. Well, if they were left in some kind of paper envelope, because all those paper envelopes from way back yeah, the when, one. they, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, all them yellow envelopes from way back when, because, you know, you're looking at 72, you're looking at 30 years almost uh, until 2000, and then we got 20 years. You're looking at 50 something years. Yeah, it's just, I would, you know, and those old envelopes, they were tone coins real good. Man, it's not going to work. I just wish I could show you. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it was uh, good, good toning in a sock drawer and grandma's, uh, in, in grandma's sock drawer in a yeah, paper. Envelope. I don't think you were able to tone them artificially like this. Somebody'd be very rich. They're just unbelievably gorgeous. Okay, so let's go to this. This is the next one up for grabs here. Silver Smoke, what's going on, Silver Smoke Stacks? How you doing, Mona Me? And then eggs too, yeah. But you're gonna tell uh, if it's like eggs, you know, because eggs is sulfur, okay? Yeah, <laughs> you know, true. rotten eggs. That's true. Yeah. But you can scramble some eggs. You know, you can scramble some eggs, like Lake House Beach done one time. You can scramble some eggs and uh, throw a coin in there, and in 30 minutes, your coins, your your coin is tone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, here we go. I figure I got to get them out someday. So here we go. This is a roll, a tube uncirculated of 1960 small dates. And we looked it up the other night. They're going for what, a hundred and something? $130 or some crap. But. Oh, for a roll of day, all small dates, yeah. Uh, Kelly Ray said, Cajun Coin Hunter, tell Pammy J I'm going to send her another email. Alrighty then. Yeah, that's right, Ray Feldman. Damn, now I want some scrambled eggs. What's up, 710? How you doing, Mona Me? 710 is in the from Durban. He's probably been here, but I've been so busy at my other, my new upcoming station over there. They all. I'm going to pop a couple out. I'll show you. They're, they came from Durban, so I have faith that they, they are exactly what they say they are. All right. Let me, uh, let me see what Chuck Daughtry was. It was 130, yeah. I think, the day before yesterday. Yeah, I want to see what, what, uh, what meant more. Oh, these are D's. If no meant mark or Philadelphia or what. See, that, that makes a big difference. I believe P and D are going for the same. I could be wrong, but he would know. Yeah, we were amazed, in fact, at the price. I had like four rolls. He's paying that, that high dollar price for a certain reason. I got it right now. Uh, do -do 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 and I know he's going to kick my butt again. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 60 Philadelphia. Okay. Small mm -hmm. day. BU right. rows. No spots on the coins. Mm -hmm. Nothing. They got to be BU rows. $130 a row. That's for Philly. What is Denver? Philadelphia. Oh, he don't say nothing about Denver. Philadelphia is the, the one that you, you know, that's your money coin. Okay, so. I, got, I mean, you got, hey, I, got look, I mean, you got, got 
Yeah, you got Denver's that are worth big bucks now. Don't get no, me wrong. I know, but I believe I have Phillies as well. I got them all. That's 59s, 59D. Jesus. I have so many rolls that my rolls have rolls. Yeah, we pulled them out. The no, rolls have rolls. They're tubes. I, I have bank wrapped 60D. Oh, wait. That's why I like, that's why I like the square tubes. They what? That's why I like the square tubes. You do? I think they're odd. I love square tubes. Okay, I also have these. Thank I'll show them to you. These are 60 P's. Small base. And he did. He doesn't say anything about the 60 uh, Denver small date, nor does he. Hold on. Uh, I hate bubble wrap. I can show y'all right now, right yeah. here. These are 60. These are D's as well. I'm, I'm got a D problem there. Strong buyer. I am a strong buyer of 1960 Philadelphia small date BU rows. No spots. Hmm. You know, on the roll, you know, you know, then like no wet marks or whatever, no pee marks, cat piss or dog piss or uh, what, you know, or sheep shit or whatever. $130 a row. All right. Well, the D's are going to be what I'm putting up because I ain't wasting any more time looking for them. I got 59 D's. Where'd it go? Okay, these are 60 D small dates. Uncirculated BU's in a tube from Joe Durbin. Starting what's, up, what's up, Steela Stacker? Well, I don't know. I just don't want to give you the bad news about him being dead also. Mike died? No, I didn't say that. I just said I don't want to give you all the bad news that he's dead. He's not dead that I know of, but I just don't want to give you all that bad news. You know, I have no idea. I have his phone number. I have his email address. I've been sending him a link to every auction oh. screen. Nobody has seen Mike Badger in a month. Or, or more. I, mean, I know I haven't uh, seen them. And oh boy, uh, I just—I mean, you know, the man was depressed for a little while. Yeah, he lost his wife and everything. Well, well, that, that too. Yeah, and then he—he he was running on generator power. Uh, they turned his electricity off at his house. That wasn't supposed to be his house. He rented that house for over 20, well, like 25 years. It was his camp at one time. Mm -hmm. So they lived after his house got tore up by a tornado and his coin store got tore up by a tornado. And oh, his, wait a minute. BBG would know because they were discussing um, living, living quarters and stuff. I, I told Mike Badger, look, come over here, dude. Come down here. Hey, I got a place for you. No problem till you find a place. And there's a, a, a empty house down the road from me. Mm-hmm. And I said, might be relocating. Good friend of mine, the electricity zone, just come on down here. He, he might be relocating. That's what I'm going to wish for. Well, me too. These are located to heaven, though. They are 60 D small dates, without a doubt, uncirculated, unsearched, because I haven't had time. And uh, a roll, $12. They're probably selling for over 100 I just don't want to look it up. I, I saw it on the Coin Week thing. That's where we got started with that the other night. Every time. No. I just hear Johnny say something. Uh, 
Uh, me. Huh. I'm hearing things now. Must be the ghost. <laughs> uh, how much can I get for an 1820 Drake bus half dollar find a very fine? I think I know the one you're talking about, Keller Ray. Is that the one or the uh the, I know which one. Yeah, the no knob. You sent me a couple of pictures of the no knob. Uh straight no knob. I have no idea. There's small date. Seven ten. Uh yeah, he wants to know if they're small over large. It says on the invoice, nineteen sixty D small date. That's the first I've taken anything out of this tube. Yeah, well, you haven't went through them, so you don't know if they're small date over large date. And at this point, I'm blind, so I would need my eyeball. It's right here. I'll check it out. I won't, I don't even want to be touching them. So what's your starting date on that? I'm going to say $12, which is insane, but it's Christmas time. That's nice. Yeah, but that's some nice pennies you got right there. That's all B. Yeah, four sixty five right there. Yeah, they're very nice, actually. No, they look like small. You know, I'm such a pro at this. Um, they look like they look like I should keep them. <laughs> um. No, they're just beautiful. I don't see any like uh, over anything. No, mm -mm. they're definitely small date though. That I can tell because I was practicing that all week. Large date, small date. Wow, it's like a mirror. You could bring in an airplane with these things. Mm, probably so. <laughs> if there were any flying. Okay. Yeah, starting bid. Twelve bucks. Emailed me with computer phone number last November twenty fourth of November. I yeah, him and um EBG were discussing things over at my channel one night. Well, all of us till like daylight. But uh, yeah, they were talking relocating. So. That's a possibility. That's my hope. Mike's too nice to just go away. So, Facebook he always posts. Yeah, it's been a while. He had he got a new uh, sticker, a new logo, and that was the last I saw him. Mm -hmm. And he straightened out the post office. I remember that. No, no, ah, Miss Canadian Scrapper. Hi. <laughs> Twelve dollars. I'll even throw in some slips. Oh. In the pack. Well, I always put extra stuff in packages anyway, but what do you think, Cajun? When a roll, a new roll from the bank. When you open it, if you can't like get everything into every cent into a flip or something or into it, would you recommend wrapping them back in a paper wrapper or putting them in a tube? Which would you think be better to do if you didn't finish the whole roll, like taking care of it or looking at it, or or should you take the paper off and put them right in the tube the minute you get them? Crickets. <laughs> Miss Canadian Scrapper at 12. He said he couldn't afford him. I think he went back hmm. to doing what he was doing. Yeah. I think he's probably trying to call Mike, no doubt. Oh, ow. Me too. We all do. We all hope that Steeler. He's such a nice man. Plays decent guitar too. <laughs> Leave them in the original rap. 
okay. And say like I opened one original wrap, but didn't take all the coins out and put them in safekeeping. Should I just like seal up that paper or get them out of there and put them in a tube? Obviously, I have done this to a very valuable roll of pennies. I want to know what to do. I know I could look this stuff up, but it's easier to ask all you experts. <laughs> you already broke the roll and put it in a tube. Okay. Leave them in the original wrap. Tin I mean, if, you at, if, you, if you broke a roll open and you look at half of them, but you still got to have to go, then get two tubes and and put them up. Um, yeah, well, if I look at them, if I open a roll, I I open it to put them in individual flips or capsules or whatever I got. But sometimes I, do, I don't have time to do 50, so there's, you know, some left. Tube them up, leave them in that paper. Mm hmm. See, it's a dilemma. Is that right? <laughs> what tube you think have been searched? Um, I understand that. I do. I understand that. Uh, but I get them from people I trust. And well, this here, this square tube has a roll inside of it that's still in paper. Sometimes I get them like that, which is double, which is cool. But if I get them from Copper Coins or Durbin or somebody, I know if it they say unsearched, they're unsearched. Mm -hmm. Now, I've bought sealed bank rolls that were searched because you can tell when they re-roll the ends. You can tell when they come out with fingerprints already on them. They're pre-fingerprinted. Yeah. eBay. They have equipment that you can roll ends of... Um, Perhaps just like it would be from Loomis, so. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you can tell that they have been redone. These are 60D small dates, but this is from, I wish they would put the bank name on all bank rolls. These generic ones, uh, you know, are questionable. But anyways. We're still at 12 bucks, right? Yep. Yeah. Aluminum foil? What are you kidding me? Really? You're joking, right, Bell? Nope. Galvan galvanic corrosion that may occur. Oh. So. Well, never mind. <laughs> I got, oh, I got 2010 P&D square tubes right from the mint. I don't like shield pennies, if it's cents, whatever. Found it, buried raid. Hey, Shannon, how you doing? The crazy lady's here. Hi, Anna. Steinbag. Where is Georgie? So, um gonna just count it down well give it give it a second let everybody say hello hey t george we got a founded buried mm -hmm. raid do you do. shark bait lucky john um yeah. hey, all right who else is here 308 steel bush wolf. master hey. steel wool it's below steel wool queen I remember that uh, that name, Steel mm -hmm. Wolf. I remember that name. That's been oh, a while. Mr. Jones. Hey, Georgie. Mr. and Mrs. Jones. How you doing, T. George? Thank you, sir. Here. Yep, boss. John Chum. What's up, John Chum? Miss Canadian Scrapper. Oh, yeah. Well, I mm -hmm. she was Actually, over here earlier. Isn't that who um, has the bid on this roll, I think? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, no, I'm not keeping dollars. up. I'm talking with... Well, yep. Oh. 
Rilla, what's up? Hey, twice in one week, I'm happy. You make me smile. And I'm Hello. crazy. Hey, how you doing, Miss Ann? Thirty-seven, thirty-eight people. That's not a lot. We usually get forty-five, fifty in here. Bait the hook. What's that? In the house oh, again. Right. That's right. How you doing? Metal detecting North Carolina. It's a party. Oh. Hello there, you two. Mike Wolf here. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Mike Wolf? My brother from another mother. Hmm? Ozard. What's up, Ozard? TNT stacking. What's Hi, up? I see you Hi, Mike. Patrick Johnson. Dang. It's nothing like one of my raids, huh, Cajun? Yeah. <clears throat> well, y'all, welcome to the auction stream, guys and gals. Thank y'all for rating us and popping in. We got a penny game coming up here. Uh, I don't know, like 15 minutes or so. And Miss Pammy Jones has got some nice coins up for auction. Where are we at right now? What's the bidding on that? $12. It's a roll on search tube of 1960 small dates. Be you unsearched. They are beautiful. My camera is just too reflective, but yeah, they're. I don't even want to touch them. I took three out of the tube. I have not seen any of the other ones, and they're from Durban, so we all know they're good. Yeah. Hey, Miller Tech in North Carolina. How you doing, Mike? <laughs> you had a friend once. <laughs> That's what I said, George. Where's Boris? So what you got? You got the whole roll up for bid, or is this the three? Yeah, coins? the roll. The starting oh, bid was twelve dollars, and the Miss, whole um, roll of coins. Okay. Yep. Miss okay. Scrapper is at twelve. Yeah. Okay. What's the weedy? Oh, they, those are forty-three steelies. They're they're yeah, it's a whole tube of really, really, really beautiful ones. I. But I don't trust them because a lot of them were refinished. Hanging in there like a loose tooth. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Mike said earlier, he says, uh, I thought I had a friend, but then I realized it was me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I got one for y'all. I said, well, and this is about right. This year, I started off with nothing. And right now, I got most of that left. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got all day to do nothing, and uh, I hadn't finished doing it yet. <laughs> Native Warrior, how you doing? So uh, we got. Uh, Sorry, you... I, I was being um. It annoys me that glare. That weedy is a steel. That's not in the tube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seven right, ten. We're, we're gonna start oh, counting. Asked me what it was. Nobody's interested in a, a tube. Of we'll count it down. We have a bid of twelve dollars from this Canadian scrapper. Okay. She's still here. So. so $12. Or I could do it. Um, you're a faster typer than I am, Cajun. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm okay. a one finger. Uh, I'm gonna I gotta do this uh one time going once. It wasn't, Shannon. <laughs> it Maybe wasn't going twice. Mm -hmm. uh, last call and then three my Two. hand always reaches for the keyboard at last call it's like a memory reflex <laughs> oh 
There you go. My email's on the screen, Miss Canadian Scrapper. I'll need your shipping address. And uh, you send that to me, and I'll send you payment information. How's that? Works for me. I know she didn't leave. Okay. Uh, what line are you on right now, Miss Pan? Uh, what? That was the first thing I put up, wasn't it? Okay. That's your first line? Okay. Go ahead with the second one. Yep. I'm just checking. There she is. Okay. I just wanted to make sure she's still here. Next on the hip parade, we're going to go with a bar. How about a bar? Let me move these. With my bare fingers, I know. Not good. But, yeah. We've got a breaker bar. <clears throat> Still in the mint packing. The other side has, I call it the Budweiser horses, but actually it's a stagecoach. And it says, just in case you have to get out of Dodge. Uh, starting bid will be $40. I'm typing, Case. <laughs> okay, not a problem. I was typing to somebody else. We uh, Tonight we've been going by the seat of our pants, basically. None of us were prepared, so to say. But um, it's working out all right. So we're a little late on the um, typing in the descriptions. That's all. There you go. Yeah, what it is, I'm working on my new station over here. Uh, my new area that I'm going to be broadcasting from uh, here in a, a week. And I've got to clear all that out so I can clear all of this out and make a move. <clears throat> but yeah, Cajun, I'll count it down for you. I got it. Okay. Yeah, just do it in the chat or in the uh, you do it. Do it, type it in the chat and then do it uh, uh, orally too. <laughs> orally. It's after midnight. How you doing, Anna? Mister Bull's back. You have thongs on your feet, I assume, right? There's an S there. <laughs> Forty dollars start. Let me show you the I say Budweiser Clyde Steels, but we all know they're not. And like I said, it's never been out of the sealed package. Stage Coach Silver. It's really cool. Mert. One ounce silver bar. Stagecoach. And it says, just in case you have to get out of Dodge or out of YouTube or whatever. Come on. I hear the crowd starting to stir up a little bit here. 1893. Metal detecting on Friday. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's my plan when I retire. Yeah. Only without this metal detector. I'll use a shovel. Mm, I guess, you know what? Some days you will and some days you don't. Tonight's been one of them don't days for me. Well, not really. Earlier was good. Mm hmm It's crazy. You okay? What's the matter? No, no. All right. Sorry, I had a quiet, Boy, had a quiet down the house. Anybody, uh, anybody interested in forty dollars on the stagecoach silver bar? Looking for forty to open this up. I don't think so. Uh. uh. Make it Indian coin. Oh. 
Yeah, I remember. But I think it was the other way around. It was, <clears> the, <throat> it was the naked breast you fell in love with on the Indian coin. That's why you have it. All right. Pammy, I'm going to do going once to Go close it. it. And then you can take over, money. Oh, Lord, here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to what? I'm going to have to Last call take out some good stuff for the penny game. I got 30.2 pounds of mail on Wednesday. All at one time. It was amazing. I heard that. That's a lot of coins. All right, guys, it's closed. It's a done duck. Yeah. I was like Scarlett O'Hara. I got all these Civil War tokens, and it was so much fun. I was bitching for two months about where is my mail, but Wednesday was a good day. <laughs> Right. Yeah, the postage lady was taking pictures of the bag. She said, you have 30 pounds of mail. <laughs> That's about what I get when I get home from the other row. <laughs> I'm lucky if I get a $3.90 bubble thingy. <laughs> that, was, that was two two months easy. Mm -hmm. Most of it was from Value Hunter. <laughs> Not really. Some of it. I did have a 10.2 ounce copper round, a Christmas gift. That was wild. You have something new to put up, Pammy, or? Uh, what's that, money? Do you have something new to put up? We already closed. No, no, no. It's, you go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm done, except for the penny game this evening. I think Cajun wanted to, uh, get that going i'm not sure what cajun's doing over there um he's building a new studio yeah no i've heard that yeah he's listening okay what do y'all need me for ready for your penny game if you want What's Money, that? do you have anything to put up you could do that i didn't even grab anything uh, doing i don't i don't expect money to put anything up in the no, penny no, game I mean, uh, i'm not ready to I'm not ready for it yet. Okay. okay. So who's, who's, who's next to sell? Put them. You are. Oh, I am. Okay. That's Hi. what I meant. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, no I, didn't know, I didn't know y'all were finished with Pam and Jay's uh, uh, yep. lot. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. we were done with it. All right. All right, guys. So what I have here is... A whole tube of 1979 Susan B. Anthony's. I have these ones. I haven't checked for wide rims. They are different mint marks. Starting bid is I'm doing it face value. There's 25 in here, and I'm starting them at 25 dollars. And just so you all know, my shipping is five dollars flat. Flat. So I do a flat of five dollars shipping. So. <clears throat> there you go. I'm trying to... 1979, like I said, it's a whole two of them. Yeah, anybody's interested in Susan B. Anthony, I don't. I'm just starting them at face value. So, that is what it is. George. There is 25 of them. Hey, George. Hmm. Anybody interested in the Susan B. Anthony's? Oh, thank you, Rafe. I appreciate you. I don't have to worry about the well, typing station. Oh, man, <laughs> Rafe's all right. He is. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, uh, Miss Scrapper, I'm. I haven't been charging shipping tonight for Christmas, so I will send you my. I don't have PayPal. 
Well, I, I have a PayPal address I can use, but we'll talk. She has everything else but. <laughs> no, I have a PayPal address I can use. It's just not mine. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. But I do. I have everything right down to Western Union. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so yeah, like I said, y'all, I have not checked these for, you know, they are different dates. The only thing I looked at was uh, just to make sure there was PDNSs in here, which there is. I haven't checked for wide rooms. I haven't checked for any varieties. None of that craziness. Haven't done it. So, if there's anybody interested in these, if not, I mean, you know, they're cool just to keep around. I'm okay with that too. I'm just not big into. I have a Susan B. Anthony book, so that's pretty much, you know, didn't really, you know, didn't need these, but. Yeah, you know what? The casinos ruined the Susan B. Anthony value. Right, right from Jump Street. Uh, now they don't use coins at all. Nope, they sure don't. I know, I went to a casino a year ago to get coins. Boy, was I surprised. <laughs> yeah, you go in with like 10 rolls of quarters, they're looking at you like, uh, ma'am, mm -hmm. we, have, we have a coin counter, we can uh, give you a $100 bill for those. <laughs> all right, well, Patsy, that's fine. Uh, I'm not big into these either. This is going to be my second locked. If anybody's interested in these, I'm not this guy. There's This is just not me. Um, I have a tube here of 64p. Lincoln cents. I'm not a I'm not a cent guy. So if anybody is interested in 64p to a cent, this would be a starting bid of five dollars. He's not the penny guy. Yeah, pennies haven't been doing good for me tonight. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm, well, I'm just not a penny guy. It's just my thing. I'm, some people are, some people aren't. It's, it's like I said, you know, I don't mind taking these to the coin show because I know there are plenty of people. You know, there that are looking for certain roles. It may not be one of them, but always good to have, you know, stuff like this because we're I'm getting slowly getting set up. I have my display cases here on the table and sets that I'm working on to get the got the slabs going in them and everything to get them ready. So, hey, what those uh, Civil War tokens? They're the coolest thing I ever held in my hand. Oh, yeah, you like the Civil War tokens? Mm, yeah, I got three of them on Wednesday. One of them's from Army-Navy for brass beds, and the other two are for um, flower. But they're the Oliver Baitworth collection. <laughs> I, it's really, it, they, I swear, I, I was waiting for Rick Butler to drive or ride the horse right into my front driveway. History, man. <laughs> All right. Hey, hustling. So yeah, like I said, tube of 1964 Phillies, starting bid five dollars. If there's no interest, um, Rafe, we can go ahead and just close this out to kind of down. Like I said, I'm just not a penny guy. I know some people are. It's not for me. I like pennies that are in slabs. So let's just put it that way. <clears throat> Yeah, um, I like my slabs. So. All right, we'll pass those. <sighs> this one I'm not sure on if anybody's going to want either, but that's what we're doing this. So I'm going to show you what this is. It is a 2000... 15 presidential dollar set, uncirculated. That's a 2015. It's the P and D, not the S, and but the four in the middle are commemorative coins. So you have $8 face plus the commemorative coins. I'm starting this out, if anybody's interested, at $15. You know, let me work on my camera just a little bit here. You can see more. So 
it is, like I said, it's a 2015 set. <clears throat> and you can get to see more of it. So it's those four presidents. And put that up there. Y'all can see. So like I said, you have the P and the D, Philadelphia's on top, Denver's on the bottom. And then four little art commemoratives. Like Alright. Not a problem. Oh, look at the Irish says hut twenty. Screw to fifteen. That's a I'm gonna take that now. <laughs> uh, I would I would send them your PayPal address immediately. <laughs> my PayPal's right there. Oh it well I I have my screen on another uh show. <laughs> no. Look, you don't check your emails, do you? <laughs> wow. All right, we're going once to 20 with Luck of the Irish. I think Luck of the Irish is something in those four commemorative coins. Because this is the only way you can get these, and they're kind of hard to, unless someone breaks out a, breaks a setup. So. <clears throat> so we're going once. 20, looking for 21 on this. Go in twice. Like I said, there's the lid, there's the thickness. He's <laughs> take some of those big money. <laughs> Go in twice. I think we're at the last call, y'all. Y'all going to snipe it. Now's the time to do it. I don't think so, but and that's a good price for these. <clears throat> Man, it even comes in this sleeve, so so I'll do it like this. It even comes in this where you do that. If I can get it in the damn thing. There you go. There you go. And just like that, it slides right in. There you go. And we're sold to Luck of the Irish. All right. Luck of the Irish. I said yours, buddy. And like I said, you know my shipping's $5, so just add 5 to that. And Cajun, that was my three already. I'm quick with it. <laughs> I am quick with it. What? Send it to Gleason New. Oh, you got it. Oh, Merry Christmas, Gleason. Merry Christmas. If you watch this later, let me get my. Let's see, I had to remember this, didn't it? Wow. Yeah, yeah that was you. you know me, I'm quick with it. I do like six of it lots in a matter of two. I've got a flat room. <laughs> okay. Sold to luck. In to Gleason. That was very sweet. Mary. All right. All you gotta do is tell me who's I next. don't know who's next. <laughs> because I don't know who was. I'm, I'm, I'm done. done. If, if Value Hunter is here, I think he's next. If he's here, he's next. I didn't know. I didn't or know John if it was Ray. Value or jo Johnny. No. Okay, Value Hunter is muted. Uh, he did have to go pick somebody up. From so there, you, there you go. There you go, Lucky the Irish. So to luck, send to Gleason. All right. There we go, Johnny Ray. You up. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to mute myself, and I'll, I'll count it for you. I'll do it for you in chat there, Johnny. Oh, you can do it either way you want. That work that you know that that way we have somebody counting it down orally and uh, and in the chat. So work it out the way you want. I mean that that because I was <sighs> anyway. All right, y'all have it. <laughs> well, whatever works. Whatever works best for you guys. All right. <clears throat>
sorry. This is what I got here. I got two dollar bill star notes. I got oh come on. And that's thirty nine oh and 3705 five $2 bill star notes consecutive numbers starting with $15 mm, Kelly Ray True though so you can touch currency <laughs> All right, well, let's do this here. There you go. They're in a sleeve now. <laughs> it's five consecutive numbers from 30, eh, 3701 to 3705. Starting with $15. <sighs> oh, Patrick Johnson. 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 Star notes and it's five consecutive star notes. Oops, I meant 15, y'all. I meant 15, not 16. I meant looking for 16. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, my man. <yeah. clears throat> mind me. Don't mind me, Patrick. It's okay. <laughs> Steelers Dagger comes in at 20. He said, What you got for me now? Patrick Johnson. Patrick Johnson said, okay, I got you $21. So let's come on with it, Mr. Steeler Stagger. <laughs> Steeler Stagger says, I see you're 21 with a 25. All righty, here we go. We got an auction. We have an okay. auction. Well, I was interested in them, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones, uh, Patrick Johnson comes back at $26. And Steeler Stacker says, <laughs> What say you, Steeler Stacker? Patrick Johnson's got it for 26 so far.
We're going on once at $26 for Patrick Jones. Going twice for 26 to Patrick Johnson. Taylor Stacker, you better fire the shot. <laughs> Last call. Three, two, one. Taylor Stacker with $28. Oh, pew, pew. Wow. I, I I I had sold tight. My finger was going to enter, and twenty eight showed up. Wow. That's as close. All right, as I will uh, in a minute. Uh, George, I'll check in a minute as soon as I finish my three lots. Wow. Yeah. That's a that's a puke. That's a boom boom. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I'm going to start counting it down again, y'all. All right, we got a Steelers Tiger 28 with the Snipe of the Night. Going once. The Steelers yeah. Tiger 28. Yeah. Patrick Johnson, I'm not waiting that long. 29. <laughs> he buys in bulk. <laughs> Dealer Sacker says, oh, I'll take it for 30. <clears throat> now, remember, don't let the airplane fly over. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> um, tonight, all my shipping is free, so. I already, I have, I have Steeler Stacker at 31st. Steeler Stacker, you're in at 30. Patrick Johnson, you're laid out the gate on that one. Yeah, Steeler, you're still in it at 30. Okay. Now I got Patrick at 31. Yeah, Patrick Johnson I'm still out. one <laughs> and Steeler says he's still out. All right, we'll start counting her down. Uh huh. Yeah, go on once, Patrick at thirty one. Go on once. Till that hammer falls, I don't believe anybody. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning, fair warning. <laughs> hey, Diane showed up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Well, my next lap will be right up your alley, then silver. Stagger, Steeler Stagger, sold to Patrick Johnson um, for 30, Andrew Johnson for thirty-one. Thirty-one dollars. I know that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, sure was sure. Mm -hmm. all right. You're paying all the attention. <clears throat> Patrick Johnson, thirty-one dollars. <throat> all right. The next thing on the lot is in this box. It's and anybody, who, anybody who knows me uh, and watch what I've bought knows that I don't get rid of this ever. But I talked to him, and I'm getting something a little bit better. So I'm going to put this flashing redneck or RN Metals channel bar.
Here's the COA. It is a 1.9 ounce. It is a prototype. It's 999 pounds. Poured by Redneck Stacker himself. Starting bid is You must be kidding me. I, you know, I paid a lot more than sixty dollars for that that thing right here. No shit. Um, that's like um, hell. Yeah, I can't believe everybody. They're not sleeping. They're just looking at it, going, da, 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 "No one's bidding on this." Holy, <laughs> never I mind. No, but I was in the bathroom. <laughs> that's insane. What is that? An ounce and a half or something? No, one point nine. Yep, it's um, it's just like. <clears throat> So Pammy Jones comes in at sixty dollars. All right, looking for sixty-five. I don't think you could get um, have three larcenies happen in one night, uh, Johnny. I hate don't think. <laughs> you don't think what? Uh, well, you've got robbed twice already. I didn't. I don't want to do it a third time. But, <laughs> uh, come in. <laughs> Hey, I put it out there. I put it I out know, there. Hopefully, people will bid on it. And um, yeah, that's one of a kind stuff. Yeah, this is the prototype. Mm -hmm. This is the first one poured. So, um, guys, just so you know, silver is at almost twenty six dollars. That's over fifty dollars for two ounces. And this is one point nine. He started at ten dollars above melt. That's crazy. Money. And that's poured silver, so it's 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 yeah. more for the art than anything else. That's right? what I'm saying. That you started at ten dollars above for art. That's crazy. That's crazy low. Crazy low. I knew it. I knew who it would be as well. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <clears throat> All right. for seventy. Sixty-five. It's still a bargain. Are you kidding me? It's a bargain at a hundred and a quarter. Right. So. Right. Well, where's Ida? Where's Where's yeah, all where's my poor back Where's back. all my poor people? Poor people. Yeah. You all know it deals with what you get with me. Mm. I don't. I think I lose more money than I than I make. It is all right. I don't care. I try to break even. That's good enough for me. I don't though. <laughs> I try. Eventually, I'll have auctions where we have mass. I have mass bidding wars, but we no, it's, it's, like a, it's, it's a slow. It's just a slow go when you get started. Boop, boop. Oh, I am poor. <laughs> Oh, okay, Father Barrett. Um, I got one more lot, and I'll look at that email. All right. Any, we're looking for 70. I got Steeler Stacker at 70. We're looking for 70. Looking for 70. Got Steeler Stacker at 65, I mean. All right. It's a Redneck Metals Channel Pour 1.9 Four Nines Fine Silver uh, Pour Art Bar. It's a Redneck Channel's Art Bar. And it's at 65. We're looking for 70. <clears throat> um, George, you surely can. Just, um, I'm going to look right here. George, this is my PayPal, too. Make sure you send it goods and services. And I'll just cancel that um, 
money request, and then whenever you get the last bit of it, that's fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I believe a, it's a Texas Longhorn um, bull skull is what's on there with the red. Yeah, it panel. is. A, a, this thing is super <clears throat> high relief. I can't even get it turned sideways so you can see how um, high it sits up. Kelly Ray, he's selling that because he's got a deal with Red going on or something about getting, he said, something a little bit better is what he said. Yeah, I'm getting some. I'm, I, I don't really sell anything I can't back up. And just so you know, guys, he did already say this is a pro type. Yeah, this is the this first is, one that was poured. This is the it first is RN one. Metal channel bar. So you could say this is a one of one, but there's more out there where this is the prototype one, is what this is. It's even on the COA. <clears throat> it's a one of a kind worth a lot more than 70 bucks, that's for sure. Uh, oh, we're going once. <clears throat> We're going once at 65. Going once at 65. I know that's what happened to me, Kelly. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going twice. I'm going to do this countdown a little bit slower to let you all think about it and let it sink in for a minute. I'm busy checking accounts. Are you kidding me? Because. <laughs> I know stuff like this doesn't pop up every, you know, every night. So. I know, but time of year, it yeah. don't pop out of my iron metals collection either. So I uh, know. Yeah. Uh, last call. Sell it, money. Look at him. Sell it quick. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it, money. Sell it. <laughs> and three. I gave you all enough time to think about it. Two. One. S O L D. No. Hello. Hello, what? You don't see it? I don't see anything. Hang on. Before I, I see. I'm offended now. I think Kelly P. What? It's right above the three. Right three above, two, hmm. one, uh, right be, uh, well, oh. on my screen, I am. Hello. Yeah, now. but where's his bid at? We don't see where he's bid. I don't see Lux. I don't see Lux bid. Oh, no, no. But skip the Skip that. Look, that's me. I meant uh, to put... That's a typo. Oh. <laughs> that's a freaking typo. I was bidding. Okay, so we're at 70. Okay. We're at 70. Family Jones was 70. Yeah, you know, you got... It's me. You got to, you know, read between the lines. Steeler Stacker's at 75. Nah, he ain't even gonna sit still, is he? <clears throat> it's like going against Johnny Ray on certain things. You just don't. You know what I mean? Just All right. Things. What are you doing? Going today? once. Stacker. Oh, look! There's a big thing about the Steelers on TV. Check it out. Going <laughs> twice. So oh, Pammy comes in at 80, y'all. We got Pammy at 80 looking for 85. <laughs> Pammy knows what this is. She's like, I've already got a floating shelf with nothing on it. Just right there for it. <laughs> Pammy, you can have it out. Oh. He doesn't mean it. Watch. Oh, I know he doesn't mean it, but it's still cute. <laughs> or I'm gonna count it down again. Go in once. You're back on the Christmas card list. <laughs> you ain't on the gift list, but you're getting a card anyway. <laughs> hey, what list? You don't make lists. Going twice. Nobody's gonna snipe it. <laughs> Hurry up, buddy. Last call because unless you know Pammy's going to you know snipe herself <laughs> when you say last call my hand automatically goes to the keyboard and three two one s o l d l e ray 80 huh 
Kelly Ray, I already have I already have eighty from Pammy. I already have eighty from Pammy. Is that a typo? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Johnny Ray and Pammy discuss this because if you're trying to go eighty five, I don't. You meant to uh, you know bid higher than let her do it. It's okay. Okay. I like, I like to play. Okay. I'm good. If Pam is good. Uh, it, ain't, it don't matter to me. As long as Pam is good with it, let her bid. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm yeah, Carol, if you want to bid, go for it. Do it. So if you're doing 85, just type in 85. If not, I'll give you a few seconds and then I'll just type sold. <clears throat> Mic drop. <laughs> Luck. <laughs> oh, check your email, Luck. Will you please, Mr. Irish? All right. Then we're sold to Miss Pammy for $80. Congratulations. It is Christmas. Thanks, dealer. That was really kind. I know you wanted that. Alrighty. <laughs> I walked here. away because my mom told me to be nice to ladies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it. Yeah, was. but Steeler Stacker, now that it's done, you can tell your mom there's no ladies and there's no gentlemen in an auction. <laughs> Just kidding. There, 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 I will say there are a lot of friends in auctions because people give stuff away all the time to each other. I have backed away from certain things that I know Johnny wanted and I wanted, but I let Johnny just like he backed away from certain things that I wanted. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, they say there's no friends in auctions, but I'm going to call. There's not, but there is a fa there are family in auctions. So. Oh, all yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. What's number three? Number three is this 1945 PCGS MS 65. The DDO001 is not done by PCGS, but it has been, uh, I can't think of the guy's name. It's someone uh, Robert Lawson knows, but. Dan, Dan, Daniel from Coin Help You? No, not Daniel. It's uh, somebody else. I can't think of his name right now. Joe Durbin? No. Come on, really? Well, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. I could, like got a brain fart on it. <laughs> uh, we'll start this at 25 bucks. All right, y'all. Starting bid on the Merc Dime is 25. I'm going to type it in because y'all can read the label. Rafe's at 25. All right, 20, 25. Do we hear 26? Rafe's already looking like y'all better not. I'm trying to get this. This is not. Oh, Iris came in and said, Rafe, not not that quick. Sorry, Tim. I got to use your box here for a minute. Oh, that's fine with me. <laughs> Rafe comes it's back at 27. <laughs> Rafe's at 27. Said, that's what I got. Said, I like my Merc dimes, damn it. <laughs> You know, I got this other one, but I think people would have had a heart attack if I didn't put it up because the starting bit is 150 bucks on it. Now, the only Merc time I have slabbed is a 43D MS65 full bands from PCGS. It's the only Merc time I have slabbed. I won't bid against my boy Rafe. Aww. Hashtag Team Dimes. Well, no, I threw the hashtag in there, though. But, yeah. You know, hell, we're all low. There ain't no hashtag. It's pound sign team guns. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm on this counter down already. We're going to go go in once to Rafe for 27. We're going to go go in to to Rafe. And we're going to go last call in three, two, one, S-O-L-D. 
D. Finger in the sheep's butt. Ugh, really Irish. You got that? That would be Rafe. Got that for 27. It is sold. All right, well. All right, that was Johnny Ray's three. Cajun, are you ready for the penny game or not yet? I don't even know Cajun's around his computer. Uh, I guess I can do the penny game. Might as well. <laughs> Let me uh, get situated over here. Oh, All right. let me uh. <laughs> Get a couple of pieces of paper. Yeah, here we go. All right. Now, I'm going to write all this stuff down. Okay, we already know what. Well, since it's on me, I'll show you what I'm putting in. It's a 64 Philadelphia okay. silver quarter. No, right. a 64 oh, Denver silver quarter. quarter. And just because we down in the bayou there, we're going to do this 1993 Mardi Gras token. Make a Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras! It's an aluminum token. The bloom. The bloom. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's my contribution right there. Alrighty. Are we have right. we have another auction before Christmas. What's the day? Yes, Wednesday, right? Uh yeah, Wednesday. The twenty third. Okay, for this one. <clears throat> I got a 64 Kennedy. You know, your average 64. Oh, you're not done there, are you? Johnny? I'm done. Oh, okay. I thought I was cutting line there. 64 yeah, Kennedy. Yeah. I've got three beautiful Mercs. No, two Mercs and a Rosie. <laughs> right? Yeah. Nope, two Rosies and a Merc. That works. <laughs> that That's works. And wait, one more thing. No, I was planning, 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 planning. <laughs> Another Merc. So it's two Rosies, two Mercs, and a 64 Kennedy. Well, that's a nice little uh, addition right there to the penny game. Very nice. Okay. Me, uh, I'm trying to get my papers, uh, wrote out over here. Okay, Saturday the 19th, uh, 2020. All right, uh, boogity, boogity, boogity. Okay, Value Hunter had. He had the uh, 1803 uh, Drake Bus <laughs> Copper Penny. 1803 Lord Scent. Yeah. Boy, that was fine. That was awesome. And we got like 30 people in here. So I think what I'm going to do this time. Uh, 
there's a lot of people that want to get in on these penny games and we only do one one penny game during the auction and a lot of people don't get a chance to get in it y'all know what i yeah. Hey, Cajun, why don't you just do one spot and then? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to do one spot. And why don't you expand it to like 30 per, spots or 20, uh, 50 one spot spots. per person? And how then. Much, uh, how much per person? Well, uh, let me see. Okay. And then I'm going to throw in uh, like. Uh, uh, ninety percent half dollar. I'm gonna throw in a ninety percent half. Uh, I'm 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 all tore apart over here with the uh, reorganizing. Uh, look, man, look, man, if y'all if y'all could see what's going on in the background over here, it's like good God, you know. And then all that's going on right here at this station. You know, like I said, ne next auction, next Wednesday, I'm going to be in a totally different area, different view and all that. So, wait, Money Maniac said, I'm having issues with StreamYard all of a sudden. Uh, I'm going to have to try another night to come back up. Really? Oh, okay. Well, Money Maniacs trying to, uh, let me send you another email so you can come back in to, uh, call the auction off. Let me see. Uh, money, 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 money. Oh, my computer's acting slow here. Come on now. Yeah, we're just going to do one spot per person. And because there's a, uh, I've been getting a couple of emails. On people not, uh, getting in you know they're not mad or anything it's just you know like hey you know uh i would like to get in on it can you do one spot per person all right boogity boogity i got that all right uh and i think money's back there he is Okay. All right, I'll try it again. Yeah, it's just it's just my internet for some reason. It's just acting crazy for some reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. No problem. Yeah, because I love you calling the auction off. You know, and I I don't expect you to put anything in. You know, on this uh, penny game because you hadn't been here all night. You know, don't worry about that at all. Okay. So. No, my uh, man, it's crapping up. So. Come on, chat. Uh. I'm just going to do well. I do have a sheet right here with some extra slots in it, but I think I'm going to just do 10 slots, you know, 10 spots on the wheel like, like we always do. Oh, yeah, there's uh, value hunters right there. Let me show that right quick. And that is Budimus. Yeah, that, uh, that's the large date, large fraction. So you see the fraction underneath the ribbon. That's the large fraction, large date. The, the date on the front is pretty worn, but there's still uh, it's enough there to see it if you guys have it in hand, which you don't, obviously. But the front's worn pretty good. You can make her outline out pretty well. You can see she used to look just like that right there. <laughs> yeah, used to good. <laughs> good, uh, good detail, large fraction on the back. You know, you can make it out a wreath and a one center. There she is. That beautiful coin. 
That's yeah. a large scent right there, y'all. I mean, that is awesome. There's a lot of people that have, you know, 70, 70 books. And this that's a tough one to find. That's tough hold to fill without spending some some serious dough. Yeah, especially in XL. <laughs> especially in XL. Oh, I don't know about yeah, well, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking forward to next up, then you know, you're you're okay. Safe. Well, uh, I think we saw everything that everybody had, huh? Let's see, Pammy Jones. Let's see, Johnny Ray had wait, Pammy Jones had the Mercury Dimes and the Rosie. And the 64 Kennedy. Johnny Ray had the 64 Kennedy, and okay, that'll work. All right, now I'm going to type everything in, in the chat. I'm going to put, uh, I, I think all that's worth $4. What y'all think? Yep. Okay. Uh, $4 per spot. Okay, limit one. Per person. And if I knew how to hit the space board just right, I could get that right. Four dollars per spot, limit one per person, and let me do this right quick right here. Well, and there is my PayPal. Cajun Coin Hunter 64 at gmail.com. That's my PayPal right there. All right. And once I once y'all see me type in go, y'all can hit y'all numbers. And then we're going to set the wheel up. Oh. Oh. You should. Uh, where's, you my, should put, where's my you board should, at? You should put the split screen up, Cajun. Put the split screen up so everybody can see what they're buying a spot for. All on one screen. You know, like split screen with all, all of us up there. I'm trying to. They think they're bidding on a red T-shirt, a Cajun with a red T-shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, let me get my pennies out. Four dollars per spot. Wow. For well, all of that. Stuff. And then, like I said, I got a 90%. That's going to be a steal. Half or a couple of quarters or something when equivalent I hear to. When I hear so it's going to be a steal for somebody. Four bucks. Okay. And now I'm getting these notifications hiding my chat. Wow. Boom. Boom. Okay. All right, so I hit go. Coinzilla, what's going on? Coin Arenos, that's right. Welcome to the Cajun crew tonight, Coinzilla. All right, uh, go, go, go. Luck of the Irish had number five. Okay, go ahead, Missy. Go ahead, Missy. I'm going to put Lucky. Wait, found it buried. Wait till he calls your number and then pay. And then uh, Shannon Smith, number six. Just so you know, you get in. Four spots left, guys. Two, four, eight, and ten. All right, Patrick Johnson came in at seven. Found it buried, got two. Yeah. Money Maniacs got three. Three. Wait. Uh, yeah, money at three. Steeler at nine. Coinzilla, it's one slot. Do you want one or four? Which one do you want? At nine. If 
found it buried at two. Two? Three. Yeah. <laughs> it was 11. One. All right, four and ten. Four, uh, he takes eight. I'm eight. sorry, he takes he took one. Coins at four. No, no, he wanted one. Oh, wait a oh, that's right. That's right. Coins. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at Irish at five. Shannon Smith at six. Patrick Johnson at seven. Three at Money Maniacs. Hugo Stacker at nine. Found it buried at two. David Carlisle bought the train. <laughs> oh, Coinzilla at one. Okay. Yeah, one. Did Wait. Four? Coinzilla at four. Okay. I, no, see four. four. I see four, four before I see one. Yeah, but we he said one first, and then we asked him which one do you want, and he typed one again. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to retract that. Put one for Coinzilla. Yeah, take four away. Okay, one. All right. Man, look at all this coming in. Okay. Uh, okay, we got five, six, seven, three, nine, two, one. One, two, three. We've got three spots left. We've got four, eight, and ten left. I love who Irish says, Danny Jones, you're way too good to me. That's for sure luck. <laughs> <laughs> come on, people, people. <laughs> Mr. saying, come on, people. Yeah, now, if I'd have had two spots uh, available, everybody would be fighting for that. Who wants eight and four and ten? Now, eight, four, and ten. Oh, Miss Canadian Scrapper wants number four. Four. Yeah, Miss Canadian Scrapper. Two left. Eight and ten. Good luck, everybody. Hey, Marley and T. Come on. Hey, T, how you doing, Chad? How's Molly doing? Man, I see all kind of notifications. We got some. Uh, thing. We got, oh, Kelly Ray. It's a bunch of stuff. Uh, for me, it's 90% uh, half dollar or quarter dime. Something like that. I don't have it out right now. I'm, I'm tearing everything apart over here. Uh, getting ready to set up the new station. The new, uh, not studio, I call it a station. Uh, uh, th there's all kind of stuff put up. Let's see. Uh, Value Hunter's got that right there. Uh, a one ounce copper round. Uh, and the original 1803 large cent great bus 1803 large cent copper penny cent the replica of that right there and Pammy J's got uh, oh there's a bunch of dot roses uh uh, Mercury Dimes, Ronnie Ray's got some stuff up there, some silver. Oh, that's coming up on the next lot, Luck of the Irish. And I expect that your bids will be uh, in there on that. We're going to do a timeshare one week in Kazakhstan, right on top of a uranium mine. You spend a week there and you'll be glowing by the time you get back. <laughs> Okay, let me make sure number eight wasn't taken here. Uh, I can't, I, I can't split the screen like that though. I can do it like that. 
I can share everybody else's, but I can't split the screen where, oh, I can do it like this. Like, yeah, there you go. There you yeah, go. I can do it like that. Okay, yeah, there's Johnny Ray's stuff. Oh, yeah, he's got a Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras coin. Hey, and that's almost the season. Mardi Gras season is almost with us now. Mm -hmm. Mardi Gras season is almost here. Come January, that's it. Mardi Gras, we're going to be hearing Mardi Gras songs on the radios throughout Louisiana and Texas and Mississippi and Alabama. Everywhere. Okay, let's see. Uh, what am I saying? Number eight from uh, Rafe Elman, I think it was. <laughs> Oh man! Right, Hunter laughing. <laughs> Somebody's talking about me. Is he like? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna time luck of the Irish out if he doesn't, <laughs> if he doesn't stop. I gotta focus. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I'm not. Oh what? Yeah, Lambo. I am sure. Lambo. Let's see. I thought I seen uh Ray Failmer with number eight. Eight. Let me go down and chat here. Coinzilla said, I sent file to cover the goods and services fee. Oh, you didn't have to do that, Coinzilla. Yeah, Ray, this is LT number eight. Yeah, there it is. Ray Fayman, number eight. Okay. All right. And. We got number 10 left. Cajun. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can I buy number 10, but it's going to be for Marley and T? Oh, well, you sure can. Okay, then number 10 is for Marley and T, and I'll send it to you right now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, the board is filled. T and Marlin. Money Maniacs bought it for T and Marlin. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> You're very welcome, honey. All right, if y'all want to. And. PayPal just sent again. If y'all want to check your numbers right there. Right, number five with Lucky. Dan Smith at six. Patrick Johnson. <coughs> cool. We got all, all kind of things coming in here. Steve Stacker founded Barry, Coinzilla, Miss Canadian Scrapper, Ray Feldman, and T and Marley. Oh, I mean, oh, do that. compliments of uh, Money Maniac. All right, let me get my uh, my wheel set up. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, Money Maniac. I was Marley and T asked the question. I was almost scared to you earlier because I hadn't seen an update since your original post. Yeah, no. Just real quick, while he's setting up the wheel, everybody for the update. Um, she's actually fully awake. She's out of ICU. She's actually out of Phoenix. She's up in. Uh, Kingman now, which is only 30 miles away from us. 
in Arizona, and she is just in a rehab center just only because she had a stroke for two hours straight, and um, she got all of her she got all of her arm functions and everything back in her brain and vocal and everything. Okay, so having a my Miss Money's mother, my mother in law. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, she uh, she she is um, she has diabetes and her sugar was almost seven hundred when yeah. I found her. And um, it took them three days. They had to induce a coma for 48 hours just to get her back to normal. Um, but anyway, she's awake. She's fine. She's alert. Um, they're doing some rehab with her, some physical therapy to strengthen her legs back up. But she will when she comes home. But we will be having to move her. The apartment she lives in now, it won't be right away, but it'll be within a month or so because she's got to go into in an assisted living she doesn't like it she doesn't want it because she's a very independent woman but that's just the way it is so her daughters are so yes yeah, so all the prayers and wishes of guys it was a christmas miracle for miss money miss money yeah. got what she wanted for christmas um she uh she said the only thing i want is my mother home and she got her mom home so that's all yeah. she wanted for christmas so everything else that she gets now is just icing on the cake so thank you all for everything. Appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, we are gonna. You know, it's a good thing we sold the a few things to help her mom um, because we are going to have to get her into a different apartment, and that's going to be some upfront money for deposits and everything that she's not going to have. So that money that we have set aside will it ain't going to cover everything, but it's definitely going to you know help at least with the getting her foot in the door. So. But anyway, I'm done. Go ahead, Cage. I'm sorry. Well, he's muted now. <laughs> no, right. that's good, man. That's answered that. <laughs> Everybody's prayers, dude. Really happy to hear that. And yeah, no, God, God came through on all those prayers. So mm -hmm. that all is good. Him. All the glory to Him for that. That's good. We were, we were. I was like, "There's no way after a two-hour stroke and being in a coma like that." I mean, like that. That's just. I was um, literally, I didn't want to ask the whole yeah. stream was wondering, but I'm like, I ah, just, this, if it's not good news and I hadn't seen an update, I'm like, she, I don't want to mm -hmm. be the one to ask that question. You know what I mean? And um, not the right answer. Yeah. yeah. And, um, um, plumber stacker. No, I do not have a page to donate to her. Um, if you would like to, I don't ask anybody if you would like to, um, my PayPal is right there on the screen. That's talking with the logo bouncing in and out. Send it to that, and it, and um, the money that we already have so far went into Miss Money's one of her personal accounts and her savings account for now, and we're using that for her mom. So that money will just get transferred to her, and it'll just go straight to her. So just send it to that PayPal, and then it'll get transferred right into her mother's uh, or her savings account, which will be for her mom. You know, I'm not, I mean, we weren't asking or anything because even the thing that um, we sold, Ms. Money didn't want to sell. Um, we sold them last Sunday to Hustling the Hustler, um, you know, uh, which were silver goblets. They were sterling silver. And uh, he bought them for 500 Now I technically lost $350 on them. I'm not, I don't care about the money. Um, I bought them at the coin show for eight fifty. Um, I sold them for five just because it was her way of trying to get money real quick for her mom. Um, not too worried about it. But <clears throat> but yeah, if anybody if you if you want to, you know, yeah, just send it straight to that PayPal and then it would go straight to her <clears throat> you know, savings from their own transfer in the morning. So that's why I have certain things set aside, um, like real quick. Um, I'm working on this right now. I'll show you this really fast. <clears throat> I'm working on this because this is going to be one of the things. If I have to sell it, it's going to be a going to be a quick sell. But I'm going to get my camera to where it'll focus here. Anyway, uh, get my camera here. Turn that off. Okay, turn it that way. 
trying to get this glare to work, not glaring. There, okay. So these are part quarters, is what these are with this lid. And this is a drawer that pulls out, and these are uncirculated tubes of part quarters. So, you know, we've got things here that if I need to really quick, you know, sell and get rid of, but, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's, that's one item on the table. Um, another item, let's see, that got sold to luck, get to Gleason. You know, this is one of a, one of the display cases I'm putting, I'm starting to work on the slabs, I'm putting the slabs in. You know, that's for the coin show, but I've got stuff there if I need to sell them. You know, things of that nature. You know, it's for the business, but at the same time, if I need to, it's for her mom. So, there we go. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Yep, 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 I can't see chat. <laughs> My chat went away. Oh, thank you, Patrick. So. That was a nice little collection right now. Uh, actually, I just bought that. Yeah, it's, it's sitting right back there on the table. I hope you, are, you can see. Don't mind my. We haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet. No. Yeah, it's sitting right here. It's in a minute. But, um, and then another one more thing that might go into a, uh, you know, if we have to auction for her. I don't know if this is going to be a thing or not. But this is another thing that would be, this is a two set. And so, you know, this is presidential dollar set. Now, each row is the same president because it's PDS proof and reverse proof of each presidential dollar coin. And I've got two boxes just like this. And like I said, it goes all the way. It goes all the way down. There. <clears throat> Little bond right there. That's one of those, uh, like uh, Bradford uh, exchange or something like that. I, I think so. My LCS had it, and he's more of a gold buyer and silver person. And he's like, Money, I can't do anything with anything. Of course, he tells me about my real name because he didn't even know my name was Money Man on YouTube. And he's like, I can't do anything with these. You think you can do something with these? I'm like, mm -hmm. So that's just no, basically, what those are for is um uh we're setting up for our first coin show we're going to start going to start selling at coin shows here in february right. can we uh, do the penny game? can we do the penny game right quick yeah, go ahead. yeah okay uh, all right <laughs> everybody's more like uh where's the penny game <laughs> okay where'd it go where'd it go yeah all right <laughs> let me get my uh scene squared up uh oh yeah Share. Mm -hmm. uh, wheel. Come on, right. Oh, oh. You're going to lay down, Missy. All right. Okay. All right, bro. Can y'all see the screen? Uh, just the screen or the screen and all four or five of us on the side? It's all good. It's all visible. Now it is. Okay. All right. There we go. We got number six on top. Number eight, ten, one, three, five, seven, nine, two, four, six. I'm going to do it as always. Fly five clicker as we used to do on a silver wheel a long time ago. One, two, three, four, five. Congratulations to the winner. Good luck, everybody. And it is number four. And Boom. see that? Boom! Miss Canadian Scrapper. Him, you're doing good, girl. <clears throat> Miss Canadian Scrapper with number four. <laughs> Miss Canadian Scrapper with number four. Congratulations. And there's the screen again right there with number four. One, two, 
one chance. Yeah, that's all it takes is one chance to win them wheels or the waffle cards. So, all right, congratulations, Miss Canadian Scrap. <laughs> It's rigged. <laughs> steal it. Rigged. Who said that? Look at ours. No. No. Steal it. <laughs> um, possibly. Um, luck of the Irish. Everybody's asking about that. What we do an auction to benefit um, my mother-in-law. Probably she's a she's a very proud woman. She's like Mama T. She's a very proud woman. So if I did this, you know, Miss Money wouldn't tell her mom at all. Um. I probably would. We'd have to see because her insurance companies and other things are trying to get into certain places. We're trying to see if insurance is going to pick it up, but we're having issues right now. So I'm not going to know if we're going to need to come up with additional money um, or not. Um, I will definitely put out a video and let you guys know as soon as we know. Okay. Uh, Miss Canadian Scrapper. Everybody. Uh, you have everybody's email, correct? I'm already. I've already got it. Okay. She I, should just take a screenshot right now, and she's got all the addresses that way. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Canadian Scrapper, take a screenshot right now. Take a screenshot of the screen. You got everybody's email there, and then just send everybody your address, and we'll send you the stuff. Right. Correct. Yeah, that's genius. <laughs> it really is. I'd have never thought of it. <laughs> well, if you're on a PC or a Chromebook or uh phone or you know something that you can take a screenshot of because i don't know if i can do a screenshot on a uh on a, <laughs> my old desktop my old you got, desktop you got a phone right yeah. huh you have a phone right i'm not on a phone though huh you don't have a smartphone i'm not on it right now well you could well you could be Oh, you're talking about if I wanted to do a, a screenshot. A, yeah, a picture. But I'm talking about a screenshot like if I hit my Windows bar and screenshot up here, boom, and your laptop uh your laptop will give you a screenshot. It'll take a picture of the whole screen. Everything. Oh yeah. That's nice. I already have Miss Grapper's. Um, well, she has mine too. Cause, oh, okay. So that works out well. I've been knowing Miss Canadian Scrapper for oh, it's been quite some time now. I've been knowing Miss Canadian Scrapper. As long as I've been knowing uh, redneck, redneck uh, coins. They both are there. I'm starting to more people in Canada than I do in the U.S. lately. <laughs> Seriously. I found it very nice, guys and gals. Yep. Okay, whose turn was it next uh, for the auction? Val. Val? Val. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. And I'm going to get back to business over there. Hey, Cajun, you know what? I think I'm going to defer to these other three. I, I, I'll, I'm going to get this shipped up, but I think I'm going to sign off. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to do, do another giveaway before I call it a night. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Hold on a second. Let me grab something here. All right. What we 
we got almost 30 people in here again. Oh, you know what? I got three items I can put up in a row, and then I'll do the giveaway. Uh -huh. I'll, do last, I'll do last three here, and then I'll do the giveaway. Um, no, not quite. Not quite 17. You almost did. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm out, but um, uh, before I do that, switch. If you take eight, uh, seven <laughs> plus one is eight, and then you uh, plus a zero on it, and you divide it by two, then you would have won. Yeah. yeah. So 17, you almost got it, buddy. This Canadian scrapper said, I don't know coin filler. Hero is closed, huh, Leo? You have a bad feeling about that. I'm going to put this back up, Cajun. You remember this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that set. That was like translucent with the... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. The pink effects on the, on the glass. Easier for me to go on the other side. That is a it's a 54 proof set with the original box. It has the original tissue. This is how this is how proof sets came from the mint in 54. Actually 50 through 55. Halfway through the 55 year, they switched from these boxes to the flat pack that you use today. So there's that. And then the coins would have been in a little cellophane that falls apart pretty easily and it had a staple that would tone the coins up. So a lot of people would take them out. They put them in these capital holders. This one's translucent. And anyway, it's a 54 proof set. A lot of pretty deep cameo. This is the one that has that super deep cameo on the corner. I remember that. Yeah. So I'm looking for 125 on the 54 proof set with the original packaging in this capital holder. I think the nickel also is cameo. Tough to tell from this light on the front. You see it there, it kind of pops. But then on the back, it also is, and you got to have both sides to get anything designated cameo. So I think maybe the quarter and the nickel are probably your best bet on this set. But um, it's a 54 proof set with packaging. Thank you for typing it in there for me. And it is looking for 125. I'll tell you what, for those of y'all that thought YouTube uh, deserted y'all on notifications, y'all ought to be getting notifications now because I know I am. Yep. Yeah. I'm not on the Christmas card list. <laughs> And I'm getting all kind of YouTube notifications. Oh, 17 said, I'll turn my notifications off. I might have to turn some of them off. <laughs> I love my do not disturb on my phone. I'd never, I'd never sleep if it, if it didn't have that notifications and emails and you name it all night. I don't care what time it is. Five o'clock in the morning, they're trying to sell me insurance. It's like, what the hell? Oh, oh, okay. We have something like that. 
but then I forget that I have it on Do Not Disturb, and then the next day everybody says, I tried to call you all day yesterday. Oops. Oh, okay, not a problem. Are you interested in 54? That's okay if not. Just let me know. All right. $125 on the uh, starting bid on that proof set, 1954 proof set. What? I'll start. I'll tell you what, Caden. You can adjust the starting bid to 115 because I've had this up here a couple times and haven't had any takers. I'll, I'll take a 115 start bid. Well, you guys are welcome to price these things out. I mean, you're looking potentially 175 and up, 250. A lot of sales in the 250 range. Oh, Just I thought pens. you said $25. Oh, no. I was ready to start typing. I'll give you the box. I'll give you the box for $25. Thank you. There you go. That's about what they go for. Probably. That's a nice yeah, that, bet. They have sales. They, they sell the box. You know, some people sell the boxes. They grade the coins and sell the boxes. They usually fetch about 25 for that mint box like that from 1954. It's hard to find them mm. with the edges intact because people would uh, move or whatever and they'd, you know, it'd end up with a box or a, a coin book up against it, crush them, and then, you know, you basically have, uh, <laughs> you have, you know, a piece of cardboard and <laughs> not a box. So, Kelly Ray, what you're saying is nobody would buy my $2,000 mint set? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, we could look at we could look at other mint sets, right, Johnny Ray? I mean, we could look at mint sets like that or proof oh, sets. Stop, stop teasing, man. I, oh, my 37 my is on the way right now, buddy. But, I mean, if nobody wants to put $115 on a 54 set, I doubt they're looking to you know start up 42 set where it would need to be, especially a – a both nickel proof set. <laughs> $900. Mm -hmm. $900 starting bid on that one. I was talking about my 49 double mint set. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's a different ball game altogether. Yeah. I mean, you're talking, what, 30 coins? Yeah, it's it's two thousand dollars all day long. T wants to do. I mean, they're throwing them I, off the, out the door I, to eBay all day long at two grand. Yeah, I I, I don't have that one. I don't have the uh, fifty. I think I'm missing the forty nine and fifty forty seven forty nine fifty two or fifty one. I got to look which one of the fifties. I got I got going back to fifty three. Then I have the forty eight, but I'm missing the in between the tweeners. And those are the ones that are, you know, they, they pop a little bit in price. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Mar uh, T, I don't have the one you asked for. I might, I got one from Red G, and I don't remember what year it was. And yeah. I got one. What year did, was that one I got from you tonight, Val? Tonight? Uh, 2020. Oh, 2020. I'll get back to you. Uh, Probably a day after Christmas and, and let just, you know. Just, just count it down. I'll, I'll just count it down. Three going once. Anybody going twice. There's a little bit toning on the edge. You can see on the half and the quarter. Kind of nice, actually. It's sort of like a, I don't know, sunset color. Probably from the probably from the holder. Cajuns count it down, saying three, dos, one. Close. All right. Well, I can't say I didn't try. I, I had pulled out a few proof sets here, but uh, like I said, why don't I do a giveaway instead of uh, throwing stuff up? Let me see here. Let me see here. Oh, John and Ray, I got to show you one more thing, man. Do you know what you're looking at? You know, you said you were looking for that spiked. Check this out. You got to check the diagnostics on this, okay? Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But look what I got. I got a Westward Journey, right? Right. I, I just got this thing for like a giveaway, right? But right. I figured I'd check it because it's got both, it's got two bisons in it, right? The P and D. So it's the Denver. 
I mean, it's the Philly, right? That has the spike. That's what I always thought it was, but I looked it up. It's supposed to be the Denver. Well, look at the Philly right here. Yeah. Denver, but when I flip it on the Philly. The Philly has it? You see oh, it? look at that. Yes. <laughs> Is that it? Well, does it go all the way to the bottom? Nope. Well, that's new then. It could be. Because that's what it looks like, but on the, it goes yep. all the way through. That's what I saw on the Denver, but I also saw that that's exactly the right, you know, placement, like location. Yeah. For it. So I'm like, all right, well, is that like PMD or is that actually the spike? Um, and it looks raised to me, but it's very difficult to tell. But I think that's it. Or one of them, if there's multiple, you know. Pretty cool, though, huh? I mean, to find one on one of these Whitman, you know, these right. like the kind of the tchotchke holders, you know, it's not like rolling, not like, like, uh, roll hunting or anything like that. It's just, it was there. Anyway, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to look for a specific coin. Here it is. Now there's, there's, a, there's an odd look to this coin, the way it's annealed. May, may have, you know, the annealing may have affected this coin. Um, I'm going to give it away. It's a 62 proof. And there it is right there. And I don't know if you guys can tell because of the way the lighting is. If I put another nickel up to it, you'll probably be able to tell. Actually, I'm going to put it on the other camera so you guys can see the giveaway. I'm just going to skip doing any more lots and turn it over to you guys, but let me do this giveaway on this thing first, and then we'll, then we'll roll to you guys. Um, but, yeah, take a look at it in that light. And then let me just throw another nickel up next to it. You see the difference in color? Damn. Not, not just because it's proof, but it's almost blue. Right. It's almost purple or blue. It has like a purple hue to it. Um, so, they, that is something that's um. You talking about like the midnight chrome? Like I talk about all the time. Like yeah, uh, yeah. it's it's what it looks yeah. like to me, Cajun. Like if you get it up next to the nickel, it is clearly blue. Yeah, and you know, dark like black and and like yeah. it's that midnight. Chrome, midnight like, chrome effect, like, and everybody's looking for those nickels. Yeah. Well, I think I found a few of them uh, in sets that I had, and I pulled this one out, and I just said, "Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to give this one away on on your stream tonight." Wow. Can I guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can guess. I'll do it. I'll I'll do the draw, and you guess. Absolutely. Oh man, that'll work. Absolutely. Oh. Um, yeah. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to guess a number. I'm going to write the number on the back of this right here. And when I do that, how many we got in the chat right now? Uh, 27, 28. Okay. So we're going to go. A number between 1 and 30. Please wait to guess. Please wait to guess. Oh, there's, oh you guys are saying there's 27. <laughs> there's 27 in the chat. All right. Thank you for answering. <laughs> okay. Please wait to guess. But, yeah, thanks for the answers, guys. Um, so we'll do a number between 1 and 30. And I got the number on the back of that all right so that is a midnight blue <laughs> toned um 1962 proof philadelphia proof nickel with you know every single step i mean you can walk up those steps of course it's a proof so the strike's gonna be that way but uh i've got a number on the back of this i'm gonna type it in because we're gonna let cajun 
We're going to let Cajun have a chance to win for a change. Wait for my signal. Take one guess and one guess only. And I'm going to say if somebody's a carpenter and hits the nail on the head, the first one I see wins it. If we get to the end, the first and nobody's picking, I'll say stop. Then the first person who uh, who I see that's closest without going over will win. Right? So, yep. all right. Ah, hell. <laughs> You've got a guess in there, at least. <laughs> Above the go. <laughs> no, not on my screen, Pammy. It was right oh, below. Cool. It, was, it was right below it on my screen. Apparently, it wasn't on the head. Oh, that's okay. You can stop. If you haven't guessed yet, it uh, won't matter. We got, a, <laughs> we got a couple carpenters in the house. Well, I know I didn't get 13. it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, no. No. It was. 17? 17, yep. And I see I see Late Night with Bull. And, and, Me too. And Steeler. I had Late Night with Bull as well. What's weird is that uh, because his name's so long, my eye was drawn to Steelers first. So I saw it and I thought he got it. But then I looked back again and Late Night was actually above him. But his name's so, so long that the 17 was off to the right. But he was just yeah. ahead of Steeler stacker on my screen. Sorry, Steeler stacker. And congratulations, Late Night with Bull. That is a quite ridiculous. Look at that. I yeah. mean, it's I call those that that's what we call black beauties. Yeah, black beauty. It, it's it's almost liquidy the way that the metal looks on there. And yeah. it's got like a dark black purplish hue. This one actually has some cameo appearance to it. It's kind of an amazing coin. Uh, I hate to see it go, but I love it going to a new home. So, you know, glad to see, glad to see one of my friends in the community win it at, at the same time. So congratulations to you. And you enjoy it or sell it or whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. There you go. And with that, Cajun, I'm going to do my sign offs and say thanks to everybody and cheers to you guys. We'll probably see you Wednesday, but Merry Christmas ahead of time in case not, or if anybody's out or out of town or not online. And I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, Cajun, and everybody else. And uh, who's send it to Cajun? He says, "Send it to Cajun Coin Hunter." Merry uh, Christmas! Guys. I was waiting for that. Oh. <laughs> You're all right, Paul. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. well. Uh, everybody it. in the chat would have done the same thing. Well, I love it. Joyeux Noel to you too, buddy. Joyeux Noel. And Bart. Yeah, gonna do the same thing. That's awesome. All right, so, the nickel man. Yes, I am a, a nickel guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, a penny guy, but nickels are one of my other favorites. Your other favorites? <laughs> yeah, actually, the nickels were actually my first favorites. But the Lincoln Wheaties, you know, the Wheaties, the Wheaties, that's my favorite uh, reverse design. But the proof nickels and stuff, man, that's, you know, like the Buffalo nickels. The Buffalo nickels which got me started in uh, coin collecting, you know, when I was five, six years old. So, and that right there looks like a black beauty to me. And as soon as I get that in the mail, I'm doing a mail call on it. And I'm going to show everybody, if I confirm it, that's a black beauty. Uh, like uh, Jeff Stanley Coins uh, on his video. Oh, yeah. Late night 
with Boo, late night with Boo, Boo Butter, sent to Cajun, Merry Christmas, yeah, Bon, yeah, Merci, <laughs> Merci, Boo, yeah, I am older than dirt. I'm older than dinosaur chit. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yep. Merry Christmas, Patrick, Patriots, mom, everybody. Merry Christmas. God bless you guys. And I'm going to sign out and hit church in the morning. You guys have a great night and a great rest of the auction stream. And thank you very much for having me up here, Cajun. Appreciate it. Till next time. <laughs> Right. Utah. Love, peace and crack on grease, brother. Yes, you See too. You later. See you later, bro. <laughs> See you, Johnny Ray. Night. Cajun used to babysit Jesus Christ. Yeah, just about. <laughs> Me and Missy did. My family Jones. Missy did too. All right, whose turn was it up next? Pammy Jones or Johnny Ray? I think it was uh Pammy Jones is Amy um, Jones is done. She said, "Are you done, right?" Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'll do three more and then I'll be done. Okay. What we have here? You know, here you know, is a failure to communicate. Is <laughs> <laughs> a 1964 proof set and a Whitman holder, or I mean a capital holder, Whitman capital, whatever it is. You sounded just like, you sounded just like that actor on that. What we have here. Well, yeah, to yeah. communicate. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to tack that on, though. <laughs> okay. Um, starting bid is twenty-five dollars on this. All uh, right, y'all have at it. I gotta go do uh, a little more cleansing over there and clean out some more stuff. So y'all have at it, uh, and I, I will be listening in, eavesdropping. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Cajun's uh -huh. working on his own channel. <laughs> I, I have to. I've been wanting to do this now for two weeks. <laughs> so. Done. No. Is a good cameo back here on a quarter and, and you know, and a half dollar, but that's you gotta have it on both sides to actually have a cameo. So, but you got 90% silver, 90% silver, 90% silver. $25 opening bid. Donald Harmon comes in with $25. Hey, Donald, how are you? Uh, he either just got here or he's been sitting there lurking all night waiting for me to put up some Morgans. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna go too long with this. I got 25. Do I hear 26? <clears throat> I don't even. I didn't even look what you were selling there, Johnny. Huh? What? You're only asking 25 dollars. That's the opening bid. Am I seeing things? And Donald Harmon came in at 25, so we're looking for 26 right now. Hmm. <sighs> At uh, 3 o'clock in the morning Eastern time, 2 o'clock Central. It's kind of hard to get into the... What's the difference then with that and the other 1964? This is a proof set. Well, I don't know what other 1964 set. I don't think I put up a 64 set earlier, did I? Um... Yeah, I think you did. No, it was a 54. It was a 57. I put up a 57. Val put up a 54. 
There you go. Um, this is just in a capital holder. Somebody took it out of the, the flat pack and put it in this holder. But being that silver's up there, it is. It's probably ten dollars a mount, five dollars a mount, two dollars a mount. That's seventeen dollars a mount in silver right there. So don't look like anybody else wants it. So we're gonna go once. At 25. Nope. Pammy Jones comes in at 26. Kelly Ray, um, the mint, uh, the proof sets were done at Philadelphia. Now, you do have a 64 uh, P&D mint set where you get Philadelphia and Denver. Uh, they're on circulating set. So Donald Harmon comes back at 27. So, but the proof coins are done. Um, the proof coins are done in a different way. They, they're, um, better, more special uh, attention and care is done with the proof coins to come out. In yeah. better condition, like all, all, like all proof coins on a nickel have full steps, just like on proof set on the on the with the Benji's, they'll all have full bell lines. No, they don't have an S. Uh, this is only uh, this is a Philadelphia proof. The proofs were not made in San Francisco to '68. I know all that business strike and proofs and that and this computers the you know what out of me. <laughs> and then you got the 66 and 67 uh, special mint sets. I don't know 65. where they're minted. Yeah, all that. I get like, oh my goodness gracious. And the 67 and six, no, 66 and 67 Rosie Dines have the 68 reverses on them. How does that happen? No That's mint mark on the proofs. No, there is no mint mark on the proof. But like I said, San Francisco didn't start minting proofs until 68. But San Francisco were minting coins before that. They just weren't making the proof ones, right? Um. Yeah. I know there was a time they stopped. Yeah, they weren't making proofs. They didn't start doing proofs till '68. So right. Yeah, I do. Uh, I know money's email seven ten. Because uh, I put gloves on and straighten them up, so I like presenting my coins, right? <laughs> All right, we got Donald Harmon at 27. So I'm going to count this one down. Did you freeze? Mm hmm. No, we didn't. <laughs> I think Johnny Ray got kicked to the basement again. Asian.
Because all we're looking at is your kitchen. <laughs> yeah, who who needs a who needs anybody calling it down right done? We're good. Yeah, well, thank y'all for letting me know. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it just happened. I hit a button wrong. I hit. I went to move my phone down, and I hit leave. All right, Donald Harmon comes back at thirty. Pammy Jones comes back at thirty-one. Y'all just let know. me know if something goes wrong. I'm right there, eight feet away. Don Harmon said 35. Now what, Pammy? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Pammy Jones says she's out. Let me go ahead and count her down again. Okay, so when you get a minute, Full wants you to look at your email. Last call. And we're doing SOLD. 35. Yeah, we're doing All right, 35 hours. Sold to Donald Harmon. Thank you, Donald. Do appreciate that. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Get back here. To the stage. All right, let's see. What are we going to put up next? Two more things. And... Uh, let's see. All right, we'll put a Morgan on the block. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to regret this one, but. All right, I'm going to show it, and then I'll try to put it in chat. So we're going to put us here at 1887 Philadelphia PCGS MS64 Plus. The starting bid on that is going to be $50. He's going in the corner. <laughs> hey, BC Coins, what's up? That's a pretty coin there, Johnny. Yes, it is. There is Don Harmony with fifty dollars. Oh, I knew you'd get some takers on that. Yeah, I mean whew. Well, very rarely do you see eighty seven being sold and very rarely do you see the plus designation. So Well I I sold the eighty seven tonight. 
1887? Yeah. Yeah, the toned one. Remember, I couldn't find the mint mark? Oh, uh, I didn't think it was 87. It is. Oh, okay. Well. Sure it is. Mr. Pl- or Plumber's Stacker got it. Oh, uh, Ian, you're still stuck on the road. That's awful. I've been there. I got stuck on Alligator Alley in Florida one night. <laughs> Not a good place to get stuck. No, running down harm is at 50, and it looks like I have no other interest, so... Uh oh. Go ahead and count it down here. Larceny. Looking for 55. 50, looking for 55. I can't believe that. It's not, oh no, Pammy, what? There it is. Kelly Ray at 51. I need 55, Kelly Ray, I'm sorry. Oh, she, she took it up. Anyway, there it is. She there you go, it. Kelly Ray at 55. There you go. That's a beautiful coin. <clears throat> and I'm not a Morgan person, but for you Morgan people, it's nice. Donald Harmon comes back at 60. Mm-hmm. Good eye, Donald. Donald's at 60, and Kelly's like, I want it. I want it. <laughs> I know she is. I know, she's my friend. I know her very well. Aw. Does anybody live around where um, Anna's stuck? Probably not. Kelly Ray comes back at 65. I knew it. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> All you guys are lucky I don't have PayPal because I'd be hopping all over this stuff. As it is, I'm going to have to wash Johnny's truck in order to get that redneck poor. (laughs) 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 Kelly Ray says 75, Donald. What now? What you going to do now? You're trying to get to Virginia from where? Where are you? Well, no, you don't have to say. I'm sorry. I get nosy. I forget that people don't want to be spreading their business around like I do. And I'll be going to VA on Thursday night, <laughs> Thursday afternoon, but that's three days from now. Donald Harmon at 80. It's more than three days from now. Yeah, I live in Virginia, so. Oh. You get there quicker. <laughs> Kelly Ray is 85. No, not really. I wanted to be home before Christmas Eve, but uh, I will be pulling up in Columbus on Christmas Eve about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and then jumping in a rental car and driving home. Uh, You're going to be in Ohio on Christmas Eve? Yeah. Well, that's only a hop, skip, and a jump from my place. In the- Donald Herman's at 90. We have an auction. Well, we have a, we have a Boxing match, it ain't auction, it ain't boxing. Kelly's Kelly wants that. I know she does. She's like me, relentless. Come on, Kelly. She went to her corner. They're both in their corners. It's the eighth round. They're coming back out. West Virginia. Oh, you need money for a battery. Kelly Ray at $95. That's my girl. <laughs> there you go, Patrick. You got, uh, oh, no. Donald Harmon says $100. Digits. What we going to do now, Kelly Ray? Three digits. Don't go get a snack now, folks. It's getting exciting. 
Patrick Johnson with the boxing gloves. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Right, right, body blow, body blow, body blow. <laughs> Kelly will cheat. She'll bite his ear off. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. I can't take it. My heart is racing. The crowd is just talking to each other, thinking, is she going to do it? Is he going to do it? And, ah. Uh, and Kelly Ray says she is out. <sighs> well, we are going once. Going twice. <laughs> Time for a hot dog. That was fun, though. Boy, yes, it was. I know. If I can't be in it, at least I may try to make it exciting for myself. <sighs> wow. <sighs> Kelly, I got a Morgan. He picked your thumbnail off. <laughs> Last call. Bum, 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 bum. And who is the heavyweight boxer of the mornings tonight? Will be. S O L D. And. No snipers coming up. Donald Harmon is the new welterweight champion of Morgan's for this evening. So to Donald Harmon, the one hundred dollar Renos. What what year is this one? Double check here. Eighty eight, I think it says. Okay. Thirty. Yeah, it's at eighty-two. What the hell? I guess I should put them like that. Alrighty, put that no. over here. This is gonna be my last item of the night, folks. Uh, let's see if we can find something. What, what does anybody want? I want a nineteen oh nine VGBS penny. Got one. Okay, can we be a little more realistic here? Um, okay, a 1922 plane. Yeah, Jesus Christ, you that's for key dates now. <laughs> How about we... Uh, we... Okay. This ain't, we'll just end it with this 1945... San Francisco War Nickel, PCGS MS65. As soon as my camera starts, stops bouncing around. I want whatever's in that box, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> duh. Duh, I know. There you go, PCGS MS65 S War Nickel. It is silver. And obviously, you don't have full steps because it wasn't designated that. So we're gonna start that off at twenty-five dollars. That sound good, to everybody? Sounds wonderful. Cajun's gonna jump back in. Nineteen forty-five S. PCGS MS sixty five. Yeah, Johnny Ray's got yeah. some nice stuff. This is this is the stuff he don't want. So can you imagine what he keeps? You should go check out his videos of his collection. It's amazing. Yeah, I can only do a little bit at a time. 
There he goes in chat of 45 San Francisco MS 65 Born Nickel starting bid $25. It will not say full steps on a proof nickel. Yeah, what is it in a proof nickel? It's a S. See, that's where I lose it. If it was a proof, it would say PF65, right? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, if, it was a, if it was a proof coin, it would be PR. Uh, PCGS, I believe, is PR. Um, oh, really? Let me see. Let me standardize those things. Uh, one company says one thing. The PCGS is PR. NGC is PF. Yeah, PF. I, I, I guess most of mine are NGCs because I, I recall PF. It says MA, MS. It's just a mint state, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, MS is mint it's state. A, yes. It's Nichols 101 for Pammy. <laughs> it's a yes, it's a S. It's a San Francisco. Got it. And there is the big S mint mark on the back of it. And that means it's thirty-five um percent silver. Thirty-five percent silver, yeah. Because I got a nickel here that says forty percent silver. Can't be right. Nope. Nope. Miss mark. Yes, Kelly Ray, that is a war nickel. Opening bid of twenty-five dollars. Anybody interested? Anybody interested? This is the last item of the night for me. At Diamond West. I like I said, I can only watch Johnny Ray's videos a little at a time. Yeah. Five minutes and I'm already broke. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. They look for full steps. Believe me. Uh, if this was a full step war nickel, it surely wouldn't be twenty five dollars starting bid. You guys really like nickels that much, huh? I got every four nickel ever minted all in one set. Well, I mean, I do too. But I, I just tell, oh no, I don't have those anymore. I got some like out of my collection, but just circulated war, you know, that has been through the ringer and, and uh. This would be the one and only item that don't sell tonight for me, so that's fine. That's fine. Going once. And this week, too. Damn. Thank you, Gleason. I do appreciate that. I work really hard at selecting the coins that I want to collect. Yeah, that's and I what I'm saying. An awful lot of money too, so that's what I was saying. The ones that you are put up for auction are ones that you have that are better that you keep in your collection. So your collection is totally amazing. No, yeah, I mean I did that nine part nine videos or whatever on my collection. So my collection would take a twenty minute <laughs> video. I think. <laughs> It would. It would take me. It would take me ten of those twenty minutes to find the stuff. All righty. Oops. I really thought that was so. Oh, all right. That's all right. Last call. Twenty-five dollars is a starting bid on it. He's typing. Twenty five, Kelly. Twenty five dollars is the opening bid on it. I knew it. Yeah, Kelly right. Ray is 25. Kelly Ray is. 
We're not going to wait on that. We're going to do this. Nobody else showed interest in it, so we're going to do going. Hmm? Only once. Cardi, hey. I'm not even going to put the, the amount on her. Or she retracted the message. What? I'm confused. I am too. You weren't bidding? Oh, she wasn't bidding. Okay. All right. This is, I'm going to call it lot closed. Alrighty. All right, I'm back. Johnny on the spot. <clears throat> John, I'm going to send you an email about, you know, PayPal and stuff. I, okay. Yeah. Did I time that just right? Perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Uh, I wasn't even in earshot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had stepped out on the dock. <laughs> oh well, well, kind of. What's up, VC Coins? Uh, let's see, Kelly Ray. Uh, sorry. That up. Uh, check your email, Cajun. Late night with Boo. Okay, I will. Oh wow, we. It's a 1986 proof Libertad. Whoa, 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 whoa! I thought you were done. I am. I'm just showing off now. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I thought you were put, putting that up for bid. No, I, I thought about it, but there's only 30,000 coins on this one. And this one is a little pricey. And everyone's, it's the end of the night and everyone's broke, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly got warm in here. <laughs> Sitting on the dock of the bay. Hey, you know what? While you're singing that Watching song, you don't die away. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I mean, I could really show off. I mean, that, that's not a problem. No, I could show off, too. All these things I got this week. Uh, show off, but, I mean, well, no, you don't want to show off. You want to sell off. Well, no, I'm done. That, that was my last slide, so. Oh, okay. Well, uh. Tammy J, you got some lots up for, for sale? Um, actually, no, I don't, Cajun. I was going to do maybe an in-stream giveaway for finale and, you know. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Sounds like a plan, right? Since we have some people in here. And I have yeah. 30 yeah. pounds. Of got, uh, 26 people uh, in here. Mm-hmm. Let me find what I want to get. Nickel. Cajun, you missed nickel. Uh, nickel? Yes, you did. We were calling you. Nickelback. No, it was this one, Cajun. Oh, War Nickel. Silver. Yeah. 45%. 35% mm -hmm. silver. Yep. I had a starting bit at 25 bucks. Nobody wanted it. I nope. was just sitting on the dock of the bay. Oh, the bee just flowed away. Oh my God, Cajun! You better watch out for them alligators. <laughs> well, hey, hey, the other night, last Wednesday, I went out there, I peed off the dock, and I had a freaking eight-pound bass jump up about three foot in the air. Are you still <laughs> intact? Yeah, and I'm like, uh, 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 no. Let me check my email real quick. Everybody's telling me to check my email. Check your email. I, my uh, I think this will work. Yeah, this will work. It says, uh, I'm going to download this. No, okay. I got that. <coughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, what you want me to do with those, boo? Let me check the uh, the message. 
Um, yes. It's a 99 through 2006. But I would have to look at it first. These are 99 through 2006. These are proof sets. What, what do you want to do, Bo? You want to uh, auction them off? Sell them. He wants to sell, sell them. them. All right. Well, let me um, share my screen. Oh, let me share my screen real quick. The uh, United States Postal Service gave up Pennsylvania. So it it's coming. They're coming. Yeah, they're just taking their time. I got 30 pounds of mail in one day, Wednesday. I was waiting two months. So Pennsylvania just, they only have two people working, I think. All right. There we go. 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Oh, and that's the only uh, that's the only picture I got. So late night with Bull wants to auction those off tonight. So yeah, start the bid off at seven dollars. He said for each set, Bull. Each set, Bull. Let us know. Yeah, yeah, all proof sets. Kelly Ray, yeah, they see proofs right there on the packet. They do say proof sets on the packages. And that's the ones with the quarters and all the other stuffs and all that. Oh, no, these are the quarter sets. Okay, the quarter proof sets. Okay. These are the quarter sets. I don't think the nickel dimes and all that comes with them. Isn't there like two two um, plastic things holding coins in those sets? You get the state quarters and the regular quarters? Are they the ones I'm talking about? Uh, I didn't hear you. <clears throat> I have some proof sets like that, and they have... Two sets of coins in it, the state quarters that came out that year and the regular money that came out that year, like the half, the quarter, the penny and nickel. Is that oh, right? Oh, no, but Kelly Ray said. Uh, I think they have two sets in each box. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Kelly Ray wants to buy them all right now at a certain price. But they he already okay. did at seven apiece, though. He said he'll make a deal if he take all of them. Tammy. Yes. They did two different ones. They did the full proof set, which is the the all the quarters and your 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 half dime nickel and, and Lincoln cent. And then because of the state quarter program, they did just the quarter proofs. No, well, they also did uh, the ones that have both sets in them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But but this is right. They they only they did proof sets with just quarters and nothing else. Okay. Right. And that's what these are. These are the quarter sets. Right. These are not silver. They're just regular state quarters. All proofs, though. You know, the, the Denver, Philadelphia. Keller Ray wants to buy them all. What's your price? Boo. Up. Doug Harding. How you doing, Mona Me? Fifty bucks. Free shipping. Fifty dollars wow. gets you everything. Good deal. What well, that's uh six, seven, eight, wait, six, seven, eight sets right there. Yeah, that is a good deal. Yeah, ship to your door. Hell yeah. That's a butt load of quarters. Kelly Ray said sold. $50 free shipping. Kelly Ray said sold to me. Can 
Congratulations, Kelly. BC says, Soid. <laughs> Tell BC. Late now, <laughs> I sold something on Cajun's channel. I feel special. We ain't gonna feel special on here, man. This is man, we everyday people. We are everyday people. I'm down to earth. You can call me at not any time of the day. Don't wake me up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cajun, this will probably be my last auction with you till the new year because I won't be at Wednesdays. I know that. Okay. And then Saturday's the day after Christmas. Man, I don't know if you do one a day after Christmas. I'll be at home and, and I'll have more inventory then. So maybe maybe Saturday, I don't know. Uh, just let me know when you want to do one and we'll set a special one up. Steal us back and what are we sold <laughs> it's, oh, it's already soldered. It's already soldered. Yeah, you missed the solding of the water nickel. I know you like silver, but I don't know where you was at. We were calling them. I was. Uh, I... <laughs> Over there. Getting all that together. Oh, and then I... Yeah, I was going to do an in-stream giveaway for, you know, the grand finale here. If everybody's yeah. done selling or auctioning or trading. We still got, we still got uh, almost 30 people in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do. Uh, That's amazing at 3 o'clock in the morning. 2 30 in the morning. That's 2 30. Yeah, but we're not getting much exercise these days. So nobody's tired. I can't even uh, do the front door. I don't know about you, but I get out every day. <laughs> Tammy J wanted to do a giveaway, huh? I do, I do. I, I will show you what the prizes are, and it's not that. Not that. I never that. Mike Pallet, what's going on, Mike Pallet? I was going to take him out of the box and show him off, but I thought that would be cruel. So, my, the giveaway. my Lincoln Weedy brother. All right, let me type this in chat. Ooh. All right, that's all tight. Right. All right, what's up for the giveaway, Miss Panic? For the giveaway, first up, we got a 1945 fucker. What? A, not bad. I mean, okay. you could probably see, I don't know. <laughs> That's a nice giveaway right there. Then I got a, let's see, ICG. Proof DKM 2001S. I think that's, what? Uh, doo -doo, North Carolina quarter. Slab there. Very nice. No, it's not silver. I don't believe it doesn't say it. No. Okay, and then this little puppy here, 1907, very fine, Indian headset. You're giving all that away for a giveaway? All three of them. Oh, wait a minute. I want you to see this, <laughs> if you can. It is brown, but it is perfect. I hate this camera. I hate this camera. In the hoe. Well... I am sure you believe me. Yeah, it's really nice. I'll turn it over too because it's, I think it's beautiful. Johnny Ray, I got a 18. You know, giveaway. Wow. We. Yeah. It's Christmas. I have 30. Yeah, pounds. you're right about that. 30 pounds of mail. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Almost 31 pounds of mail. That's right. So, yeah, the three coins. And um, 
We're going to, let's see, I'll type it in here. How many people are here? Cajun? Oh, I, no, I got everything in chat already. You're I, got, telling I, got, me that I got everything already typed up. Really? Wait yeah. a second. Look I in the the number, I got the number range here. I got all that. I got it wrote down right here. Cajun, can you look in the private chat for one second? Please. Well, I don't see nothing. It's coming. It's coming. I didn't know you had everything printed up. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Answer is. Hey, Tina Franklin. How you doing? Welcome to the auction stream. Well, the giveaway stream now, I guess. The auction's over with, but what, Cherie Ward? Hey, Miss Cherie Ward, how you doing? <laughs> I was going through some old envelopes and stuff a while ago, sticker envelopes, and uh, I came across uh, one of yours. Imagine that. Hey, Tina, look who's here. Right. Yeah, okay. it's Two years ago. You see what's in there? Oh, okay. I can do that. Yeah, and they can guess until I say stop. Okay. All right. Let me do that then. Uh, let me. Ignore that. He didn't mean to put that in the chat. <laughs> let me write that down. Oh, I thought I hit. Uh, no, no. Stop. Y'all stop. Stop, stop. It's not a number thing. I thought I hit backspace. Stop, stop, stop. Quit guessing. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I figured a nice giveaway. You should at least get to guess five times. Oh, all right. Here, here is the real giveaway. And I, I thought I hit backspace on that, like erase. Yes, well, but I guess I did. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. This is not a regular color. Okay. It is a regular color, but think outside of the box or inside of the box or whatever. Okay. It's, it, it's not a regular, regular color. Okay. Most of these people that are here have done this before. They know what's coming. Right, right. <laughs> they so, do. Yeah. I make it hard. Uh, no I'm joke. not going to give any hints as no to joke. color or anything, but just it, it's not <laughs> your common uh, blue, green, red. Okay. So. <laughs> Here we go. Right off the yeah. bat with yeah. Azure. Forget about blue, green, uh, red, all that. Okay. It has to be on the money. Uh -huh. Okay. On you, family. On type of color. Okay. Type of color. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, go, go, go. Keep guessing until I say stop. Yeah. That's the color. I'm going to put all of us up. Well, that's thinking right outside the box, a few greens. <laughs> yep. Like I said, most of these folks here have played at my channel. I do this often. It's fun because it's, it aggravates people. <laughs> yep, so that would really aggravate me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after a while, I uh, give hints, you know. Yeah. Um, there, uh, Terry Ward got a little close there. Just a little. Lime wall poop. That's a good one there, Steeler. He gets creative. Dark Patriots mom. Uh, 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 nah, nah. Huh. No, not yet. Y'all would say no. Patriots mom was in the zone. Yeah, well, Mike's in the zone. There's a few of them in the zone. Mm hmm. 
poop. Again with the poop. That's brown. Loose stool. Yeah. That's exciting. Fuchsia. Hello. Yeah, I saw fuchsia earlier. Yeah, seven tens in the ballpark. Auto. The poop would help it some. Y'all can y'all can guess all y'all want. They'll get it. We we yeah. Cow patty brown. That's interesting. Juniper. <laughs> Kelly Ray's getting close. Yeah, Kelly That's Ray's close. getting close. Yeah. Oh, looks a good color. Fourth green one last week. So y'all look at all the ones we said got close and then y'all go with them. Mm hmm. Chartreuse. You can spell that? That's spelled wrong. B C. <laughs> I knew what it was, though. It don't, it, don't, it don't matter. You was able to read it, Pammy. Whether it was spelled wrong or not. I was able to read it because I'm bad. I used, to bass, I used to bass fish with chartreuse uh, worms and lures. Oh, we got oh, somebody. Yeah. Or we got That's somebody. Really You're really close. I mean, very, very. I mean, almost on the dot. So yeah, better do it quick. Almost on the dot. Yeah, I think Shannon deserves another hint. Oh, there it is. Steelers stacker got it. Wow. Yeah. Steelers stacker got it. Oh, yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Close. Da, 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 da. Daffodil yellow. You had to use that color before because I don't think anybody had ever guessed that. Daffodil yellow. If they really guess forever and ever, I say, think the paint store. All them strips of different colors, and they come up with all these weird shit. Uh, so, I think it's fun. Yeah, Shannon, you, uh, when I said you're so, so close, I just wanted you to put the yellow on there and it would have been yours. I would figured that Steeler would have said baby shit yellow. That's usually one of his guesses. <laughs> yeah. It is. I'm not kidding. I love daffodils, man. They, they look, when I see them growing around the trees, you know, on the outside, uh, it just, you know, makes you smile. Daffodils, all different colors, whatever. Rigged, yeah, rigged. Rigged. Steeler, this is the first time you won the color game. Yeah, because I never picked puke green or baby shit yellow or poop. Well, I tell you what, you made them work for that one, for, for that giveaway. They worked oh, for it. Said. It's worth it, though. I think the prize is nice. Oh, yeah, they, they worked for it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, look, them coins, I guess so. When I used to do giveaways before I could go live, I used to do, oh my gosh, I used to make them go through my old videos to find oh, me. I did. I know. I remember them days. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It is fun playing. Yeah. And I catch the first one and, and then I wouldn't do it. I couldn't, I wouldn't need a notification or something on the other ones. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it was difficult. I made it hard on myself. I mean, I barely know what I'm doing now but then I was like and then I was stupid enough to say be the fifth comment I would have to count or w look at the time stamps and I'm like and half of them will come in on YouTube studio other one would come in on the comments on YouTube where you, the video is I'm like oh you got to be kidding me what well, I'll be honest I've never heard of daffodil yellow before so well yeah daffodil. Well, sure, I bet you find it <laughs> I could have I would have never come up with daffodil yellow ever in my life when I said daffodil yellow. My best one was blood orange. Oh, I love blood orange. Mm -hmm. I love blood oranges. That took about 20 minutes to get somebody to say blood orange. I that remember that. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I yeah. remember that. And one of the things blood orange. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Okay. stupid color game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not apples. There's not enough apples. If you got 40 people <laughs> guessing apples, how many apples are there in the world? I know there's a lot of varieties, but. Tammy yeah, Jones is a Russian yellow. Daffodil yellow is about the same as baby shit yellow. Mm, no, baby shit yellow is more of a mustard. 
<laughs> oh, are we really talking about the color baby shit? <laughs> well, well, most of us, anyway. Uh, change many diapers. That, yeah, I, I well, believe me, I have too. But uh, thousand varieties of apples, Shannon. Really? Probably Damn. so. I could probably name maybe six. They have they have a variety of apples that grow down here. Where in my town in Southwest Louisiana? Only yeah. Yeah. Was asking, what, what is it? Now, actually, I'm like a Matahari. Nobody believes it. That's why I make such a good spy. Oh, yeah, I'm shooting to get on that uh, FBI watch list. <laughs> you guys crack me up. They're trying to get me to say something about. Be a carrot, but I'm not gonna. I'm the happy Christmas woman this week, remember? Mm. Only black and white colors. White isn't a color. Mm -hmm. I have to pull my phone up to show the book. Okay, show off, Tony. I got it. I was just looking because I had thought about doing one of these tonight and I changed my mind. I got two of them in here. They're nice. You got so much nice stuff. I see, that, see that spot, 1883 Carson City. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I see it. Don't and be then Johnny. 1884 Carson City. Uh huh. Got an 1885 in there? Nope. No, no, I just got the two, uh, uh, 83 and 84 raw. I got, um, an 84, a GSA horde, and, and an 1880 and 83. So, probably too far away. Well, guys, I think we're going to call this a night. Uh, uh, we'll see the second book too. I mean, you know, orgasm. You know, I hate to break that up. Yeah, you ought to split the screen, Cajun. For what? For what? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's your uh, 2018. Yeah. Reverse. Yeah, they're like incredible. I like them. I've never seen, I saw one reverse proof once. So this is really cool. Well, reverse proofs are awesome. They are. Look at these things. These state quarters are like phenomenal. Thank you, Donald. I know, I need to be further away, but look at those things. They're upside down. I know. It's, it's camera dyslexia. I don't know what it is. It was a fun night. I agree, Steeler. They are gorgeous. Hmm. And I have a whole set of them. When I had, uh, look at Irish, when I had actual, um, junk silver, or whatever, I had a couple rolls of, uh, Forty percenters, yeah, I take them out of the roll and just, <laughs> I just sit there and irritate the shit out of everybody in the house by just letting them cling against each other in my hand. And people turn around like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing." Mm -hmm. Why are you over there making all that noise? I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> I forgot about this one. What's it say? Oh, that's a. Oh, that's the eighty. Nine, eight? 89. What's the mint mark? Um, no doubt there isn't one in my luck. Let's see. I know where to look. Only to go. Be able to see it. You're right. This is this. I play my jump. Huh? It's not there, right? No. Yeah, it's a silly. I don't see one. I don't either. No. Uh, the D and O, but I don't see one. Mm -mm. Woodies. Here we go again. 
I was slapping so hard that night I couldn't see the screen. Well, Rafe, I hope you sent a goods and services. If not, it's not a big deal. One or two can get through because I always transfer. If, if one or two friends and family makes it through, I always transfer my, my money to my card. So uh, it, it creates a fee. So PayPal still leaves me alone. Yeah, we're going to have to. Uh, I have two. Actually, oh, my chair squeaking. I have two PayPal addresses I can use because people are nice to me, but I I won't wake them up at four o'clock in the morning. Well, no, uh, you don't have to. Uh, I'm not asking you to. I'm gonna, no, no, I know. When I get done here, I will. I got everyone's totals already, so I will just do the. Um, yeah, the invoice isn't going to come to me because. No, no. As long as you just pay goods and services, I don't care. Uh, you know it's eighty bucks, so and everything's free shipping tonight, so there was there's no shipping to think about. Woohoo! I'm almost glad Donald beat me out. <laughs> uh, it was the chair. Luckily, I Irish. Very good, Ray. Thank you. Mm. So, Pammy, uh, what do so, you want for that? Uh, I really don't. I do. I, I like the reverse Kennedy. I had a 2014 one. I wanted from uh, Michael Kittle. Oh, the set you mean? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not like big it. on these big new silver sets because they're just so expensive and well. Well, that's what this is. Big silver expensive set. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the modern coin that much. I mean, I like the W quarters because it was fun trying to. I can't I'm say fun it. trying to find them because I really didn't find as many as I bought. So. Yeah, I'm uh the W's. I'm over them. Absolutely couldn't find one. And how many years have they been coming out? Not one. Oh, I found a few. Not many. Well, I bought a couple rolls of uh. Uh, American Memorial Parks from uh, Silver Nitrate, right? And I, at that time, I had no luck. I mean, I was buying rolls. I was buying full rolls. And nobody, I wasn't getting nothing. I got those two rolls from uh, Silver Nitrate for 40 bucks, and I pulled 15 W's out of them. Get the hell out of town. Oh, it was great. It was so, after that, you're hooked. Once you get a couple rolls that you pull that many W's out of, you expect every roll that you get. As you're going to pull something like that out of it. A couple of nice people sent me in the beginning, like two or three of the first ones, like the Lowell and the Pacific thing. Then I bought a W Penny, and it's like, I'm over it. I live less than an hour and a half away from West Point. I can't find a damn penny. It's terrible. <laughs> it's annoying. I, um... I get nothing but peas around here. Peas. Occasionally I see a D. Not that often, though. Sucks. But anyways, um, do I want to put that up for bid? Do you guys really want to bid on this? It's late. Uh, y'all can bid if y'all want. I don't know why my comment went in there twice. I don't know if y'all can... You can get some right. Yeah, he's tired. Everybody's tired. I don't know if y'all can see my double comment, but I didn't do that twice. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You said it's an 89, Pammy? Yeah, it's an 89. Yeah, it's 89. Yeah. It's very but, nice. I think I'll I'll keep it and I'll do it over at my channel one of these nights before Christmas Eve because Christmas Eve is a big night. And all you that already have envelopes that I've been filling for you is well, get your envelopes on Christmas Eve or see what's in them anyway. Yep. I have 30 pounds of mail. Yeah, you can cup most a lot of you that are in here have already have envelopes with stuff in it. That works. You got uh, all your packages from everybody all at one time. Well, a couple of them were uh, packages that were being sent back to me that I mailed out. I think there was two of Good those. Night, Silver Sager. Merry Christmas, Patriots, Mom. What's up, oh, Coin Dragon? Coin Dragon's in the house. Good night, Donald Harmon. Good night, David Carlisle. Good night, Rave. Hey, who had that Woody Penny? Uh, that Woody Weedy. Uh, 
1920 Woody. Yeah, 1920 Woody. Who had that in here? Uh, <laughs> tonight for the auction. Who had that? That wasn't tonight. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, yeah. Yeah. Who had that, that, that Woody? Man. I don't know. I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, um, you did. And then at the end of the night, Cajun did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, dozed off for what, five minutes, ten minutes, something like that? Mm hmm. Everybody said, You fell asleep. I'm like, Nah, I didn't fall asleep. And they said, Yeah. Uh, I, okay. All right. Yeah, well, it, it turned into a woody fest after that. It was just too funny. No, but then, no, it was, no, it was a woody up for auction before I was like midstream or something. I said, Where's Coin Dragon? <laughs> You know, he go I got. Yeah. I don't know who had it though. It was either it had to be either uh, Value Hunter or the only other person that was here that night was Seven Ten was here, wasn't he? Yeah, Seven Ten Value Hunter. Yep, and you guys. Who else? There I'm was one other person. Right. Check out that. Just all you got to do is. Check out that video last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, the it was later in the evening. I mean, it was after midnight. Recorded twenty Lincoln uh, cent Woody. Value yeah. had it. Seven ten. Value had it. Yeah. Yep. Man, that thing was sweet. Oh my God. I got a nickel over here out of. This. 60 proof set when I went to clean the glass earlier today. Just the way it looks. The way, I don't know, it looks like a woody nickel. But it's not really, I don't know if you can see it through the glass. Yeah. But when I was looking I mean, under the, the, the loop, the, the way the die scratches are, it just looks like one of the woody pennies. Yeah, it was a 1920 coin drive. It was 1920, I know. Hey, this is a war nickel I was talking about that says 40% on it. I know it can't be, but it's in really, it's nice. And I'm not a nickel girl. I've got the, well, at least it's not upside down. I meant to put it, the obverse on first. That's a war nickel. I also have a 1950D uncirculated. Huh? That's a war nickel. Yeah, this is. I know. This is 40% on the front. See? Yeah. But uh, I have a 1950 D uncirculated. Somebody told me the other day that that's a uh, good uh, nickel who, to have. Who, who wrote that on that flip? Those are 35% silver. Right. Yeah, it, I think it was Val. Yeah, those are 35. Val knows better than that. So the 1950D, what's up with that? Somebody said it's like a special low, nickel. Low man. Low oh, Okay. I got all these coins in little, they were in the celly from the mint. And yeah, they don't have writing on them, so I don't know if they're silver or not. I know if it's before 64, it's silver, but some of them are state quarters. It's like, what? I'll figure it out. Oh, no, they don't hurt. Little packages. I have a comment from Miss Canadian What's that? A comment from Miss Canadian Scrabber. Set you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, but that PayPal is um okay. I have to wait till sun sun up because it's not my address, so. It's a friend, and I'm not going to wake him up, but I'm sure it's there, and thank you so much. Mm-hmm. It's a key day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Denver is a key day. Low, very low minutes. And what's with the new reverses? I don't know if they're new or old, or, but they, like, wrap around Monticello in the back, in the reverse. I was looking at one yesterday. They're really cool looking. The Monticello is like curved. 
one here somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, it's, a newer one. it's got it's a Jefferson nickel, not the new Jefferson Westward Journey ugly things. But they're special. I read all those articles from the coin weeks. Yeah, that I, that's how I learn. It's like coin 101 for me. And some of these nickels are, the reverse is gorgeous. I don't like the new nickels with Jefferson's face on it. I think they're ugly. It's a little creepy. Yeah, right? He looks like, a, he looks like what he is or what he <laughs> was. <laughs> he does. Well, guys, I'm fixing to let y'all have the stream. I'm I'm going to jump out of here. Hey, I'm not going to be on much longer because I'm tired myself and I got to get all these yeah, out. I got to get something to eat. I need some rest. And, uh, so. Yeah, it's dinner time for me. But you guys were talking eggs earlier. I think I'm going to have some breakfast. So, all right. If y'all want to do y'all outros, uh, let's let's. I'm Do ready. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to jump out and I'm going to leave the stream and y'all can have it. <laughs> I can have it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm tired. Your, uh, pillow, your pillow needs head. Uh, I'm going to use that one. Mm -hmm. I am going to use that comment there, oil. Thank you very much. I think that's yeah, it. My pillow needs my head.